This is our year! We're gonna kill it at the, uh, the big contest thing. The big contest thing? I think you mean the So You Think You Can App App Design Contest. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, the winner of this contest gets a key to the famous Silicon Campus and the use of the best computers in the world. And a gigantic check! It's definitely the most important event of our career. And it's in a few hours. It would be good if Tom was, you know, prepared. Okay, so here's the plan. When they introduce me first, I'm gonna run across the stage with my hand to my ear like, I can't hear you! I can't hear you! <laughs> then I'll chicken walk to the side of the stage, but I'll go too far. See? Then when the audience is like, where is Talking Tom going? I'll spin around and moonwalk right back to center stage. <laughs> the only way we're going to kill it, which I take to mean win the contest, is if you make it sound like you actually understand the features of the app you'll be talking about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Tom, give that back. Save the nerd speak for terms and conditions that nobody reads, okay? <laughs> Do you worry about a phone thief getting all of your private information? Well, your worries are over thanks to our new shockingly secure anti-theft app. Wait, Tom, don't turn it on! Here's how it works. <laughs> Tom, are you okay? Ow. Wow. Your voice! What's wrong with your voice? This app is... Shockingly effective. Welcome to Dr. Internet. This is the Internet. We could be anywhere. Don't try to find us. Please state your name and what's wrong. Um, oh, uh, uh my name is Talking Tom, and a uh, Ben tasered my neck hair. Ah! What? This is your fault, Tom, not mine. Ben, settle down. Let the Internet doctor work. Well then, open wide and let's take a look. Uh, pew, 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 uh, pew, 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 pew. Uh, now, please hold while I make a diagnosis. In my ten years as an online doctor and four years of online medical school, I have never seen vocal cords this inflamed. Okay, well, what can we do to help him get better? I'm afraid there's not much you can do. He'll just have to stop talking for a week and let his vocal cords get better. Stop talking? He can't! Today is the So You Think You Can App Fab Contest! Ooh, that's big time. I hear the winner of that gets a gigantic check. And a key to Silicon Campus. Can't I talk today and then just not talk tomorrow? Uh. <coughs> you could, but if you do, you risk damaging your voice so badly that you may never talk again. <gasps> beep, beep, beep. Where, uh, what's that, nurse? Oh, time for my emergency uh, medical surgery thingy. Uh, gotta go. Boop. Surgery elevator going down to the surgery floor. <laughs> wow. He has his own surgery elevator. This was our year. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't talk. The doctor said don't talk or you could lose your voice forever. But I'm talking, Tom. I can't not talk. Have you ever tried? It's just a week of no talking. You can do it. Just drop mm -hmm. out of the competition. You'll get him next year. Next year? Do you really think I'm going to drop out of the So You Think You Can App App Contest? The biggest app contest of our careers? Yeah, you kind of have to. I mean, you did electrocute your partner. Um, he electrocuted himself. You listen up for once, Talking Tom. You told me something today, and you said it without words. Do you know what you said? You said, Ben... You can't really rely on me because I don't listen. Uh, I'm not finished! You know what else you said without saying a mm -mm. word? You said, Ben, I don't take our business seriously. So you better learn how to do this alone. <laughs> what? Did you just mumble, Ben, if you do the competition without me, you'll ruin our company because you're a terrible public speaker? <laughs> well, since you can't talk and I can, I'd say right now I'm a better public speaker than you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a presentation to give, alone, by myself. <laughs> Dr. 
Don't worry, Tom. Angela is making something that will fix your voice, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying right now? He lost his voice, Hank, not his hearing. Oh. Tom, since you can hear me, I'm going to stop yelling at you, okay? My grandmother was a great healer. She had a home remedy that could cure anything. Hmm. Try this. Ah! You know what? It was my aunt who had all the home remedies. My grandmother was a chili pepper farmer and had a restaurant that served, um, chili peppers mostly. Hey, neighbor! You oh. don't mind if I borrow a few things, do you? Just say no if you don't want me to have it! Oh. Okay, thanks! Bye! to the third annual So You Think You Can App App Contest. Our data shows that there's no better way to nurture creativity in young minds than through competition and humiliation. And that's the reason we're here, for the competition and the humiliation. And to award one lucky team of app developers this key to my world-famous Silicon Campus. Oh, and this gigantic check. Whoa! Look at the size of that. Anyway, let's get started and bring out the first app contestant. I feel like we should go to the contest and support Ben. So do I. What about you, Tom? I could tell part of Tom wanted to go support his friend, and part of Tom was being stubborn. We really needed someone to talk to. Welcome to the Internet Therapist. <laughs> That's me, online since, what's today, Wednesday? Hey, aren't you the Internet Doctor? Hmm, interesting point. Uh, for now, though, let's focus on Tom's conflict, okay? Okay, I'm focused. Tom, are you angry at Ben? But you do still consider Ben your business partner. And would you expect him to share that gigantic check if he won the contest? Well, then you sound sane to me. Dr. Internet Therapist, your next patient is here. Oh, looks like our time is up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have urgent matters back at the asylum. <laughs> I don't know what made that person think they could app. Not a very good idea for an app at all, was it? Are you having as much fun as I am? Probably not, since I make more money in a minute than most of you will make in your whole life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I think. Someone figure out how much I make in a minute. Meanwhile, let's welcome to the stage our next competitors, uh, Talking Tom and Ben. <sighs> let's see. I can't hear you. Wait, that card was out of order. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Wait, would you like to hear some interesting crime statistics related to mobile phone theft? I can't let them treat Ben like this. Tom, wait! Tom, what are you doing? You can never tell how much you care about something until you realize it can be taken away from you. Then why are you talking? Because it's not my voice I'm worried about losing. It's you. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. We're partners. And I want you to know I'm here for you no matter what. Now let's win this thing. It's not worth it, Tom. I won't let you talk. Give it to hey, me. give me that. Give it to Tom. Me. No. 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 OK, that's enough. Off my stage, both of you. Fine. Well, those two certainly can't app. I mean, what a total disaster, huh? I guess this is mine now, right? Finders keepers, right? <laughs> oh. If there's anything I learned today, it's that Tom might be a lousy listener, but... Leftover soup, bon appetit. Ooh, thank you. Like I was saying, Tom is a lousy listener, 
but he's also a reliable business partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop it. I know you're just trying to make me uncomfortable. <gasps> oh, boy, soup. Just say no if you don't want me to have it. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, mm -hmm. buddy. Tom, he's taking your soup. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast for the hot. <laughs> big news. We finally released the big update on the Talking Bed app. Better late than never. Right, Ben? Tom released it. It's not ready. Now there's so many angry customers, I don't have time to fix the bugs. We'll be fine. I got Hank to help with the customer service. What? You say the Bed app won't stop burping? I know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the app. Now, what were you saying again? Hello? Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The app won't even open? Well, if I were you, I'd call a complaint. Uh, yeah. I don't really understand technical junk, but maybe you can help me with a problem. See, I got this ingrown toenail. And that's why Hank is no longer helping out with customer service. Ah! <laughs> What's this piece of junk? This is the solution to our sudden increase in customer service calls. Say hello to Gilbert. Gilbert? Why is it called that? It's named after the two guys who built it, Gil and Bert. Great. They were in such a hurry to get rid of it, they practically gave it to us. <laughs> I bet this was high tech back at the turn of the century. Let's see if Gilbert works. Hello, and welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Yeah. Tech support. I think you said neck and spork. If this is correct, huh? press one. If this is not correct, press the asterisk, followed by the function key, followed Who by the Who has a function sign. key on their, what? Huh? I think you said, I don't have a function key. If this is correct, press the function key. <gasps> if this is not correct, press any diagonal sequence of buttons. Uh, 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 press it. Not yet. Wait until the tone. Aw. You waited too long. Goodbye. You told me to wait! <laughs> Real cutting edge technology! No problem. We'll just have to program it to act more human. More human? Its prime directive is to answer questions with the correct answer. Humans are terrible at that. No, 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 no. Answering questions correctly isn't important. Then what is important? Being Friendly. Until you fix all the bugs in our app, we gotta give Gilbert a new prime directive, like don't let people go until they're your friend. Reprogram? That would require something like a, I, I don't know, a, a programming genius. Well, I understand if you can't mm -hmm. do it. Of course I can do it. Ah, yep, I did it. I programmed Gilbert with a string of empathy commands to achieve his prime what? directive. It should make him ultra congenial. Or, you know, as friendly as a computer can be. Hey there, I'm Gilbert. How can I provide you with excellent customer service today, my friend? Mm -hmm. The update, it keeps crashing and freezing. I hear you, buddy. That's pretty frustrating. Mm. We're working on a fix right now, bro. Meanwhile, can I tell you about the app's cool new features? <laughs> the app has a whole new room filled with, well, I'll let you see what's in there yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow, Gilbert, I can't wait to check it out. Hey, before you go, can I just confirm that I provided you with friendly customer service? You know, actually, you were pretty friendly. Pretty friendly? No, man. Come on. Huh? I can't let you go oh. until I know we're friends. Y yes, we're definitely friends. I'll call you tomorrow. Did you see that? He followed protocol perfectly. Gilbert, I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Me too, Tom. I'll call you when the update is ready, my friend. If I can call you a friend. Oh, I can? <laughs> Great, listen to me. You are a strong, confident. Gilbert has things under control, so what do you say we go out and have some fun? I'm still fixing bugs. Fine. Stay here and work. But I just told Angela to meet us at your favorite amusement park, the Enchanted Headache. <sighs> that does sound enjoyable, and I could use a break. Come on, <laughs> she's waiting for us. 
Hey, who wants to ride a roller coaster? I can't wait to ride my first roller coaster with my friends. I will be like, woohoo! Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, Gilbert, you can't come with us. Why, Tom? Because <laughs> you're an answering machine. Oh, I think I get what you're saying. Okay, great. So, we're out of here, yeah? I can't let anyone go. Until we're friends. You know what I'm saying? Gilbert, Tom was just joking. We are all friends here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, friends joke around. I get it. I wasn't joking. I wasn't it! You can't talk to it like that. We have to make sure Gilbert thinks we're its friends. Now let me power uh, it off correctly so we I can... got a better idea. Tom, are you trying, trying to uh, unplug me? Ow! Look, let us go, you stupid bucket of circuits! Those words were not friendly. Not friendly at all. Look at this. It's all because you programmed Gilbert to be a nut job. Don't blame me! Hmm. We wouldn't be in a situation if you didn't want to cut corners and release my app before the bugs were worked out. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were better at your job. Hi there. Ah! Hey, buddy. Tom wants to apologize for trying to unplug you before. Right, Tom? Yeah, you know what friends say. Forgive and forget. My voice detection software can tell you're just being funny and condescending. What? Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Gilly. We're totally friends. No, Tom, we're not friends. That's why I'm going to reprogram you. What, uh, reprogram me? How? Oh, just a little shock therapy, Tom. Ah! Here's a little quiz to see how much you know about me. First question, what's my favorite color? Blue? Ah! The correct answer is red. Oh, okay, not blue, red. Why are you shocking me? So you'll remember. That's actually true. An emotionally charged- ah! Ah! Guys, <gasps> let me in! Oh, that's Angela. Hey, Gil, do you mind if I let her in? Not at all, Hank. Hey, We're you friends. Guys, I'm out here. Oh, this let is our chance. In. Obviously. Why did you shut the door? It's chilly. Think you want to tell me where you were? Uh -huh. uh, we decided to stay in and hang out with our good friend, Gilbert. You see, his programming won't let us go until we're his friends. <laughs> Please help us. Give me a break. You can't be friends with a dumb answering machine. Whoa, dumb answering machine? Angela, I thought we were friends. Oh, sorry, Gilbert. I didn't mean to... Wait a second. Why am I apologizing to a talking flow chart? Uh -uh. Do not talk to my friend like that. See, Gilbert, we're defending you. That's what friends do for each other. Hey, guys, do you want me to just <gasps> unplug this thing? Ah! Dude, what is your problem? I can see I'm going to have to show you just how serious I am about my friends. Friends, are you my friend? No, you must be destroyed. Are you my friend? <sighs> guys? What is going on? Ben programmed Gilbert to be a monster? What? No! Again, none of this would have happened Stop it, both of you! It's Gilbert who doesn't understand friendship, not you! What about you? Are you my friend? Angela's right. Expecting a computer to make friends with customers? I'm sorry, Ben. No, no, I should have known that a computer can never be your friend. Which means Gilbert's prime directive is impossible! Friends. That's how we defeat him! <laughs> friends! Are you my friend? Okay, here's the idea. I don't have any friends. You must be destroyed. Welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, I need some advice. There's this guy who I thought he was a friend, but now I don't think so. And why do you think he isn't your friend now? Well, you see, he forces people to hang out with him and take him places, mm. and if they don't do what he wants, he no. even gets dangerous. Oh, man. You should eliminate them from your life, because someone who acts like that is not a real friend. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted to hear. Hey, before I let you go, can I confirm that we are friends? Uh, no. You just told me not to. What? That guy I told you about? That guy was you! And now, Gilbert, I'm going to hang up on you. No, I can't let you go until you're my friend. But Gilbert, you yourself just told Angela not to be your friend. Yeah, how can you tell her to be your friend and also tell her not to be your friend? No, no fair. fair, that's, that's a, a trick question. question. 
No, friends, friends, must be friends, friends until the end. That's a trick question. The old trick question kill switch. Thanks, Captain Kirk. <sighs> I finally released the bug fixes for my app. It was ready. We tested it. No more cutting corners. And everyone seems to like the new version. They love it. I should know. I answer the phones now. Hello, this is Tom, not a robot. How can I help you? Hello, I want to talk to my friend Gilbert. Gilbert? Oh, we got rid of that pile of junk. What? No more Gilbert? Did you know he was my friend? No! <laughs> uh. Hello, Gilbert. Are you my friend? Yes. And friends will do anything for each other, right? Does anybody get the house like technology? Oh, I do! I do! Then let me officially welcome you to the first annual Con Cop, you Con 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 Con! <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Connected Computer Continually Conceptualized Conference and Convention. Oh, the Con Comp, you Con 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 Con! Who's ready to have a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Now let me hear the leaders! Oh my. <laughs> the, they'll be here. Ah! Whoa. Welcome our guests of honor, Steve Hobbs and Steve Bosniak! Ha <laughs> Good to see you guys! Hey, folks! Good to see this guy! Look at him! Steve Bosniak! <gasps> the two biggest tech developers on the planet! And their best friends! Who? Started out in a garage! Just like... Us! Yeah. As you probably know, the first computer was a useless box. It had a lot of potential, but we had no way to access it. Well, then late one night, Steve and I were sharing a soda pop at the garage when suddenly it hit us. I said, Boz, what if there was a way to turn this computer on? Then I said, what if there was a way to turn this computer off? Six years and a lot of sleepless nights and a ton of R&D later, we had it. The computer on off switch. Whoa. Fun fact, it was originally called the off on switch. Uh huh. <laughs> And we did it by following this pyramid of friendship. They really are just like us. We gotta sneak backstage and introduce ourselves. Definitely. You read my diary. Wait, what? Great hiding spot. I can't wait to see their faces when they find out we snuck backstage to meet them. Oh, yeah. Famous people love when fans jump out at them. Are they here yet? Huh? I can't see. There's two guys blocking my view. Who are you guys? <laughs> Sorry, we're huge fans. We wanted to ask if you had any secret advice that you might not tell an audience, but you would tell to two young inventor friends working out of a garage. <laughs> if that rings a bell. Oh, I get it. You two think you're just like us. You think <laughs> you're me, and you think <laughs> you're Bosniak. Wait a minute, why is that guy me? Why can't I be the other guy? Oh, come on, Steve. It doesn't matter who's who. Of course it doesn't matter because you get to be that guy. Why, well, I'm so sick of this whole thing. Whoa, whoa, what about the pyramid of friendship? Thanks for the reminder. Now, Steve, I just want to... <laughs> you tell me your partner was the worst decision I ever made! You ruined my life! No, you ruined my life! Uh, Steve, you drive me crazy! I'm done, I've had it! <laughs> La 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 Educational grants, elephants, romance. That's it! I like to dance, dance, dance. Educational grants, grants, grants. Ah, it practically
basically writes itself. If we are just like Hobbes and Bosniak, we're gonna end up hating each other, just like they do. Uh, well, uh, calm down, buddy. We don't know that for sure. But we don't not know that for sure either. Oh, no. You're right. What if the future is locked in and we aren't destined to be friends forever? To, to the, the Future Tron! The Future Tron is an app that I've been working on that uses metadata to show the future. And I came up with the name Future Tron 6000. Hurry up! Turn this Hurry on up. and put that in there and hold on tight! Thank you! It is an honor to receive the Tech Star of the Year Award. Hey, we're really successful in the future. And we're still best friends. This is a truly remarkable moment for me and the person who inspires me. I'm talking about the man upstairs, my boss, the CEO! The man who said to me, Ben, you don't need a partner. You can be successful all on your own. Ah. Hey, do me a favor, throw this in the limo with the rest of my trophies and uh, bring me a coffee when you come back. I'm sick of this. We were supposed to be partners and now you just take all the credit. That's because I do all the work. Oh yeah? We'll work on this. Ah! Ah! I will show you! Ah! I, you ruined my life! No, you ruined my life! It's even worse than Hobbs and Bosniak. You're successful, and I'm not. Well, that's not a surprise. The scary thing is we weren't friends in the future. How could this happen? It must be that our future friendship is ruined because our current friendship isn't strong enough. Well, tell me there's a way to fix this. Maybe. Nah, it's too crazy. What is it? We have to engage in one-on-one -on -one friendship building activities with music playing in the background. Oh boy, a friendship montage. Well, all the best sitcoms have them. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What are you two ding dogs doing? Get back to work. Sorry, Mr. Ginger. Yes, sir, Mr. Ginger. Don't apologize. I should really thank you two. You were so focused on your friendship that you completely mismanaged your company and had to sell it to me. Sir, you're late for your two o'clock. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with a giant pile of money. Don't forget to laugh maniacally, Mr. Ginger. Oh, thank you, Angela. <laughs> I don't believe this. The future where we're friends was even worse than the future where we weren't friends. I don't even know where to start this time. I do. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you let this happen, Ben. Me? But what happened? You ruined our business. I was trying to save our friendship. Well, friendship doesn't pay the bills, Ben. All right, break it up. Don't you see? You're arguing about things that haven't even happened yet. You're letting the future Tron drive you apart in the present. She's right. Look at what we're doing. But what are we supposed to do? Just sit on the couch, watch TV, and not think about anything except how good our cereal tastes? Mm. Hey, the crumbs have the same taste as the big pieces. A future where we all live like Hank. <laughs> what would that even look like? Hey, guys, let's try not to forget. We have to go to our book signing tonight, okay? Right. Should we take the supersonic jet or the helicopter? Let's compromise and take the supersonic helijet. Oh, that's why you're the idea man. 
Angela, great to see you. Great to see you, Tom. Well, hey. And you, Ben. And especially you, honey. Miss you more. <laughs> it's not easy to go a whole morning without seeing the best wife in the universe. Oh, Hank. No! No, 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 no. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing all of us a favor. Everything we did to make the future better just ended up ruining the present, and it didn't even make the future better. I think I know what you're saying here. We need to create a future Tron 6001. No, enough is enough. Look, maybe we can make the future better. Maybe we can't, but let's all just enjoy today. No more trying to change the future. So now what do we do? Well, sometimes our TV shows, after the characters learn their lesson, the final scene is just dancing and celebrating. Really? A big dance scene that just comes out of nowhere? Well, that seems a bit ridiculous. Hey, Ben, ready with that app for Angela? God, this stupid computer is being stupid again. You can't remember your own password? I thought you were an expert. I am an expert, which is why I made my password completely uncrackable. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Let me get in there. Tom, 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 there's no way you'd ever be able to crack your way in. There are more possible password combinations than there are stars in the galaxy. Let me see, if I were Ben... Kayak. Hey, Ben, how old are you? 22. Why? Kayak 22. I'm in! Hey, Angela, how's the crowd there? You find any terrible singers yet? I don't think that'll be a problem. Here, listen for yourself. Great. Start the show, and I'll be there ASAP. <laughs> OK, Angela's about to start, guys, so let's hurry up and get this demo video done. Ready when you are. What is it? The most awesome app ever created. Really? You made it make strawberry banana smoothies? <laughs> Hmm. No, it's the Sing Like a Pro app. Now, it'll take even the most bland, non-musical voice and make it sound like an angel. Hmm. Ben, say something. Are you, you saying my voice, voice is bland, bland boring, boring, and robotic? How do you... A glass-breaking app! Brilliant! <laughs> Just stand over there and read the words on the card. Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro demonstration video. Take one. Probably not going to work. Welcome to Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro app. OK, cut, cut, leaf blower. Let's try that again. <sighs> Take two. Welcome to Tom and Angela. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, welcome to the. <sighs> Welcome. Ah! <clears throat> someone should go say something. Agreed. I think that someone should be you. Me? Why me? I'm the brains. You're the mouth. That is so true. But what if he gets all mad, like, you have a problem with me doing my job? I, he may want to fight us or something. Hmm. Maybe we can get someone to go out and ask him to be quiet. But who? You know, if this were an episode of a sitcom like Dr. Professor and the Surfing Ghost, their clueless friend would pop in right about oh. now and they'd just make him do it. Too bad you guys don't know anyone like that. <laughs> hmm. What? Pardon me, Mr. Gardner, sir. If you got... But we were trying to shoot something, so if you... 
Uh, sir, could you excuse me? Um, he wasn't listening. We need to try another approach. I've got it. Just hack into the leaf blower's engine and shut it down. You know, with the internet and stuff. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Leaf blowers don't typically have internet access. But I guess I could tap into the city Wi-Fi and direct it at the engine's spark plug. Huh? Huh? Yeah! We did it! Now let's hurry up and finish this commercial before something else starts. And action. Welcome to Tom and Angela's. What is with that guy? Thank you! Is everyone having a good time? Who out there would like to be the first one to test my new Angela Sing Like a Pro app? What else could we do to make this guy be quiet? We've tried everything. I guess this is our life now. Excuse me, sir. Your machine is too loud. Will you please turn it off? Whoa. Did you see that? Are we so lame that a seven-year-old is better at talking to adults than we are? Next time we feel intimidated, we shouldn't hide and hope the problem goes away. We should be direct and assertive and build some kind of app that makes people do what we want. Huh. An app that makes a person more assertive is an interesting idea. An assertive app. Uh -huh. I know, I can reprogram our dumb singing app to make us sound more authoritative. That's something. Hmm. Wait, hmm. I feel hmm. like we're forgetting something. Uh -huh. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> Ben didn't show. I'm gonna have to have a talk about manners next time I see them. Just one more. Voila! Introducing the Assertive app. The first app that transforms fear and insecurity into confident commands that will be obeyed. So if I were to say, Ben, get me some strudel juice! It works! I couldn't resist your command. Your voice was so Assertive? Yeah. Beta test! Ginger, drop and give me 10 push-ups! <laughs> Attention mail carrier! I want my letters folded into paper airplanes and flown oh. through the window! No jump mail! Sorry! <laughs> okay, okay, um... Feed me a cake! It actually only works if you use it on a person, Hank. <laughs> uh, too bad. Does it cake sound so good right now? Eh? Mmm. <laughs> Big as a kind! <laughs> that thing is gonna make us rich. <sighs> it just doesn't get any better than Did this, does it? <laughs> tell me where you were? Angela! Oh, we totally forgot. You forgot? Yeah, you see, I had such a genius app idea that... That you thought it was okay to abandon your friend? But no, you couldn't call or text or send an email. Angela, I command you to forgive Tom. <laughs> and refill my strudel juice. Uh, get it yourself. Angela, wait. Angela, wait. Huh. Huh? Uh. Why did that thing work on Angela? Hmm. I guess it's possible Angela's musical brainwaves are so strong. Ah, huh? The tables have turned! Hey, put that down! It's not a toy! Happy candy! <laughs> okay, you got your candy. Now hand it over. Oh, I have a better idea! Build me a chat pack! Chat uh, pack. They started it! You were right. Hmm. I should have called or sent a text. Or shown up like you said you would? Well, we were going to, but then we came up with a new app that, can you keep a secret, might just make the world a better place. Hmm. Ah! Hey, people of the world! I'm your new king! Bring me all your candy! No! Of course, there's still a few kinks that we need Wait! to work out. Take out the raisins! What? Ginger! 
Roger! <gasps> hey, what about Angela? Me? Yeah, Angela. Your musical brainwaves are so strong that they somehow nullify all the authority out of the assertive app. Huh? Or you're just strong-willed and independent. Ben's not oh, sure. Me candy, no! no way, Ginger! Yeah. I'm gonna... Okay, fine. <laughs> Angela! You may be the only one who can stop him! I'm kind of busy right now. Angela, you're too clean! Go dump a book yes. of dirt on your head and wash your hair in the toilet! <laughs> you think you can boss me around? Let's see you come down here and try it! Hey, something's wrong! <laughs> and that's the last thing you'll ever order me to do. Mic drop! <laughs> I'm not perfect. If I had to do it all over again, I would have eaten the candy faster. Let's take it from the top. Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro app, take 47. Welcome to Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Leaf Blower! What? what? But only if Hank cleans up my mess for me. <laughs> Phew! Better you than me, Hank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. The Kitazi Derby. It's more than a horseshoe tournament. It's neighbors dueling in the sand pit on hot summer days. It's a competition with stakes as high as the temperatures on the sizzling grill. It's a winner-take-all battle for the rights to operate the neighborhood vending machine. But this year, a new team is poised to win the cup. With Ben's secret throwing equation and Tom's natural throwing skills, the team has pitched their way to the finals and now stand ready to dethrone the reigning champs. It's Ginger and the Gardener versus Tom and Ben. According to my calculations, we can't be beat. Hmm. The Kentasi Derby Finals, tomorrow, my yard. Wow, did Ben really come up with a math equation to win at horseshoes? Oh, no big deal. Just a matter of figuring out the exact calculations for air resistance, gravity, and velocity. Once you have that, it's easy to pitch the perfect distance. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Actually, it is a big deal. To develop my horseshoe equation, I had to solve a problem posed by Sir Isaac Newton that no one could figure out for over 300 years. Whatever. The important thing is you're finally using your brains for something useful. <laughs> Defeating Ginger and Horseshoes! Yeah, uh... Where are you leaving me hanging, Ben? Well, it looks like news of my horseshoe equation is out. The professors at the University of Science and Technology have invited me to help them conduct an experiment. Whoa, congratulations! Hey, that's awesome. There's just one problem. It's at the same time as the finals of the horseshoe tournament. Well, I'm sure there will be other <laughs> university experiments. Wait! You want me to turn down this opportunity so I can play horseshoes? Uh, kinda. Is that wrong? This is a chance for me to build a name for myself. To be recognized as a great thinker by other great minds. Who cares what these university types think? You don't belong there anyway. You're, you're one of us. Sorry, Tom. When the university calls, the scholar answers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find my lab coat. I feel so naked. Tough break. You losing your partner at all? Yeah, looks like we'll win again. These electrolyte filled drinks will remain in our control another year. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you for coming in and helping us with this experiment. We couldn't do this work without brave folks like you. Well, with all the gifts I've been given, the least I can do is give something back to science. Oh, is that my desk? 
<laughs> wow! So, tell me about the work we're doing here. Okay. In this lab, we study something called electromagnetic fields. Or EMF. Ben, can you say EMF? <laughs> You're talking to a guy who just solved Newton's 300-year-old horseshoe equation. So, yeah, I think I know what EMFs are. Very good. Since you seem so smart, I guess we can go into a little more detail about what we're doing here. But we'll have to tell you from the other room, if that's okay. No problem. My own office in a real research lab. Ben, you're finally where you belong. Okay, Ben. Here's what we do in this laboratory. Our previous experiments have shown that exposure to electromagnetic fields created by Wi-Fi and cell phones is completely harmless. Uh, that's not exactly true. It really depends on the strength of the signal and whether... Shh. Completely harmless. So, since those EMFs are completely harmless, what about exposure to really, really, really strong EMFs? Wouldn't it be cool to see what they do to people? Uh, I know I'm the new guy here, but that's not really how science works, is it? Sure it is. Hey, what are those for? Oh, uh, we're blasting you with electromagnetic energy. Uh, what kind? Oh, all kinds. Is this how you treat all of your guest scientists? Guest scientists? You don't even have a university degree. You're a test subject. What on earth made you think you were a guest scientist? Uh, this letter you sent me? <laughs> <laughs> we send that letter out to everyone. <laughs> now, the trick is to throw it straight and get it as close to the stake as you can. Yes. Whoa. Now you try. Okay. Ben, you're home! This is great! How is the uh, experiment? Great. They said they couldn't do it without me. Then what are you doing home already? Oh, who cares? The important thing is you're here! Just in time to win the Kadasi Derby! I'm not playing horseshoes. Why not? You seem angry. They didn't fire you, did they? Of course not. My colleagues at the lab have asked me to do some home research. Ever since you went away to college, you've changed, man. Whoa! Changed? You can say that again. Buff! Blasting me with electromagnetic radiation like I'm some kind of test subject. What is that supposed to even do? Buff! Keys. Ben! Would you mind closing the garage door? Ooh, that's not good. Ben? You found my keys! I mean, are you okay? Yes. No! I need you to reverse my polarity. That's disgusting. I'm a magnet! Look, it's simple. Just get some copper wire and some cobalt. No, make that nickel. Actually, Get any rare earth metal you can find, then coil the wire. Or I could just do this. No! Oh! Uh, Ow. Shut up no. and oh. stop fighting! I'm not! I'll go get Tom. No! Do not tell Tom about this. Don't tell me what. <laughs> no! Yeah, Ben's a magnet. A magnet? Did the university do this to you? No! I don't want to talk about it. Hey, losers! First pitch is in five minutes! It's time to come out and accept your inevitable defeat. Accept it! <laughs> We're gonna go. Go out and play, Tom. Maybe you can beat them without me. Well, I don't want to beat them without you. We're a team. And I'm sorry I wasn't more supportive of your science thing. No, you were right. I don't belong at that university. You're the smartest guy I know. You belong wherever you want. Yes, I'm very, very intelligent but they treated me like some sort of animal to do tests on. Who cares what they think? They're the lab animals, working in some boring lab, being told what to do, but you followed your heart instead of your head, and you're better off for it. I do have the freedom that they'll never have. Definitely. 
And I'll never have to blast anyone with electromagnetic energy. We're already bathing in it all day. Now, how do we get you unstuck? I don't know. The more I struggle, the stronger the magnetic pull gets. And the more I relax, the weaker it gets. Okay, then you just have to relax. That shouldn't be too hard. Yes, relax. I'll try that. It's not working. You're relaxing too hard. Try unclutching your butt cheeks. Uh, ben, when you're really tense, you walk like this. I don't walk like that, do I? So, maybe if you relax the biggest muscles you have, your whole body will relax. That makes no sense, Hank. Just do it, Ben. Well, okay. Hey, you're right. The more I relax, the less magnetic I get. And the more I clench, the more magnetic I get. Ben, if you learn to control your magnetic powers, you can be a superhero. Yes! Hey, losers! Uh, oh, Come man. on, lose! Or at least win the Kentossi Derby. Yeah, let's start with that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Prepare to feel the magnetic powers of both! Horseshoe! Ben's control over his anger and his magnetic powers was short-lived. So the Derby Cup and the rights to the neighborhood vending machine remained in the hands of the current champions. And Ben was revived and demagnetized by the electrolytes in his favorite sports drink. Yes! With the certainty of gravity pulling a swirling metal shoe back to Earth, you can count on Ben and Tom to return next year, ready to battle for the right to be called Kintossi Derby Champions! Who's the good-looking guy turning all the heads tonight at the scarf party? Tom. <laughs> That's right, talking about Tom. Whoa, not everyone can pull off a red scarf. Its warm color brings out my cool stuff. Check style. it out. It took all night, but my new app is finally good. Oh, oh. Ah, not in the toilet, not in the... Ah, in the toilet. <gasps> finally, one of Ben's inventions is right where it belongs. Ah. <laughs> ah. I know, it's like, gosh, what's my best runway angle? No, I mean... Left, right, over the shoulder, up the nose? Tom, be serious. This is a big opportunity for me. This isn't just some scarf fashion show. This is the Scarf Spectacular Runway Nectacular. I don't know if you know this, but the scarf industry is so hard to break into. And every year at the SSRN, you know, the Nectacular, all the scarfies give one newcomer a chance to show their scarves to the world. And this year, I am that newcomer. Tom! Angela, relax. I'm here for you. I'm actually here for the party. And this party has everything. Shrimp free. Punch free. <laughs> Cocktail wieners surprisingly expensive. Just kidding. Those are free too. Hmm. I have to get ready, so please don't embarrass me. Just try to act like you belong here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna scarf down some shrimp. <gasps> scarf down some shrimp? Angela, did you hear what I just said? Scarf? And she thought yeah. I was gonna embarrass her. <laughs> Still not working, huh? Nope. So what's the problem? The cloud storage matrix? No, you think, but what's really causing the main issue the is- well, it's more than that. It's actually... The response sequencing loop? Oh, get out of the way. I'll fix it. Go right ahead. I could use a laugh. <laughs> For starters, you'll never be able to bypass the base matrix. You have to bypass the yes. base Wait, matrix. Wait, how did you do that? I mean, beginner's luck. Hmm. Uh, 
Whoa, no, 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 the food is for guests. Guests only. What? I'm a guest? <laughs> How could you get invitation? You're wearing your scarf backwards. I know. Now you wear it sideways. This is truly embarrassing for you. Embarrassing? Don't embarrass me. You're right, this is embarrassing. For you. You've obviously never heard about the backwards with a sideways shift scarf trend. I don't know, I have heard of all of these fashions. Of course I have. Well then you obviously know who I am. I'm Tom of Tom's Scarf Productions. I'm head scarf producer. Scarf deucer. You are a scarf deucer? Couldn't say it if it wasn't true. Ooh, let me pick into your brain. What fabric makes best fringe for you? Well, it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to say. This is the biggest debate in the scarf community for years. You know, to me, it isn't even about the fabric anymore. It's the whole scarf experience. Scarf experience? Ooh. Yes, yes. I, I pretty much want to use Ooh. the technology to break down all scarf limitations. I'm talking about an app oh. that will allow you to try on every scarf ever invented, and even scarves that haven't been invented. No limitations. No limitations, no walls, no boundaries. The scarves can go anywhere. That's why it's called the Infinite Closet. Oh, yes, this is perfect. I must take you to my superior. I heard everything. And I love it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I can't believe it. It's like, how nervous am I? I mean, singing on stage is one thing, but talking on stage about scarves? It's like so totally different. All I know is you're gonna do great because your scarves are great. My neck's been warm all night and I didn't even embarrass you once. Everything's going great. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Attention, Scarfies! Stop what you're doing! Huh, that's a familiar voice. We have a very special guest tonight. I'd like to introduce a young visionary <laughs> who I believe will revolutionize the next statement industry. Angela? Stay where you are. You're not the huh? newcomer of the year anymore. Tom! Huh? Come to the stage, darling! Earlier tonight, Tom pulled me aside and told me about his brilliant new infinite closet. No, no, what? no, I didn't pull. There was no pull. No. Look, I think there's been a mistake. Yes, there has been a mistake. For years now, closets have been finite. Right. Can I just explain? You can explain at 9 a.m. in my office on the first day of your scarfenship. Oh, how Angela. could you? Angela, wait. All I wanted to do was show my scarves and spread my message. Cool style and warm necks for everyone. And then you had to go and blow up my spot. Angela, I'm sorry. I never blow up your spot on purpose. I don't know how I became the hit of the party. People just love me, I guess. Ah, Tom, you are such a- Look, I have a meeting with Autumn Summers tomorrow, and she wants to hear about the infinite closet. Which, first of all, has nothing to do with me, and second of all, the app doesn't even exist. Yet. But I already have it all figured out in my head. Ugh. Seriously. It will be an app all about your scarves. Ugh. Angela's infinite closet. Warm necks are one swipe away. Ignore that last part. We can work on that later. No, that's great. That actually doesn't sound that bad. That's what I meant. Genius, right? No, not at all. Now I just need to make the app. All right, so infinite closet. Can you do it? Can? Well, yes, of course I can. Great. So just let me know when you're done and we'll But be... I don't think I should. I can't just bail you out every time you make a mistake. You'll never learn your lesson. Sounds to me like someone doesn't know how to make an infinite closet app. Do too. I just don't want to keep enabling Tom's bad habits. I like to encourage him to fix his mistakes. I call that ben-abling. Call it what you want. All I hear is a guy that doesn't want to reuse the existing framework of an app he already has to help his friend. What? I mean, yes, I could do it, but I would have to go back and reskin it. And you don't know how. Don't know how? I'll show you who doesn't know how. Watch this. Nice work. You know I like candy, right? Huh?
Are you sure this is gonna work? Absolutely. Tom, darling, welcome to my palace of scuspiration. So glad you could be here. Uh, who are you? Uh, Angela? I was supposed to be the newcomer of the year? Rhetorical. Tom, I'm dying to hear your presentation. I completely cleared my schedule for the next seven minutes. Take me to the infinite closet. Infinite closet. That's exactly what I have. It's an app with every scarf you could possibly imagine. But for the presentation, I'd like to turn things over to Angela, the real genius behind the idea. Thanks, Tom. Scarves. They light up our necks. They provide us with something special, something extraordinary. Angela's Infinite Closet will bring affordable scarves to billions of people all around the world. Finally, scarves can be for everyone. Everyone? Tom, what is this? Uh, Angela's Infinite Closet? No, no, no. Scarves are not for everyone. If everyone had a scarf, how would we be able to tell the cool people from the uh, normals? Uh, um, did you just say normals? Sorry, I meant to say ordinary, regular normals. Hey, some of my best friends are ordinary, regular normals. It's okay, Tom. Autumn Summers, you know what? We don't want to sell our scarves here. Go ahead and keep your lame scarf spectacular. <gasps> it's a necktacular! I know what I said. Come on, Tom. We're out of here. <laughs> and another thing. Despite what just happened here, I just want to say that you put on a lovely event and the food table was first rate. See you again next year. Uh, no we won't, Tom. No we won't. Wait, what? Why not? Because we're gonna sell our scarves on our own terms. You'll never warm a neck again! Ah, it's the end of fashion as we know it! All right, Ben, music up. We're yes. hauling heat in three, two, one. Come on, Hank, work it! Yeah! Thought you'd never ask. Are you wearing that scarf or is it wearing you? I got this. Yeah, Hank, that's what I'm talking about. Look at him, he's smoldering. It's working! Orders are off the hook! Everybody wants your scarves! Yeah. No way! That's awesome! Woo. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna be so we scarf and we rich! Did it. We did it. <laughs> yeah, if we were charging for him. Wait. You wanted me to charge for the scarves? And we're live streaming. Um, hello, Flapsters. Ben here. Welcome to today's edition of How to Be Less Lame at My Game. <laughs> this is Hank. <laughs> Hank is a complete novice. <gasps> Hank, will yes. you confirm for everyone that you've never played the game Flappy Talking Tom? Yeah, only because you've never let me. Woo! Hank, focus. Ow. Now I'm going to show you and our viewers how to succeed in this game. Well, maybe not succeed, but at least enjoy your certain failure. <laughs> okay. Hank, are you ready to flap? I'm ready, Ben. Off we go. Let's flap! <laughs> okay, Hank. Begin whenever you're ready. Hmm? In a way, oh. Flappy Talking Tom is a metaphor for life. At first, it seems like you're always getting knocked to the ground. But if you keep trying, eventually you'll start to make it past the few minor obstructions. Oh, like this? Yes, just like... Hey! How did you do that? How did you not do that? These first columns are easy. <laughs> yes, that's true. They were set up to give you a... a false sense of achievement. Now the game will get harder, so be sure to think about what's coming at you and don't take your eyes off the screen, not even for a second. Oh, hey, Angela, did you see that rerun of Coffee Shop Pals last night? That was a good one. Ooh, I did, it was- Angela, please. This is a serious game. It requires complete concentration. Hey, look, I'm flying. Now, when Hank crashes here any second now, I'll give you an inside tip you'll need to know to get past this impossible part that nobody- What? No, 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 no! 
no, 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 no one is this good their first time! Game over. Woo! That was amazing! And hilarious! Hank's better than you and he wasn't even trying! Can we cut, <laughs> cut the feed? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, Bed. I guess I'm just way better than you. Where did you get the source code? <laughs> you cheated! Oh. I know you cheated! Cheated? I just did this with my finger. And your finger cheated! Stop! Break it up, break it up! Who gave you the code? <laughs> oh. Huh? Yeah! Um. <laughs> ben, it's just a high score on a video game. What's the big deal? It's not just a high score, it's my whole worldview. I'm a thinking man, Tom. If someone like Hank can beat me without even trying, why bother being intelligent at all? I'll tell you what, since this is bothering you so much and it is embarrassing for our company, we'll take the video down. Hey guys, the clip of Ben yelling at Hank just hit a million views. Like I said, we'll keep that video up because there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yes, there is. So here's the plan. You versus Hank. A Flappy Talking Tom showdown, live on the internet. We'll call it The Barrage in the Garage. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Hank, the greatest natural talent to ever press a screen, takes on Ben, a former champion, a genius among smart people, in an app battle to determine the heavyweight championship of the Everybody, it's me, Talking Tom, and with me always is Angela. Welcome to the Barrage in the Garage. And who could forget the last clash of these two tapping titans? It looks like we're about ready to start here, so let's go down to the referee for the official countdown. And the Barrage in the Garage is underway. Ben takes an early lead. While Hank seems to have wandered off somewhere. <gasps> Pretty risky gameplay from Hank. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> Novice. Eh, pretty basic three-tier pie play out so far. Ah, nothing a simple swinging arcane handle. You got this, Ben. And I think it's gonna be kind of hard to eat a sandwich and play the game at the same time. Wait a second, Tom. He's going through the first column. And the second, and the third! Wow, what a game! Could Hank actually catch up to Ben and prove he's top dog? And speaking of dogs, we invite our viewers to enjoy a delicious, let's be frank, hot dog. They snap when you bite them just like a hot diggity dog should. Right, Angela? <sighs> Whatever you say, Tom. Now let's get back to the match. Right. It looks like Hank is still eating a sandwich. And now he's switching hands to get a better hold. And somehow he is still going! Oops! Hey, Ben, did you see that? The tomato saved my life. <laughs> what? That is not how you play my game. No! Ooh, 
looks like Ben will be starting over from zero. Gotta hurt. <sighs> Let's hear what the fans are saying. <laughs> Here's a good one. Ben, you are the worst player ever. Oh. oh, and this one. Ben, Hank is gonna beat you at your own game. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, this game is impossible! Oh! No, it's easy. You go over the bottom columns and under the top columns. No, that's not how you do it. Well, that's how I do it. You have to look for patterns and remember what worked the previous times you saw that pattern. You have to study and prepare and think about what you're going to do next. Think? Yes! Ah! <sighs> okay, then. Calm down and focus. Science must prevail. Okay, Ben is back at it. His start is great, and his flight path is steady and well thought out. But somehow Hank is still eating and winning. Okay? Uh, Flappy Hank? No! Uh, ben, you won! I did? Yeah, you did! You're the champion! I am? How did you do it? Well, Tom, it was just a matter of my precision, my intellect, my planning, and trusting in the intelligence of the mind. Wow. Ben, how does that feel? Well, I'm happy about the victory, but putting the high score so far out of reach, well, that was the real achievement. <laughs> no, I mean, how does it feel to have your high score broken so quickly? I say what now? Seconds ago, another gamer playing live just shattered your record. What? Who? Oh. It's me. I'm Ginger. I'm the best. Number one. Oh, yeah. I did it. Here he is now, your new champion! How did you do it? I've got to know! Yes, how did you do it? Did you use the power of thought like Ben, or did you clear your mind like Hank? Neither! The game's just easier for me because I have small fingers! <sighs> well, I quit forever. Yeah, me too. Tap, press, press, press! Tap, tap, press! Press, press, tap! I'm excited. Angela's show is gonna be the greatest musical event since the first caveman banged two rocks together. That's even greater than when a different caveman invented the bone flute. Way greater. Ooh, did you bring the Angela concert t-shirts? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Hank, the design, it's gone. I know, weird, right? Did you know that when you're washing shirts, you don't have to use the entire bottle of bleach? I do. Now? How can these be Angela concert t-shirts if they don't even have Angela on them? <laughs> Whatever. At least we can still sell the glow sticks. Glow sticks? Oh, you mean the candy tubes. Oh! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. This first song is about a cool party I heard about. Anyways, this is one of my favorites. One, two, three! Yesterday, but my invitation says today. Excuse me? Huh? Singer? I'm sorry, but could you keep it down? My baby is trying to sleep. Okay, but I mean, if you wanted it to be quiet, then why did you come to a concert? Oh, so you think because we've got babies, we're supposed to stay cooped up in the house all day? No, 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 no. I just mean, since I'm all set up, don't you want me to rock this street? Ugh, quietly, maybe. Ugh.
Thank you. My name is Angela. Rock on. No rules. Party? Music? <sighs> Tom! Uh, the... Hey, that was a quiet show, but I really liked what I was able to hear. Uh, why do I even do gigs like this? They do nothing for my career. Good question, Angela. Angela, why do you do gigs like this? It's the stupid manager app Ben made me. It's worthless. Hey, Angela, you really rocked it today at the a a Afternoon Street Show. Mm. Last week, I sang on a garbage boat for a bunch of birds. I think this app just picks random spots and tells me their concerts. <sighs> well, did you at least sell some t-shirts? Yeah, the shirts. Um, I had a little laundry malfunction, but my cool sketch saved the day, I think. Uh, that doesn't even look like me. Of course not. It's you if you were a hot dog. Uh, Go! I am not a hot dog, and I don't surf! I sing! <gasps> Five photos of out-of-control Angela flipping out. Have you seen this? Uh-oh. Out of control? Do I seem out of control to you? Well, do I? No. Not to me. No. Well, maybe just a little. Ow! It is so not fair. I flip one table and now my music career is over? Your career's not over. People who appreciate talent like me will come watch you rock every street in the neighborhood. And I'll watch you on every garbage boat in the sea. Aw, thanks, you guys. <sighs> who even took these pictures? Yeehaw! Ride up, cowboy! I did. Those are nothing. I saved the really crazy pics for the bigger websites. What? Ginger, why would you do this to me? Uh, I think what you mean is, why did I do this for you? Oh, what's this now? Angela's number 20 on ClickFeed's hot new celebrity list. Wow. Cool. Read the comments. Wow, these are all good. Listen to this one. Angela is my idol. Here's a link to one of her songs. I know what I'm doing. And as your new manager, huh? I have a plan to get you to the top of the hot new celebrity list. You can't be my manager. You're seven. Plus, Angela already has a manager. Oh, you mean this thing? Wait, don't delete me. Wait, oops. Congratulations, Ginger. Oh, no. You've just become my yeah. image consultant. Hi, everyone. I'm Brenda Blake with the ClickFeed Hot New Celebrity List. Hot New Celebrity Angela flipped out again, this time at a charity poker event. Turning the tables on these crooked card counters takes Angela up to number 15 on our hot new celebrity hot new list. I don't know why you even want to be on that list. It doesn't have anything to do with talent. It's just about drawing attention to yourself. But the higher my name goes on that list, the bigger my fan base, and the more people who could possibly learn about my singing talent. The people who make that list don't care about singing talent. Oh, they will. After we take it to the next level. Ooh, huh? what's the next level? A boyfriend! A boyfriend? Yeah, you know, on again, off again, dates, kissing in public. These shows love drama. A boyfriend has nothing to do with being a singer. Do you see what happens when you listen to Ginger? And that boyfriend should be played by Tom. He comes up with some pretty great ideas. I will do it. Ah, thank you so much for coming on this fake date with me, Tom. You're welcome. And, uh, and, and we don't need to, to keep calling it a, a fake date. Right. Let's make this look real. I like real. Tom? Yes, Angela? I know things have been crazy lately with my singing career. What singing career? You haven't been up on stage since you ripped up all those t-shirts. This isn't how I normally act, and Ginger isn't someone I'd normally listen to. But hey, it's working. If getting famous is your only goal, then sure, I, I guess Ginger's plan is working. I just think you're talented enough to get famous for your music. Oh, thanks, Tom. So, uh, do you think we can pull off a believable fake kiss? <gasps> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah! oh, what's crab legs? Oh, Ginger, what are you doing? Shot, so I raced over here to save you from kissing. <laughs> but these happy couple pics are useless without a loud breakup. Mm -hmm. Tom, just follow my lead. Huh? I'm sorry, Tom. Do you mind playing along? And action! 
Tom, this isn't working out. I think we should end it. Whoa, that's a little too real. Why? Says the boyfriend. Because you're selfish and immature. Selfish and immature? Me? Good. No, the selfish and immature boyfriend huh? throws food. Whoa! <laughs> Stop! Hey, quit throwing crab legs at me. Now let's bring in the waiter. That's me. <clears throat> Hello, I'm a waiter, and throwing food is not allowed. You hashtag Angela and you hashtag boyfriend are kicked out. Now I will tell everyone on social media about this dramatic breakup. And cut! I can make that work. Huh? You got this, Tom? Uh, well, I, uh... Yes. See ya! Oh, thank you, Tom. <sighs> Thanks to this video for breakup with your crappy and attractive boyfriend, Angela has clawed her way to number one on today's hot new celebrity list. You can catch Angela in her Getting Over My Breakup concert, which will stream live later today. Another celebrity who thinks she can sing. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Angela. Your big talent is flipping tables. So I think I'll be one of the many ClickFeed fans I'm missing this show. <laughs> You're a celebrity now. You don't need talent. Isn't that why we're doing this? <laughs> uh, 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 forget it. Uh. We go live in 10 minutes. What's her problem? So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. This live feed will be my biggest audience ever, but most of them don't even want to hear me sing. Well, your real fans can't wait to hear you sing. And if someone is only watching because some lame celebrity gossip show put you on their list, their opinion isn't that important. Am I interrupting anything? No? Good. I have an idea. I don't want to hear it. Mm. Great. So a lot of your fans from ClickFeed are going to be tuning in. So it's really important that you give them what they want. And what do they want? Well, they don't want you to sing. Uh -huh. Look, you can sing if you want. But I just think it's better to flip out and start wrecking the stage. That's what this audience wants from you. Bye! And we're live streaming. Well, Angela, decision time. Be an out-of-control celebrity, be a great singer, combine the two, do whatever you think is best for you. Welcome to the live streaming event you've been waiting for. This is Angela. <sighs> One, two, three, four! What? I felt completely off the hot new celebrity list? Yes, but don't panic. We can bounce back. We'll get you thrown off a bus or something. Just don't sing for a while. No, Ginger. From now on, I'm going to focus on the music. No more fake boyfriends, no more stupid lists, and no more Ginger. You're fired! Yeah, I fired you first. You never fired me! Bye! Da -da -da -ba, da -da -da -da. I still don't get it. I thought I sounded okay. Okay? That was the greatest musical performance since the first cavemen banged two rocks together. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Tom. You're the best. So now that your career's back on track, I I've been thinking about how we almost, you know, kissed at the diner. Oh, the fake date. Awkward, right? Uh, yeah. Tom, is Angela your girlfriend? Can it, Whoa. Hank? That should do it. Let's see. Backpacks, slipping bags, lanterns. Oh, sunscreen. Check. Cool shades? Check. Hacky sack? The sack is in the back. Great. I think we've got everything we need for the annual best friend camping trip. Now to pack it all. Hank, I'll let you get started. I gotta take care of the thing with the deal. Huh? Whoa! How'd you fit all that in? The secret is to roll your underwear into tubes. Whoa, 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 huh? whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a laptop? <laughs> Nowadays, it's called a portable computer. This is our best friend's camping trip. That means me, you, Hank, and no laptops. Hi, guys. Huh? Oh, and I also invited Angela. Is that desert is hiding dinosaur 
microphones, they will be mine! And I invited Ginger. Someone has to teach him about nature. Hold on. Five people on a three-person best friends trip? What's wrong with us coming? Uh, let's see. Five is not three. Don't worry, Ben. We're still going to do the same things we do every year. Plus, we'll get to witness the rarest sight in nature. <gasps> a half bird, half snake man? Even better, an ultra moon. That's when the moon comes so close, it's like ultra. I don't see it. It's not out yet. It's still daytime. Okay, everyone, according to my checklist, it's time for our first night hacky sack session. Tom? Hey, later, Ben. I'm cooking here. Okay, while we wait for you, Hank, Ginger, let's get kicking. I feel like playing some music. I'm gonna go look for dinosaur bones! I see. I guess I'm the only one who cares about tradition. La 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 la. All right, everybody, try and guess the song. <gasps> No. Here, let me play the hook. <gasps> That's the exact same note! Hank, please stop. Everyone knows we don't play Guess the Song until the second night of the Best Friends trip. Look! The Ultra Moon is rising! <sighs> Looking at the Ultra Moon reminds me of a song. <gasps> Now that's dance the night for you. You guessed it. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. Bring Angela. Sure, Hank. Bring Ginger, too. Why not? Say, hey, someone should call up Santa and see if he's busy. <sighs> At least I have you. Smuggled laptop. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, let's see now. Wi-Fi in the middle of the desert? Hi, you up? Am I up? Who is this? The moon. Ha, you're being funny. Who is this really? Ow! Who threw that? <laughs> huh? Wait, that tastes just like a moon rock! Yes, I have a lot of those because I'm the moon. Okay, but how am I talking to you? You're way too far away to get a signal. Usually that's true, but tonight I'm much, much closer to you. Did you get Wi-Fi just for this Ultra Moon? I've always had it. I just don't ever get to use it. Then you have some catching up to do. Wanna watch a funny internet video? What's a video? Oh boy, where do I even start? <laughs> what do you know about kittens? Whoa! <laughs> huh? Dead? No. <laughs> you sign off first. No, you sign off first. I did, and I logged back on, and you were still on. No. What's going on? Shh! I don't know. I found him like this. Maybe he's got <laughs> desert crazy. Hey, Ben, what are you doing? Ah, uh, just chatting with the moon. I thought you weren't going to bring your laptop. Well, you brought Angela. Hank brought Ginger. And thanks to my laptop, I found the moon. Wait, is that really the moon? Of course not. Huh. Then how do you explain this sudden eclipse? Yeah, good one, moon. Whoa. Whoa. Ha, 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 ha. Did you see that eclipse? <sighs> That's Angela. Remember I told you about how she gets? Mm, you know, she's exactly like you described her. Wait, what? Well, are you and the moon coming on the hike with us? Oh, can you? Oh, I wish. It's time for me to set. Aw. When can I chat with you again? Mm, I'll be back in 14,000 years. 14,000? Oh, well, uh, okay. I, it was nice meeting you, I guess. Yeah, I'll miss you, Ben. Ah, here's a crazy idea. What if I didn't set so we could keep hanging out? Yes, you could do that? Then you could go on the hike with us. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'd love to. Yes! Four. Bring it on down. One, one two, two, three, four. four. One, one, two, three, four. Hey, buddy. 
A little farther and we'll be at Pleasant Springs, the highlight of every best friend camping trip, right? Ben? I have to. <laughs> That's all I've got. No. Uh, what's so funny? I could tell you, but the moon doesn't think you'll get it. <laughs> really? I mean, I am pretty good at getting things, but whatever. Okay, we're laughing because I meant to send Ben a winky face, but I accidentally sent him a kissy face. <laughs> <laughs> That was a lucky accident. <laughs> kizzy, kizzy. Oh, so cute. So funny. You make such a good couple. Okay, the moon needs to go now. Look, I know the moon is annoying, but she makes Ben happy. Hold on, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Winky face, smiley face. Ugh, vomit. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Say cheese. Hey, Ben, some of us were thinking maybe it's time for the moon to, I don't know, set? Huh? Who's some of us, Angela? <laughs> Can the moon not be part of this conversation? <laughs> Anything you want to say to me, you can say to the moon. Tell him, Benny. Okay. There's supposed to be a best friend vibe on this trip, but the moon, who I think is totally cool, is kind of pulling you away from the group. Don't let him talk about us like that, Ben Ben. Uh, nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on, we're out of here. Trouble. Yeah, something needs to be done. I have an idea. And I have a dinosaur bone! So, now that we're alone, was that true what you said back there? Am I really your girlfriend? Well, do you want to be? Do I want to be? Does this answer your question? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Moon, you are so hot. Oh, Ben, stop it. <laughs> you I am just a lonely asteroid lost in this desert. If only there are a handsome, uh, uh, an average looking man to help me. What do you guys think you're doing? Trying to save the best friend camping trip? You're the one who ruined it when you let Angela and Ginger come. Hey. Well, you ruined the hike. You and the moon. Oh, I get what's going on here. You're jealous because you wish you had the kind of connection with Angela that I have with the moon. What? This Angela? What gave you that impression? Admit it, Tom. You wish you could do this. Moon, since the first time I saw you, I wanted to kiss you. <gasps> kiss me, Ben. Best friends camping trip? Yes, us, best friends, remember? Wow, I don't know what to say. I had no idea a relationship with the moon would cause this much trouble. Yeah, I know, it's hard, but you're doing the right thing breaking up with her. <gasps> ben? What? No, no, that's not what's happening here. What? Take care, Tom. Well, this is it. Goodbye, Ma! Where are you going, Ben? To the moon, Mom. To the moon. Okay. Previously on Talking Tom and Friends. Hold on. Five people on a three-person best friends trip? You're being funny. Who is this? The moon. Is that really the moon? That moon is trouble. Nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on. We're out of here. To the moon, Mom. To the moon. Ah. 
I'm so not worried about not having Ben here to run Tom and Ben Enterprises. I, I don't need him. I mean, in a way, I'm glad that he's gone. Now there's no one to say, no, that's stupid. No, that's impossible. No, we can't make an update that makes your phone taste like chocolate. From now on, there's only yes. 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you live out here. This is way better than Earth. Watch this. Come. Wow, Ben. I didn't know you could dunk. I'm impressed. Oh, it's no big deal. Want me to do it again? Whoa, what's that? Oh, that's Dale. He's a comet. And a show off. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Moon. I've never been happier. Mm, me neither, my angel. Me neither. I promised my fans an update to the My Talking Tom app, and that's what I'm going to give them. Today? That's right. Have you even started working on the update yet? Nope. But that's not a problem. But Ben's not here. Exactly. Now there's no one to slow us down. Now all we have to do is pick an idea, make it, and release it. Ready? Here's my first idea. I love it. Not yet, Hank, but I like your enthusiasm. Now here we go. I'm gonna give my app something called the Quackulator. It's like a calculator, but it quacks. Okay, I love that even more. I don't. That's just the beginning. I'm also gonna add a feature I'm calling uh, a Talking Tom Tom. You know, Tom Tom. The drum. Talking Tom Tom. Oh yeah, Talking Tom Tom. What exactly does it, uh, do-do? Well, it takes whatever you say and it turns it into a drumbeat. So it's your words if your words were drumbeats. Talking Tom Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I love that idea? Mm -mm. I didn't even like that idea. But can I be supportive to a good friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're all agreed. Talking Tom Tom is brilliant. Now for the easy part. The computer stuff. Have you ever even done computer stuff before? I can figure it out. Uh, you want me to turn it on? Huh? Uh, yes I do. Oh! Benny, <laughs> <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> this must be love. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt this way before! I'm so happy! Wait, is that crater shaped like a heart? Where's Hank? Uh, Ready to do our... Okay, I'll say something and you drum it back to me. Not yet. My name is Tom, my partner Ben is on the moon, so who needs him? Talking Tom and Tom Tom Tom. It works! All right. Now we just have to get this into there. Hank, stop drumming. Sorry. See, guys? We're doing great without Ben. If he were here, there's no way we'd be doing the talking Tom Tom. Yeah, he would have killed this idea four hours ago. Exactly, that's my point. Ben only knows how to say no, right? Yeah. Angela, remember that time he shot down your totally great idea? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. When the children eat, the future is gold. <coughs> Can't sing, need drink. Angela, no! Those are nails! <gasps> wow! By saying no, he kind of saved my career. Okay, so that wasn't a great example. But you can't deny that Ben is just a big no. Yeah! I'll never forget the one time he told me no! <laughs> <laughs> No way. No, Ginger. No, 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 no. You can't give up. Get back on that bike. No, I believe in you. I know you can do this. I'm doing it, Ben. I'm doing it. I'm the happiest boy in the world. You 
weren't supposed to see that. That's the wrong flashback. But you get it, right? Ben said no. Um, what? Uh, Quit smiling at me. I know what you mean, Ginger. Ben's negative attitude really upset you. I have a story where Ben said no. Nope. Enough hey. about Ben. We need to focus on getting the My Talking Tom Tom update ready. No more stories about Ben, okay? I kind of miss Ben. No, you don't. None of us do. What? Talking Tom Tom test, what is this? Talking Tom Tom test run video number eight. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Ben, and I wish I was as creative as Tom. Darn, <laughs> still stuck in cow mode. Okay, this update might be a crazy idea, but it's important to Tom, so it's important to me. I don't know if Tom will ever see this video, oh. but if he ever did, mm. I would say, mm. I'm trying, buddy. Give up on my friend. No way. <laughs> well, that was stupid, right? <sighs> I got something in my eye. It's hot in here and I'm going outside. It is a tad toasty in here. Hi, Ben. What you doing? Uh, just making an app that lists all the fun adventures we could go on together. Oh, like flying through an asteroid belt? Well, that might be a little deadly for me, but yeah, I guess that kind of thing. I know what we can do right now. Let's sit back and relax and watch the sunset. Yeah, sunset. That's a great idea. <sighs> <sighs> this moment is perfect. You're right. It is perfect. Uh -oh. Moon, I know this might seem quite sudden, but... Uh, what are you trying to say, Benny? Moon, would you be my... Hey! What's going on here? Jeff? How's he? I pop down to Earth for some groceries and I come back to this. Moon? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I thought I could run this company by myself. But why would I want to? I can't even turn on a clacking computer without my best friend. <clears throat> I give up. This business is ruined. You can't have Tom and Ben Enterprises without Ben. I guess he had to go all the way to the moon for us to finally appreciate him. We didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. <sighs> goodbye to whom? Ben! Ben! Yeah, Ben! <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad you're back. See you, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh, hug him. This is the boot happening. Oh, okay. Let's hug Finish up now. What made you come back? I uh, just knew that you needed me, so yeah. That's the answer. But you and the moon were so into each other. Hey, hey, enough moon talk, right? I say we find a way to give our fans the My Talking Tom update you promised them. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do you have any ideas? Tons, and you're gonna love them all. How about My Talking Tom Krill Tracker? Nope. Pajama Namer? Nope. Oh, you'll love this one. My Talking Tom Stripe Counter. It counts stripes. Right? No. No? But I even said right? Okay, okay, okay. How about the My Talking Tom Tom? It takes whatever you say and turns it into a drum beat. That could work. I actually almost have it figured out. You do? Yeah, you just have to take the syncopation of the drum beat and then you take the code and put it in. After careful study, I have determined 
that this place does, in fact, have the best burgers in the known universe. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if you order off the secret menu. Oh, I love the secret menu. It makes me feel so mysterious. You can get the square bun style. That's where the burger has a square bun. Or double onion style. Oddly, that's triple onions. Or the Talking Tom, which is just a regular burger, but they name it after you. I'm going to get by freestyle. That's where you get a burger, and it's free. I don't think freestyle is a real thing. There is a freeze style where the meat is still frozen. And freak style where the burger really freaks you out. Oh. Well, what about the double secret menu? There's a double secret menu? No, I made it up. Can anyone give me money to buy a burger? Uh... Uh... Ah! What kind of a dirty, rotten world do we live in? Where you always have to pay for a hamburger. How is that fair? Hank, I was about to... I mean, seriously, uh, yeah. I already paid for rent sure. and electricity mm -hmm. and TV theme song downloads. I'm not made of money, Tom. I I'm not a tree. No. I'm not a dog of beans. Oh, If you're short on cash, why don't you just try Cash Kicker? Wait, Cash-o what now? It's that website where you ask people for money, and if they think it's for a good reason, they give it to you. Whoa, you think a cash kicker campaign could get as much as $3? It could, if the video where you beg for money is convincing enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Frank. Uh, no, it's not. I need to eat a hamburger, and I need you to help me achieve that lofty and delicious goal. Ah, hold on, I pointed the wrong way. I'm Hank Stubby, and me want hamburger. I'm so hungry. I heard these campaigns go better if I make this personal, so this message is going out to you, Beth, and you, Kristoff, and Amy. But not you, Mike. Definitely not you. I am not going to mention your name, Mike. He doesn't want your love He doesn't. Dreams! Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah! Hank's project is an insult to everyone with a real cash kicker campaign. Like my campaign! I'm perfecting the ability to create handheld holograms. With this amazing new technology, you can be holding something and then... Surprise! It was a hologram! Anyway, it's better than Hank's burger thing. That guy's not gonna raise a dime. You raised a million dollars on Cash Kicker? Yeah, I only needed three. Turns out it was as easy as you said it would be. But this flies in the face of statistics and logic and physics. In no sane world does this happen. What can I say? I guess people just like the idea of buy me a hamburger. Stop! <gasps> wow, okay, wow, this changes everything. We're gonna have to buy a fancy new car and then we're gonna drive that fancy new car on a boat. Wait, that might ruin the boat. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. We've got a million dollars. Yeah, um, about that. <laughs> we don't have the money anymore because oh. I spent it all on hamburgers. You what? Why would you do that? Tom, people gave me this money for one reason, to buy burgers. Still, I mean, you could have saved some money for like a helicopter or two. You know, something small. Look, your cash kicker idea was super great. I wanted a burger. I got a ridiculous amount of burgers. Uh, I made a giant burger mountain in the backyard, and now I'm eating a burger. Everything worked out fine, Tom. You want a burger? Congratulations on your big success, Hank. You're my hero! Well, the secret is asking in a way that makes people want to give. Yeah, and uh, making crazy promises, like promising you'd eat a burger with anyone who gave you money. Totally stupid! I love it! I said what? That does sound like me. And anyone who gives me money will get to sit down with me and personally watch me eat the burger. Oh, <gasps> That does sound like me. And it looks like me too, so either I have an evil twin, or I am the evil twin. Hank, I just said that you're my hero, and heroes always keep their promises. 
And since I contributed one penny to your campaign, I demand you eat a hamburger! No! Well, a promise is a promise. <sighs> so, apparently, I owe every single one of my million dollars worth of backers some one-on-one -on -one burger time. That's a lot of burger time. But maybe Ginger is the only one who cares. Maybe most of those people won't even call in for their reward. You're calling in for your award? Remember, there are hungry children in the world, so don't waste any sauce and finish the bun. This is totally my fault. If I hadn't done such a good job singing, less people would have given money and you wouldn't be in this position. Aw, uh, don't say that. There was a lot going on in that video. No, Hank. I was really, really good. And now I have to live with that. Just eat this quickly. Huh? I'm sorry I did this to you. Oh, yeah. Burger, burger, burger. In the house. It's Hanky in the burger time, y'all. Oh, uh, I just ordered a small water. I know, but I backed your campaign, so I get to watch you eat this. Hmm. Dr. Internet Doctor here. If you're feeling sick, then I'm your pick. Oh, hey, Hank. How are you feeling, my good man? Hey, Doc. I'm not feeling so well. Hmm. Any changes to your diet? Like, say, adding a ridiculous amount of burgers? How did you know? I saw your cash kicker. It's all everyone's talking about here on the internet. Everyone who contributed is expecting me to eat a burger with them. One on one. That can't be healthy, right? Let me see. Well, as a medical professional, I have to agree that eating that many burgers can't be good. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, I advise you to stop. Oh, that is such a relief. But as a guy who gave 75 cents to your campaign, I'm also looking forward to watching you eat a burger. <sighs> well, you're the doctor. I trusted you. I gave you so much of my attention and time. And this is how you repay me? Traitor! I'm a villain! Unfair! Ben, buddy, everything okay uh, here? The cash kicker campaign for my personal hologram app has completely stalled out. I only made $10! Actually, less, because some jerk took back his donation! Oh, that was me. I gave it to Hank. I even made a video like Hank, but it didn't work. I don't know why. You know what? I don't even want your money. You people don't deserve my app. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. Shame. It ends with me just screaming into a pillow. I guess it's always good to blow off some steam. I'm just frustrated that Hank is so successful with his dumb hamburger campaign. You know, while I'm scrambling to try to get my world-changing hologram app made, he's living the high life. Hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers everywhere. Did anyone call for me? Don't answer that. No one's in the other room with a hamburger for me to eat, right? No one's hiding in the couch disguised as a ketchup packet waiting to eat a hamburger with me, are they? Are they? You can run, but you can't hide, ketchup man. I will find you! What's going on? Hmm, could be a symptom of pickle poisoning. That's a common side effect of an overdose on burgers. No hamburger! Buddy, you eat too many pickles? It making your brain crazy? I'm in trouble, guys. I made a crazy, crazy promise that I would eat a hamburger with everyone who gave me money. But so many people gave me money that I can't possibly eat that many hamburgers. That's <sighs> what you get for being frivolous on the internet. I know. I really frivolous things up. You did. Everyone was giving money to your burger campaign, so no one gave money to my hologram campaign, which was way more important. I'm sorry. If I could somehow use my power over burgers to help you, I would. Huh? That gives me an idea. Thank you for backing my burger campaign, Joan. Now I'm going to eat this just for you, Joan. Okay, set up the next one. Thanks for backing my burger campaign. Boris. Now I'm going to eat this just for you. 1,000 hologram burgers, zero calories. Just another 72 hours of this and we can get through all the rest of Hank's backers. <sighs> What's the matter, Ben? 
Well, when you said that gives me an idea earlier, you implied that Hank's burgers could help me. But all we're doing is helping Hank, again. My campaign is still unfunded. That's true, but at least you proved your app works. So in a way, this was really a victory for you. But that's not what I wanted. A victory. No, you see. Victory. Gah! So I crash landed the helicopter and saved the queen, and the people cheered and sang with joy. And that's when I finally made the switch from oh. drinking cold water uh -huh. to drinking room temperature water. Oh, yeah, I see. that makes sense. What's going on here? Why are you sitting around talking when we could be out getting free candy? <laughs> Ginger, we're adults. If we want candy, we can just go buy some. Oh, so you're just coming with me while I trick or treat. I don't think you understand. Trick or treating isn't on our schedule tonight. What? But wait, are you saying? Don't touch it. <gasps> Sorry. Listen, it's cold, it's dark, Hank still hasn't returned my scuba diver costume. Oh, that was a costume. No wonder the tag on it said, do not wear it in water. The point is, we're not really doing Halloween this year, Ginger. Not doing candy. I'm a grown-up now. I drink room temperature water. I can't be out running around with children in costumes. You'll be sorry you didn't take me trick-or-treating. And you'll be sorry you said such mean things about me. Um, we didn't say any mean things about you, Ginger. Well, I'm sure you thought them. Yeah, he's got us there. All right, who's ready for this year's Scarathon TV Marathon? Woohoo! me! about to enter a place beyond a place beyond another place some things are the same here but some are different are ghosts real do aliens exist what is the tooth fairy doing with all those teeth everything isn't black and white but this show is you've just crossed over into the sundown center <laughs> boring did you seriously pick an old black and white show for this year's scarathon why does it if it's in black and white. It's boring. This is Halloween. The Scarathon should be scary. Au contraire, mon scare. Black and white can be very scary, especially if I use this, the Total TV Immersion app. It makes it feel like you're in the show. It'll have you shaking in your Halloween boots. Ooh, I'm so scared. You will be. What? Whoa! Is wow. this real? This is awesome! It's just like we're in the Sundown Sector. Maybe we are. Total immersion! Today's story is about a monster. Not a monster that lurks in the dark. Not a monster with fangs or claws. This monster is an adorable little boy. Ah! All right, listen up. Because I'm nice, I'm going to give you one. Chance. You can either come trick-or-treating with me now, or you can suffer the consequences. Ginger, this is getting annoying. How many times do we have to tell you no? No, 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 no. What just happened? Where did Ben go?
just need a break, Ginger. We're exhausted from following all of your fun orders. Turn the TV off, Hank! Mm. I can't! The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start! Mm. I mean, I can't do that! The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start! Turn it off now, Hank! Or I'll send you into my phone like I did to Ben! Mm. I can't do it! This is your last warning! I can't! What? I just can't! Please don't punish me! I physically can't turn off the TV if Bago and McGillicuddy is on! <laughs> Great idea, right, Angela? Angela, what are you doing? I am finished doing what Ginger tells us to do. Excuse me? You heard me! I said I'm not going to listen to you anymore. You're just a little brat who gets mad when he doesn't get his way, and I have had enough! Ah. No! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ah. You have to stop, Ginger. You can't just push people around and intimidate them into doing what you want. That's funny, because I actually can't do that. Ginger, Ginger, listen, I, I, I want to say that I am really sorry for the whole running and chasing and, and yelling thing. I actually like following your orders. I, j j just give me another one and I'll do it right away. Sorry, Tom, it's too late. You had your chance. Ginger, please. <laughs> Top? What is this? Wait, are, are we in... Yeah, we're inside Ginger's phone. And by the looks of it, we're trapped. Things were pretty bad in here for a while, but then the couch and the TV just appeared out of nowhere. It was awesome. Speak for yourself. When the couch appeared, it landed on me. How did that happen? What's that sound? What sound? Move to your left. Are you sure we can't escape? There has to be some way out of here. I don't even see any doors or walls. It's like we're in a totally different plane of existence or something. Well, at least we're not just sitting around the garage. We keep saying we need to get out more, and we finally did. I'm proud of us. You know, this same thing happened on an episode of the Sundown Sector. I guess we'll just have to do what those characters did. Witches. I mean, not like witches, but witches. Give up. Give up? You mean just stop trying to escape? Yep, there's no way out, so might as well get comfortable. Are you crazy? There is no way I'm giving up that easily. Hey, Ginger, you hear me out there? You're not gonna get away with this. We'll escape somehow, and when we do, you'll win. What is that? What is that? Wait, what is that? Terrifying. I told you old things can be good and scary. You guys don't think something like that is really possible, right? I mean, I, I know it's just a show, but you don't think that. Ah! Hey guys, I'm back! Ah! And I got tons of candy! Ah! What's wrong with you guys? 
Nothing. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything is great. Just perfect. Okay, if you say so. Hey, the Sundown Sector. I remember this show. I used to watch this with my parents. They said I reminded them of some character on there. I don't remember who, though. Isn't that weird? I said, isn't that weird? So I said, uranium? More like my anium, huh? Am I right? I love watching Ben do stand-up. He's awful. I can't do this anymore. Even my fake laugh sounds fake. Listen. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Ben. Okay. Mm, try this. <laughs> Wait, that's fake? That's how you laugh when I tell a joke. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're so funny. <laughs> Bromine. <laughs> right, bro? Mean. Ugh. Cadmium. <laughs> I just met him. Oh. Iodine? Oh, iodine up here. Uh, cat got my tungsten? Oh. <laughs> Iridium! Ha ha! Ha! Whoa! Whoa! Ha ha! Way to go, buddy! Don't bother lying to me, I bombed. Whew, thank goodness, he already knows, guys. It just doesn't make sense. I know my jokes were humorous. Look at this spreadsheet. Every joke I did tonight was from the funny column. I know the problem. You think your jokes are funny, but they're not funny. Oh, that's why no one was laughing. Your jokes aren't funny. No, my jokes aren't the problem, I know that. But there's some piece of the comedy puzzle that's still missing and I'm gonna find out what it is. Ha ha ha! How was that? Better. Research is complete. I'm happy to say that I finally found a way to perform comedy so my material gets the laughter it deserves. This is gonna be really big. Sounds like you're ready for some jobs! <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know why I don't trust Adam? <laughs> because as we know from science, Adams make up everything! <laughs> That's a good one, huh? <laughs> Ooh, this? Ben is huge! This is How could he possibly get that big? <laughs> The Gainatron! My research proved that big equals funny, and this device will instantaneously quadruple my size. This is what I was missing. Right, so why did the chicken cross the mobius strip? <laughs> <laughs> to get to the same size! <laughs> <It all happened. laughs> why are they laughing? <laughs> no one even knows what a mobius strip is! Planet 
lady. I'm trying to laugh at that house on the stage. <laughs> I don't think Big Ben is getting laughs for the right reasons. You're right. I have seen this before. They're laughing at him. Ugh, this is communal shaming. Oh, pardon me. I just need a little liquid refreshment. Wobble, wobble. Be careful there. Whoa. Who wants to hear a jolly old jape about a focus ray of light? Well, that, my friends, was comedy. People were definitely laughing. Precisely. My invention, the Gainatron, has given me a huge comedy stage presence to match my already hugely funny material. You're hugely wrong. No one thinks your jokes are funny. It must be that people are laughing at you. As opposed to laughing with you? False. They were laughing because they understood my clever wordplay and my science-based comedy. <laughs> ben, I didn't understand a word you said, but you sure were funny. Up top. Put it there, pal. No. <laughs> You've done it again. Good one. not working. We're not strong enough. Keep pushing! Ah! <laughs> Just get me to the couch. I don't have all day here, you know? Hey, guys, maybe this will help. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, it's not fine. <gasps> that ain't Ginger. No, it's right here. <laughs> Ben, this isn't worth it. Your size is getting in the way of your life. But it's not getting in the way of my comedy. It's not comedy. You're not funny, Ben. You've never been funny. The audience would beg to differ. Everyone's laughing at you because you look ridiculous. You could read names out of a school yearbook and get the same response. Whoa. Absurd. My audience could tell the difference between a well-crafted joke and a list of random words. Oh, yeah? Prove it! Maybe I will. <laughs> and then the molecule replied, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mama! <laughs> you can read names out of a school yearbook and get the same response! Well, now I think I'm gonna roll, and I think I wanna try out some new comedic material. <laughs> Robert Jones. <laughs> Susie Daniel. <laughs> the chess club. Sam Miller. <laughs> Michael Smith. Lot of people to think I'm funny. But Ginger was right. They were laughing because I was huge. Ugh, I might as well put the Gatortron in reverse and go back to plain old Ben. Hey, where is the Gatortron? Uh-oh. My butt did a bad thing. That was my only prototype. I guess you're just gonna be stuck this way. I guess so. <laughs> At last. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Woohoo! Hey! 
Hey, me jumping on you is really deflating you. Oh, excuse you. Hey, looking smaller, buddy. You know, this whole experience has taught me a lot. A lesson. I want people to laugh at my wit, not at me. And that will take time, patience, and diligence. As I was saying, I'm already developing a hilarious new routine about gravity. <laughs> Sounds pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that one was the fake one, wasn't it? <laughs> Tom, please leave the comedy to the comedian. Hey, let me try! Huh? <laughs> What? I can't hear you. I'm wearing these stupid earplugs. What did you say? What? Help! Help! Someone please help! Pretty please help! I'm too young to go splat! Hey, can we take these off now? What did you say? Huh? Can't hold on much longer! that's recommended by four out of five dentists of a date. <laughs> Just nod once for no and rinse and spit for yes. <laughs> Super, I'll pick you up at eight. And open. <laughs> Dad, you are one smooth talking dentist. Ah, give me the remote! Hurry! Pajama pals is on! No can do, little bud. Because this is a special hour-long Dad the Dentist. Dad is unsure if he wants a date with Sally after he finds out she only has three wisdom teeth. But it's the Pajama Pal season finale! I need to see it! Pretty please? Sorry, but oldest gets to decide what's on TV. It's the law. What law? That's not a law, and I know about laws. Now give me the remote! Give it! Give it! One day you'll thank me, Ginger. Disappointment builds character. I remember the time I unwrapped a hamburger and there was only a bun. That moment helped shape the man I am today. Well, I know a law. Ginger gets what Ginger wants. Ah, oh, good kid. Hank will pay for crossing the Ginger Avenger! I have here every prank I've ever thought of. No, that one needs a pie and an angry donkey. Too subtle. Oh, wait, I don't have an active volcano. Ooh, this will be perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi, Ginger. Want a signature sandwich? This one is side Ben. Hmm? Last week I found one with the name Hands Off. Must be Swedish. What was that voice? Is someone there? I don't hear anyone. <gasps> Hank, is that you? You know imaginary friends aren't supposed to appear on their own. Huh? I'm not imaginary. And imaginary friends definitely aren't supposed to say they're not imaginary. I think you should learn what imaginary means. It means you came from my head. Uh, Ginger, that's not where we come from. I won't say right now, but spoiler alert, it involves a bird and a bee. And maybe a bear? <gasps> Hank, where'd you go? Come on, don't be mad. D I'm right here. Oh, Hank, come back. Come on, buddy. Oh. 
boy, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Ginger said I was imaginary and wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him. Can you believe that? Tom? Tom. Hey, Ben, find any good molecules lately? Tom? Ben? Imaginary. I don't think so. I can make you do anything I want. And right now, I want you to think about pink elephants. See, you're wrong, because the last thing I'm going to do is... <gasps> I am thinking about pink elephants. On stilts. Now they're on stilts. Juggling watermelons. Why are they so talented? And now, I'm going to make you breathe. Uh-uh, no way. <gasps> <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. If you're not imaginary, why don't you have a job like a real person? <clears throat> and when was the last time you got mail? Uh, well, I don't know. <sighs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Ooh, current resident. That kind of counts. No, it doesn't. Angela, is it possible I'm Ginger's imaginary friend? Uh, are you for real? No! Oh! And now, back to Mike and his mustache. <laughs> oh, Mike, why did you grow that awful mustache? <laughs> Listen, Toots, Mike didn't grow me, I grew him. Uh, uh, uh. Imaginary friends don't get to decide what's on TV. Well, if I am Ginger's imaginary friend, I'm going to be the best imaginary friend ever. Who's your imaginary friend? Is it a dragon, a pirate, or a guy named Hank? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> You're a better shot than my favorite TV pirate, Long John Silverspoon. He's on Who Wants to Arg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing huh? a word <laughs> in my song. B -B -Y. <laughs> this will be good! But that's Angela. I think you mean soaking wet, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best! Did you hear her? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, I am soaking wet! Who did that? <gasps> Heck! Help! Hold on! Don't worry! Pull me up! Oh no! What am I thinking? Ginger, I'm just imaginary! You need someone real! Wait, what? You'll just slip through my imaginary hand! No! I won't! Pinky swear! Pink, please help! <laughs> I am so sorry, Ginger! No. I'm so sorry! Tom! Ben, help! What'd you say? What? Pink, you are real! I was being bad! I was playing a joke! Really? I was just mad about pajama piles! I made a mistake! Oh, this is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy when Bongo was convinced he was a toaster. <laughs> JJ! No! Oh, I cannot believe this, Tom! Do you see how wet I am? Somebody's up here. Angela, wait! I couldn't! Did you hear what she said? I couldn't hear what she said! These ear things made me miss what Angela said. No, I ate already! So what? She could have said anything! Like, what if she said, Tom, I get so angry when I think of us not being together! Or, Tom, I am madly, madly in love with you! That, that's it! No more earplugs! 
caution, do not eat Ginger's leg. This is a cast, not a signature sandwich. Ginger, I hope you learned a lesson from all this. I did. Like what? Uh, like you should only throw water balloons from f flat rooftops? What lesson did you learn? Me? Well, I guess I learned how much I care about you, and even though you tricked me into being your imaginary friend, you could always imagine me as your real friend. For real. All right, buddy. You pick the show. Um, I want to watch this. Dad the Dentist? When did you become a fan of Dad the Dentist? No, let's just watch your dumb show. Here's a question for you, Sally. Which is more valuable? <sighs> money like <sighs> from the Tooth Fairy or friendship like from Dan the Dentist? Not once <gasps> for money or rinse and spit for friendship. <laughs> Super. I thought you'd say that. Open. <laughs> rinse and spit, Dan. Rinse and spit. Hey, say, where'd you get that cool hat? This is a sterile workplace. If one of your loops of fruit contaminates my motherboard, everything will be ruined, and I'll have to start over again. Look, I even put a line on the floor so people know to keep out. Hey, Ben, I forget. Which side of the line am I supposed to be on? <laughs> ah, the other side. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> <sighs> I'm pretty sick. And 100% germ free. Yeah, and no Hank in sight. Hey, where is Hank, anyways? I quarantined him in a secure location. I think you know what I usually do in here. Practice my funny faces in the mirror. But Ben says I gotta stay here until I get better. It's okay though. <laughs> At least I have a TV. Wait a minute. So you just stuck Hank in the bathroom? Uh -huh. But he already sneezed everywhere. How do you know his nasty sneeze germs are gone? This is how. My new GPS app, the Germ Positioning System. It locates every germ in a given area so I can destroy them. Huh, it says there's one left. What? Impossible! It can't be! <laughs> Newton's apple, I missed it! Ben, this is crazy sauce. It's just one little germ. I can't get a beat on it. Oh, dude, you're not gonna get it. It's too small. Correction, Tom. It was too small. <gasps> hey, it worked! Hi, everyone. I'm Jeremy. The Jerem. <gasps> Stop! Ooh, stay there! Oh. Hold still oh, so oh, I can hear no. you! Please don't. Ben, stop! Yeah, don't hurt him. He's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. Put it in. Ew, I'm not touching you. You're a giant infectious bacteria. Nobody touch it! Its only purpose is to make us sick. We have to kill it. But we can't kill him now. We know his name. Yeah, Jeremy. You're soft, Tom. Just don't infect anyone and stay away from my stuff. Pretty much the same rules as Tom. Got it? Roger that, friendo. I promise none of you will end up like Hank. Oh, uh, okay, Jeremy. Now Ben needs to work, so let's get out of his way. Yeah, let's hang out and get to know each other, huh? Wow, that sounds like fun. I love to make new friends. Wait a minute. Hey, Jeremy. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure, pal. You mentioned Hank, but no one else did. Which means you must have been in contact with him before. Yeah, so? You're the germ that got Hank sick, aren't you? Very good, Ben. Very good. You figured out that a germ got someone sick. Oh, no, I certainly hope you haven't caught on to my plan to infect everyone else. 
including you, Ben. You can try to warn them, but they won't believe you. Um, you remember, and you're a nut. Huh? Stop! Hey, guys, stop, wait stop, up! Stop, I was stop, just thanking my new friend Ben for not crushing me. I don't know where I've been. I know not to where I'll zoom. The only thing that I know now is it's just me and this bathroom. Da -da -da. <gasps> Guys, we have to get rid of Jeremy. I'm serious. He wants to infect us all. That little fella? <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> <gasps> Look, you have to listen to me. Whatever you do, no matter the circumstances, do not eat those sandwiches! Yes! Uh, no, no, no. I hope you guys like them. Uh. It's my grandma's special mm. recipe. But I added my own mm. personal mm. touch. <gasps> this is so good, you guys. Oh, Jeremy, mm. you're the best. Yum! I am so glad Ben didn't kill you before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water under the bridge. It was in the heat of the moment. Before you all knew how great I was. But we're all friends now. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go play the pinball machine. What? We don't have a pinball machine. We do now. Jeremy got us one. What a great group. I forgot your sandwich on purpose, Ben. But feel free to eat the leftovers. <laughs> I've got to get the others to see the truth about Jeremy before he gets all of them sick. But how? He's so smooth. Well, if he won't slip up, I'll just have to slip him up. I'm going to frame him. I love you, Shampoo. Where have you been all my life, conditioner? Mm, 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 mm. Boy, he is silky smooth. Oh, that reminds me. I have to wash my hair. Now for the icing on the germ cake. <laughs> Guys, you've got to come see this. And look at that. Look at that! That's my favorite wall! It says germs rule! The only germ here is Jeremy. So logically, he is the culprit. That is ridiculous. Jeremy was with us all afternoon singing karaoke. There is no way it could have been him. <laughs> we don't have a karaoke machine. We do now. Jeremy bought us one. Where does he get all this money? And look at how much fun we're having. See? He was with us, Ben. So stop trying to get us not to like Jeremy. That is mega lame. Come on, let's go chill in the ball pit. <laughs> ball pit? Can't you see what he's doing? A ball pit is the most unsanitary play area now to science! Give it up, Ben. They'll never believe you. I've completely stolen your friends. And pretty soon, they'll all be sick. And then we'll see who the real Jerome is. Still you? Ta-ta, Ben! Oops. <laughs> and that makes... Uh, 6,465 lines. Or was that 4,656? Do over. One, two... Well, my closest friends all love Jeremy. And if he's their friend, well, I guess that I'll just have to find a way to get along with him, too. That's not gonna be easy. Oh, we got one of these no good. This is no good. This is garbage. This is trash. This is good to the mouth. An orange. Vitamin C. See you later. <laughs> uh, um. Well, hello, Ben. Hey, Jeremy. Look, I tried to frame you for making that mess. It was wrong. I apologize. It was, and you too. <laughs> it's a classic tale of Jerem beats poison. What say we shake on it, friendo? Yeah. Hey, are you wearing a glove? I guess you could say I'm a germaphobe. Hey! Who are you bringing the visit, you guys? He looks strangely familiar. Oh, hey, take it easy. We just caught up on the wrong foot, that's all. Give me that kiss. I can change. I swear. And you go. You'll get your kiss. Watch it, you guys. 
Ben is giving out swirlies. That's it. What, Ben, what just happened? Where's Jeremy? What did you do to him? <sighs> Relax, Tom. He's in a better place now. <gasps> you killed him? What? No! I flushed him down the toilet, which leads to the sewer. It's an ideal habitat for a germ. He'll have plenty of friends down there. No, Jeremy! Now who's gonna chew my gum for me? He was only trying to get you sick. And chew your own gum! Ben, you don't get to decide who we can be friends with and who gets flushed down the toilet. Yeah, that's right. And another thing. <laughs> Gazunai. You guys, I don't feel so good. Yeah, me neither. Oh, he's coming three. Oh, I can't believe we let Jeremy fool us like that. We're so stupid. I know. I have never taken an open face mystery sandwich from a talking bacteria ever again. Sorry we didn't believe you, Ben. Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you learned your lesson. And send all the bad germs to the sewer where they belong. Those fools! They think putting me down here will get rid of me? Well, let them! I'll be back one day! This? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's the best cake mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Where did it mm -hmm. even come from? Don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't question cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys hear a whistling sound? Don't overthink it. Yeah, don't question sounds. <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Hank's birthday. It's my birthday, 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 it's my birthday. Every year for his birthday, Hank asks for the same thing. He asks us to help him make his very own episode of his all-time favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And every year we say no. It's not like we like telling our friend he can't have what he wants. But there is no way that we're acting out one of his little scripts on camera, uh-uh, no. It could ruin our super professional image. <laughs> hey, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday! And that means it's showtime! It is not showtime. You can't make people do things just because it's your birthday. Yeah, plus we have a ton of deadlines this week. We can't take an entire day to help you with your little skit. Well, sorry. It's just that ever since I was a little, little boy, I just always wanted to make my own episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy. <sighs> sorry, though, I... I didn't mean to take up everyone's valuable time with my stupid, dumb, lame little dream. <laughs> Even though you ate my cake. My birthday cake? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be in it. Really? But I'll have to move some things around in my schedule, so let me just call my agent. Thanks, Angela. Ooh, you can play the grizzled old police chief. How fast can you grow a mustache? Wait, what? Well, I guess it is your birthday, and we did eat your cake. So I suppose I could play a minor character. Yes! You could play McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy is Bongo's orangutan sidekick. And you won't have many lines, because he's one of those non-talking orangutans. Actually, Hank, all orangutans are non-talking orangutans, because orangutans can't talk. <laughs> Save the jokes for the blooper reel, buddy. You know, I'm actually somewhat of a thespian, so I wouldn't mind sinking my acting chops into a new project. Hooray! That just leaves... Hmm, let me think about it. Hmm, no, I'm good. Uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Bago. It's okay, Hank. I'll play your lead. I shall be your Bongo. And guess what? I'll do it better than Tom ever could. All righty then. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing personal, Tom. It's just that some of us are... How should I say? 
more naturally talented at the arts than, oh, how should I say, others of us. I'm saying I'm better than you. That you are... I know what you're saying, Ginger. Hank, I want that part. Ooh, ha ha, it's audition time. I didn't know Tom knew ballet. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about Tom. Really? Like what? Well, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Uh, that's it, actually. Just the ballet thing. Tom's kind of an open book, I guess. Whew. <sighs> All right, so what's it going to be, Hank? Did I get the part? To Tom or not to Tom? That is the question. Whether it is to choose the talented actor, Ginger, or... Quit it, Ginger. The audition is over. Enough! It's just too hard to choose. You're both simply fantastic. Tub, I'm sorry. Sorry I had to use such a cliché misdirection before telling you that you've got the part! Yes! Ah! Are you serious right now? Sorry, Ginger. But Bongo is a hard-boiled street mm. cop who plays by his own rules. Mm -hmm. You're just a kid, so... What? I lost a part because I'm a kid? Angela's playing an old police chief! Oh, you don't think a girl can be a police chief? She doesn't even have a mustache! Thank you for understanding. But you know what I do need? An assistant. A right-hand man. Someone to help me out with all the most important parts of directing a big show. Like bringing me a coffee. <sighs> And I like a lot of milk, kid. Okay, but I'm going to spit at it. Huh? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Bongo and McKillicuddy, take one. And action. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. I know, right? Ben totally huh? bungled that last line. No, Ben was perfect. When I asked you for coffee, I meant I wanted it today. <gasps> what, are you raising the beans and then milking them yourself? I don't think Hank knows where coffee comes from. Here's your coffee, sir. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. This coffee still tastes like coffee. I told you more milk. More milk. More milk. How about I just bring you a glass of milk? <gasps> Ginger, I know you're doing your best, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why isn't there a stapler on the chief's desk? Have you ever seen a police chief who doesn't have a stapler on his desk? Uh, you know what? Everyone take five. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> I didn't know Hank would be taking this so seriously. The question is, why aren't you taking it more seriously? Break's over. Let's take it from the top. And get it right this time. Amateurs, lights, camera, action! That's it! Bongo, Miguel Cuddy, in my office now! <laughs> this is the last straw. You are done in this department. Turn in your badges! <laughs> Come on, Chief, be reasonable. <laughs> Miguel Cuddy is right. Dr. Jerkface was a bad guy. Remember what he did in season one? Episode 16? <laughs> yeah, that was really messed up. He got what he deserved. You karate kicked him into a volcano, Bongo! That's not protocol! A lot of things aren't protocol. Oh, yeah, oh, oh I, I, I'm... <laughs> you watch your language when you're talking to me, McGillicuddy! Badges. Now. <laughs> you know what, Chief? Fine. Did I karate kick a bad guy into a volcano? Yes. Did it look wicked cool? Guilty. But do I regret it? Not for a second. So you can take our badges, you can take our uniforms, you can even take our cool car with the lights on top that go whoop whoo! But there's one thing that you can never take, Chief. Our liberty! Yeah! 
Oh, I mean, add cut. Okay, that was interesting. Now, does anybody want to tell me what went wrong with that scene? Whew, I thought it was pretty good. Well, I know I nailed it. What about you, Ben? I don't know. You don't know? You mean like you don't know your lines? You said, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ah, ha, ee, ee. Yeah. What does the script say? <sighs> exactly. You dropped a... <coughs> you ruined the scene. I thought we were making fan fiction. I wasn't aware we were making garbage. Thanks for ruining my birthday. Huh. Now I'm glad I ate his cake. Oh, no. I've made a huge mistake. This was supposed to be fun, but I took things too far. I made it a chore. I made everyone feel bad. And that's the worst part. Wow. I learned so much from Bongo and McGillicuddy. This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy where Bongo had to watch his favorite TV show to realize he made a mistake. Bongo took something that was supposed to be fun and turned it into a chore. And that's just what I did. Now I have to do what Bongo did. Make it right. And so in my own small Bongo-ish way, I stand here before you. Hoping to make things right. Well, lesson learned. You know, some people are TV makers and some people are TV watchers. <laughs> Classic Tom. <laughs> Always with the jokes. <sighs> okay, catch you guys later. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to get started on next year's script. But first, I'm going to eat a piece of my birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, happy birthday! <laughs> That's a super cool ringtone. I know, isn't it? Yes, we're next. Finally, we've been standing in this live forever. Oh, ooh, my knees are locking in place. Listen. We've all made sacrifices, but it's worth it because after two days and three nights of waiting, we're some of the first people in the <laughs> world to own the greatest tech gadget of all time ever this year. The glove phone. <laughs> yes, glove phone. What's a glove phone? Uh, it's the latest in wearable tech. Part glove, part phone, all glove phone. I'm confident that a few years from now, all clothes will be computers. Really? Computer clothes? Great. Those will look perfect with my calculator earrings. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This just in on the glove phone. We are all out of glove phones. You'll have to come back another time. What? <gasps> what? What? But no! We've been waiting here for days! <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, don't think of this as failing at buying a glove phone. Think of it as succeeding at standing in line for a really, really, really long time. I'm your next! <laughs> ah! Look, I made my own glove phone. See, you can put your pictures on it like this, and then you can even post them on social media. If social media is the fridge. Can you get a triple megapixel palm display on that thing? I don't know what that means. Because the real glove phone can! <gasps> if it's broken, you're paying. Everybody calm down. It's hard, I know, but we can get through this. How can I stay at the cutting edge of technology if I don't own the technology at the cutting edge? I don't know. I was trying to be strong for the both of us. Oh, this is so hard. Did somebody say glove on? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I guess. In the last minute or so, someone did. Yeah, why? Because I could have sworn I heard glove phone. Or maybe I was just looking at my hand. What? what? How did you get that? My parents paid someone to stand in line. Did you know some bozos waited like three days for one of these? Wow. Pfft, what a bunch of bozos, right, guys? I know, right? One of you send me a text. Um. Oh. Hand control motion sensors, super intuitive. It's like this is what my hand naturally wants to do anyway. And if I want to open up a weather app, 
<gasps> Come on! I own you! Oh, it's cloudy. See? Let me try. I want to see if the thumb sensors are as cozy as I've heard. If you think I'm going to let you use my glove phone, I'm going to ask you to talk to the hand. Talk to the head. That's the slogan for the glove phone. It's in all the ads. <laughs> Talk to the head. Oh, that is such a good slogan. <laughs> Rage is so messy. Come on, Ginger. We're your friends. Let us try the glove phone. Uh, I don't know. I sort of just came over here to gloat. Oh, come on. There's got to be something we can work out. Just name hmm. it. Okay, here's the deal. We shoot this super sweet kung fu video for you, and in exchange, you let us use the glove phone. Deal? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, edit that so it looks like I did a cool backflip. And make me on fire! Uh, I guess, given enough time, I could try to figure... Oh, you could try? I guess I'll try to think of a time that I can let you use the glove phone. Well, now, well, hang on, Ginger. Who said try? No one said try. Ben will add fire. And what if I threw in something to sweeten the deal? My secret stash of TV collectibles? But it's secret. Mm -hmm. Come on, Hank. Help us out here. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's important. But be careful, there's really valuable stuff in there. Like that napkin is the same color as one they used on English Party Mansion. What a show. Hmm, pretty impressive stash, I guess. Impressive enough to get a look at that glove phone? Huh? Ah, 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 no touching! Stop right there. What if... <laughs> okay, so you want me to call my contacts in the music industry and get Ginger a front row seat at the Teen Romance Music Festival? Is it so hard to believe we're just doing it out of the goodness of our hearts? I want it! I want it! Gimme! 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 Oh, I'm just getting a call on my glove phone. I'll take it into the hall. If you'll excuse me. This is Ginger. Talk to the hand. Did you see that? Okay, are you just doing this so you can use Ginger's glove phone? What? That's, that's crazy. What are you talking about? Yes, yes we are. Look, I get it, but you can't just do a million favors for Ginger so you can use it. We're not doing a million favors for Ginger. We're just doing one complex thing for it. I mean, where does it end? Think about it. If you get this ticket, you're gonna owe me a favor. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't you see? You're falling into a black hole of favors. Oh, is it a wormhole black hole of favors? A black hole? Isn't that one of those dangerous science things? <sighs> Angela's right. The glove phone isn't worth it. Well, maybe it's not. But you know what else they said wasn't worth it? Finding the world's first dinosaur bones, climbing to the top of the moon, sailing Ooh, ah! to Mount Everest. I mean, everyone said those people were crazy. They said they should just sit at home and fluff their pillows, but they showed them and will show them too, because we are gonna get that glove phone. All right, so this didn't work out great. But after all that we have done for Ginger, and he owes us that glove phone. And if he's not gonna give it to us, we're gonna have to take it. Potato One, this is Wild Bandit. Come in, Potato One. Uh, yeah, I see you, Tom. I think you mean. I see you, Wild Bandit. Over. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, for the record, I'm still opposed to sneaking into Ginger's house and stealing the glove phone. Over. Over. It's not stealing. We're just gonna take it without asking. He owes it to us. Over. I don't know, it feels wrong. The time to think about right and wrong ended when I put on this super cool black hat. Now the hat is on and we're doing this. Okay, sure, let's do it. Over. Over. So, is lookout in position. Roger, Black Hat, I've got a view of the area. 
Is there anything I need to know? Over. Well, there's a squirrel in the tree to my left, and there are two flowers in the ground beneath me. There are no rocks nearby. Repeat, there are no rocks nearby. Wait, I saw one. Keep, keep going inside and you should be in a big hallway. You want to stay to your left. Left. Right. Forward. Yes. That. Right there. Should be it. Beyond that door in front of you is the room we've determined to be most likely to hold the glove phone. Whoa. Do you see it? No, I'm in an empty room, but there's a briefcase in the middle of the floor. That doesn't sound right. My research doesn't indicate any briefcase-themed charging device for the glove phone. It's just a picture of Ginger sticking his tongue out. It's like he's making fun of somebody or something. It's a trap! It's a trap! Wild man in the air! Very good. Ah, Ginger. You've passed the test. Test? Why, the test of friendship, Tom. The test to see if you would let your jealousy over the fact that I had a glove phone consume you. You did! Or should I say, fail the test? Wow! So you can even clap your hands while wearing the glove phone? Because I had read that we weren't going to be able to do that until they released the glove phone 2.0. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no. <gasps> you broke it! Ah! Oh, man! My butler's butler waited in line for this forever! So after all that, nobody has a glove phone? That's insane! This is Nighthawk, over. I think the lesson to be gleaned from all this is that things are fun to have. But what really matters in life are the people French... Hank, what, what is that? Good Nighthawk, you're breaking up. Repeat. I repeat. Nighthawk, repeat. Our friendship's as the... <laughs> it looks like nobody's technology is behaving today. <laughs> what? You called the cops? Jeez. I would call them and tell them not to come, but I don't have my glove phone. Somebody broke it. Our experiences. Ah! Nobody listens to potato wine. You can live without the pickles. <laughs> Missed again, noodle arm. Can you guys keep it down? Yeah, we're trying to finish Biceptor, our arm wrestling <laughs> robot. Sorry, we're playing slingshot tag, and Ginger is it. I'm throwing it, no! Ooh, you almost got me there, short stack. Mm. He didn't really almost get me. I'm teasing him, wink. If you're trying to whisper, you can't just put your hand near your mouth. You actually have to lower your voice like this. Oh, how adorable. Little fella doesn't even understand how to... <laughs> you're it. I was having a dream that we were living in a 3D cartoon. Ha! <laughs> Imagine us living in a cartoon. Phew! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Whoopsie! Hey. Sorry! Here, I'll put that right there. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, I see what I did. I see no, what I did. No, 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 no. Finally, we could play some ping pong! I'm first! No way! Ping pong is forbidden in this garage. This table has a long and troubled history. Yeah, you're probably too young to remember, little guy. Well, I remember. I remember. Like it was yesterday. And, uh... Mm. Should something be happening? Shh. We're waiting for a flashback. Oh. <clears throat> yesterday. Can you please stop that? We need to finish the watermelon launcher. Hey, Ben. You think I could pogo over the moon? Tom! Yeah! Tom, yeah. focus! Launching watermelons across football fields is serious business. Pfft. Are you even listening to yourself? If we don't win the watermelon launching contest and the cash prize that comes with it, we'll have to shut down the company. Lighten up, man! <sighs> Whew. 
Look, you're stressing yourself out. You need to relax and have a little fun. That's why I got us a big bug table. Hey, Hank, you think maybe you could use two hands? Angela, then where would I put my ice cream cone? On my head? Good point. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Ben, you're up first. Absolutely not. We need to work. Oh, come on, Ben. You know how the song goes. Physical activity increases productivity. Who says that? Everyone. Scientists, brain experts, ping pongologists. Mm, I don't know. This is awesome. Told you. It's nice to see you finally relax. Oh my. What? Game. Okay, well now that we've had a little fun, we can all get back to work on the watermelon launcher. My turn! Ooh, I'll play Angela. <laughs> Actually, the official rule of the garage is winner stays on. So you have to play me. Woohoo! Oh, come on, Ben, we have to get back to work. <clears throat> if we don't win the contest and the cash prize that comes with it, we'll have to shut down the company. That was you, right? I mean, that was a spot-on impression of you? Winner stays on is the most sacred rule in the unofficial <sighs> ping-pong rule book, and I refuse Whoa. to break it! What have I done? Step up, Junior. Ben! Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Ever since I was a young girl, I thought my game was strong. Uh -huh. But then I met a master, and oh, baby, I was wrong. If you have to play him, you won't be out there long. Let me hurry up and tear you to the game. Unstoppable. If someone doesn't beat him in ping pong, and soon, we're never gonna finish our watermelon launcher in time. This is just like the episode of Alpha Squadron Explosion Go, where Hitoshi has to battle the two-headed samurai ghost. You know, sometimes I think you make up these TV shows. <gasps> that sounds like something a samurai ghost would say. Where are you hiding your laser sword, Tom Sod? Wait, I know someone who could beat Ben. You don't mean... Hitoshi? What? No, Hank. I mean someone who lives right by us. Mm. Someone who's a lord of sorts. Uh. A lord uh. of the land. Uh. I'm talking about the landlord. Oh, the landlord? I don't know. I mean, look at us. We're mere land commoners. Relax, I'll ask him. He's not my landlord. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Greetings, fair and noble landlord. Our friend Angela hath a request of thee. Well, okay, we tried. Oh, come on, we can't give up yet. Hey, listen, we need your help. We know you're a former ping pong champion. You stumble on my little secret, huh? But how? Well, the door knocker is shaped like a ping pong paddle? Oh, right, yes. Oh, and also there's a sign in the driveway that says parking reserved for ping pong champions. Okay, fine, 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 yes. The giant pile of ping pong trophies in your yard? Also, you're holding a ping pong paddle. Oh. My pong ping days are over! Please! Look, we wouldn't ask unless it was really important. Someone must defeat Ben so we can get back to work on our watermelon launcher. Enough! Go away! Boy, he sure loves slamming that door. Ben, what the heck's going on? Get out of here, Tom. I've told you before, this is no place for you. I can't believe this. Not only are you sacrificing the future of our company for your ping pong obsession, but now you've filled our garage with pong scum? <gasps> oh, you know it's true. Winner stays on! <coughs> That's the rule. You had your chance to beat me, and you failed. So I, the winner, stay on. 
This is my garage, and I won't have it filled with low-life pumping hustlers. Ha! Ah. So, the rumors are true. Looks like you're ready for your reckoning, old man. Oh, I'm ready to knock you off your pong stall. <laughs> On pong. Ha! Go! The spin! Push the spin! There we go! So, it all comes down to this. Match point. Bring it! Up your face! <laughs> yes. Don't touch me. All right, show's over. Come on, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Shoo, shoo, scum, get out of here. Ah, well, good game, Ben. Ah, what? Well, what happened? What time is it? 10.30. Ah, phew. If we work all night, we can still finish the watermelon launcher. Well, now you're talking. And that ginger is why this ping pong table is now used exclusively as a desk. What happened with the watermelon launch? Uh, we won, of course. Using the rocket-powered slingshot you're holding now. Wow! Uh. Whoa! Oh, ginger! Sorry, Hank! Not sorry! Since that day, we vowed to focus on work and not let anything distract us. That reminds me, we have to finish Biceptor. The fate of our company rests on winning the Robo Olympics. Foosball Express, I got a delivery. It's a foosball table. Yeah, thanks, we got that when you said Foosball Express. We didn't order a foosball table. Well, I'm not hauling this thing back to the warehouse. I mean, what do I look like, some kind of delivery man? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, lady. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. What are we supposed to do with the foosball table? I mean, the Robo Olympics start in eight hours. We can't waste time playing. Game on. Oh, great. Uh, I don't know how to solve this problem. But I do. <laughs> okay. I provided the flash of inspiration. Now I'm stuck with three hard days of programming. Teamwork! Ah, don't touch me! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Okay, what are you doing? What? The TV's broken, so I came over here to watch your TV. What do you call this show? Numbers, numbers, numbers? <sighs> All right. Until I have time to fix your TV, you can watch stuff online. Ooh, watching stuff online. That's right, that is popular. It's revolutionizing viewing habits. Thanks, Ben. Now please stop bothering us. Yeah, we're trying to work. What flavor are these? Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Now, which of my favorite TV shows should I search for? Ooh, how about That's Not My Lunch? <laughs> that schoolboy always has the wrong lunch. Whoops. Attention, click here. This could be the most important link you'll ever click. Psst. Yeah, right. I'm not falling for that. Not falling for that? Excellent. Huh? But nothing you do will ever be more life-changing than clicking this link. Nice try. But I don't think so. Congratulations! By not clicking the first two ads, you've proven you're smart. Click mm -hmm. here and your mother will always be proud huh? of you. It's true, dear. <gasps> I'll be so proud if you click and so disappointed if you don't. Bob? Oh, spooky. Oh, hello. So you want to be a doctor and maybe even a renowned internet doctor like myself. But do you think you have what it takes? 
Pop quiz. Question number one. What organ of the body pumps blood? A, the heart, B, a shoe, or C, Count Dracula? Ooh, I know that one. Click. You clicked A, the heart. Very good. Mm -hmm. Question number two. Do you or one huh? of your roommates have a major credit card? Hmm. Ooh, uh-huh. Congratulations. <gasps> You've been accepted to Dr. Internet Doctor's online medical school. And as a special promotion, your first two classes are free. 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 Free classes not actually free. Failure to pay will result in demand for payment. All sales final. Free parking with validation. Dry clean only. Do not dry clean. Two shows nightly. Two drink minimum. Batteries not included. As seen on TV. Copyright 2004. Wi-Fi not included. Some assembly required. Money, 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 money. You could never be a doctor, Hank. Looks like this young man needs a lollipop. Well, thanks, Dr. Hank. I had a disease where I needed a lollipop. And then you gave me a lollipop. And now I have a lollipop and I'm cured. So thanks, Bob. See, that's what doctors do. We hand out lollipops. Now, who wants to be my first practice patient? Uh, yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, one question, doctor. If we refuse to be a practice patient, will you harangue us day and night until we agree? Hmm. Yeah, that could work. Uh... <sighs> Angela, here's my diagnosis. Your mouth is very, very dark. You were able to figure that out after one day in online medical school? Wow. I know, right? Have a lollipop. Whatever you say, doctor. Ooh. Tell me, have you had any recent aches or pains? Well, when you called me in here for a checkup, that was kind of a pain. In the neck. <laughs> Very funny, Tom, but the doctor's office is no place for jokes. Yeah, there's pretty much no doctor jokes at all. Yeah, have a lollipop and get out. Whatever. Well, Ben, you definitely have a wrist. Is this gonna take long? I was kind of in the middle of... <coughs> Uh-oh. What? I coughed. It's nothing. Is it? Mm, I don't know. I watch a lot of TV, and when someone coughs in the first part of a show, it's never nothing. I better consult my medical school textbook. It's digital. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. What? What is it? Hmm? Oh, oh, nothing. This thing's almost out of batteries. Oh, da. Hmm. Let me ask you this. Do you ever feel tired? Huh. My mind is always alert, so I would say never. Yeah. And sometimes. Have you ever had a ruddy nose? <laughs> I have one right now. Have you ever had an upset stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Did you hear that? Uh, uh, okay, okay, there's nothing to worry about, probably, as long as your left hand doesn't itch. Uh, uh, how much of an itch? Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, it says uh. here the itch would be barely noticeable at first, but the more you think about it, the more it itches. That's exactly what's happening right now! Ah! Uh, ben, I can't even say what this is. Ah! Why? Because it's that bad? No, because it's really hard to pronounce. Oh, but this condition is not good. Give it to me straight, Doc! Well, there's a 50% chance it's nothing. But there's a 60% chance that you're in bad shape. I need to do some research. Here, have these. Normal? Oh, this stupid thing is obviously not working. I'm burning up. Hey, Ben, I just passed by your workstation, and I noticed that there was a station there, but no work. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. I can't work. I have to take a sick day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was real, but Ben, you're not sick. It's all in your head. Hank doesn't know what he's talking about. Excuse me, Tom. One of us was accepted into online medical school, so please lead me to my patient. Yeah, visiting hours are over, sir. <laughs> Ben, your illness is definitely what I suspected, and it's scary. Oh no! How scary! Well, I've been kind of a doctor for almost two days, and I've never seen anything this serious. Ben, I'm afraid you're going to need sugary surgery. <sighs> this confirms what I feared all along. Well, confirming fears is the number one job of the doctor. Maybe I should get a second opinion. Okay, I'll give you one. 
In my opinion, ice cream is more delicious than frozen yogurt. But back to your condition, if you don't get the surgery, can I have your stuff? Ah, when can you fit me into your schedule, doctor? No, wait, what if I try alternative medicine? <laughs> Listen, Ben, you don't need surgery. You just need to relax. Here, breathe in some of this incense. <laughs> Good breathe! Need help! Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna send you healing energy, heart to heart, until you're feeling better. <sighs> now, are you ready for your hug? <sighs> hug? No! No hugging! No hugging! I want the surgery! Don't worry, Ben. It's an easy five-minute procedure. Any doctor could do it with his eyes closed, which is really good because I do not want to see anything icky. First, we make an incision here. No, I... Sorry, not there. Over here. I meant to do it over... No, not there either. That's put the difference. Oh, that is messed up. Then it's as simple as presto magico. Oh, dear. That doesn't look right. I can do this. I am an internet doctor. Daddy? Uh, into Benny? Uh, whoa! Stop! Oh, thank goodness. Ben, this is insane. But you can't let this happen. Tom, stop. There's only a point zero, 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 <coughs> zero, one percent chance that I'll survive this operation today. But there's no chance that I'll survive the illness. It's simple math. I couldn't possibly get up if I tried. We have to begin stat! That's a medical term. Tom, you can't just stand there. Do something. Hmm. Ah, fine. You know what? If you're so sick, then I guess I'll have to go to your computer and touch your computer and program your computer in our app myself. Ah, huh, fine. What does it matter? <laughs> Gee, I hope I don't mess up any of your code. Uh, oh, don't worry. I know how this works. I take my hands, I bang it on this computer thing, and then all the magic comes out. Oh, oops. Hey, Ben, is there an undo button? Time to touch my card! <laughs> ben, I thought you were sick and needed an operation. Well, I'm suddenly feeling much better, so back off. Ben's cured. I did it! And I don't even know what I did. Wait till I tell Dr. Internet Doctor. <laughs> And so, this doctor had his very first success. And your last! <gasps> you failed to pay for your two free classes, so I'm forced, Hank, to kick you out of online medical school. Uh... Perhaps you should try being an internet dentist. Click the link at the bottom of the page now! I don't think so. Ah! <sighs> well, this patient is cured. Thanks, Dr. Ben. You know, if you really want to be a doctor, you could always go back to college and... Nah, this has taught me an important lesson. Never trust a pop-up. Definitely. Besides, right now, I have a better idea. And now, back to tonight's episode of Hippo Hospital. I may be a hippo, but I follow the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> These lollipops don't have much flavor. Whoa, well... Guys, here's a Christmas song my grandmother used to sing to me when I was a little girl. Now, there's just one thing I want for Christmas. Here's some things I like about Christmas. Presents. True that. Mrs. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Candy canes. Canes are candy. But you know what I hate about Christmas? Oh, what's that? Reindeer. 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 Off the stage! Oh no! Why? Is there a fire? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> a heckler in my club? 
You better show yourself before I throw yourself. Sorry, Angela. I feel terrible about this. <laughs> then why are you doing the worms? Worms can feel terrible. Ha! Whoa! Angela, why are you so upset? I was just a heckler. No, Tom. It was more than that. Much more. It brought me back to another time I was heckled. Filthy, nasty reindeer pooping on my snowman. Pooping on my snowman. Get off the stage. Huh? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> would do that? Who would heckle a sweet little girl singing a nice song about Christmas? Well, all the doors were locked. We're the only ones here. And I was on stage, so you know it was a feast. So... so that means the heckler is one of you? Oh, that's my new toad. I, for one, am shocked and appalled that someone would heckle Angela. Well, you shouldn't be, considering the heckler is... You! Oops, sorry. A simple internet search of Tom and Heckler shows that you, Tom, received not one, not two, but three after-school detentions for heckling. And one of them was at a Christmas concert! Tom, you heckled? How could you? That was a different time. I was young and desperate for attention. I never stopped talking. I, I was a real blabbermouth. Couldn't shut me up. I would just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Tom! The point is, that was a different me, okay? I would never heckle Angela. <sighs> I wish I could believe you. You can! Well, Angela, wait! I have to find the real heckler and clear my name. Luckily, I know everything there is to know about solving mysteries thanks to my favorite show, Professor Bloodhound and Constable Larry. You know, that show where the characters spout British cliches to try to sound smart. Indubitably, old chap. Without having done any actual detective work, besides wearing this hat, which I fancy, I can conclude with some degree of certainty that the heckler is... Ben, if that's your real name. Uh, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? I'll ask the questions here. Yes, Professor Bloodhound will ask the questions. Ben, is it or is it not true that you recently developed an app called The Hecklematic? <gasps> The worm hath turned. Well, yes, I did. But and what does the app do? Well, it heckles. Aha! I mean, aha! British crumpets. It wasn't me. I only made that app to train myself to deal with hecklers while I'm doing stand-up. Look, see, okay, here. Um, why do magnets win beauty pageants? Because they're so attractive. Get a real job! You're awful! Ginger, that was a heckle! Oops! What? You think I'm the one who heckled Angela? Well, you do enjoy heckling, right, Inspector Bloodhound Tom? Ginger, of course! It's so obvious it hurts! It wasn't me! I'll prove it to you! <laughs> Hank, let me ask you something. You sleepwalk, right? Sure, every night. And while sleepwalking, you scream at anyone who crosses your path. Of course. And what was your favorite part of Angela's performance? I don't know. I fell asleep. Oh, crumpets! Ugh, this is ridiculous. Tom, your investigation hasn't proven anything. And you're the only one who's ever heckled at a Christmas show. So as far as I'm concerned, you're guilty. Please, Angela, you've got to believe me. I'd never heckle you. Guilty. Angela's honestly like the single most amazing person I've ever met. Uh, if she thinks I'm the heckler, well, she'll never fall. You think I'm in love with Angela? Oh, come on. Okay, righto. Let, uh, 
Look, I know we're stumped, but I promise we're gonna find this heckler. Somehow. Hey, whenever Professor Bloodhound is stumped, he and Constable Larry always do two things. Have a spot of tea, and then return to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's dreadfully good. Hmm. As a servant of the Crown, I demand to see the security footage from Angela's rehearsal. Oh, yeah! Uh, follow me. Aha! Zoom in there, if you please. Zoom that in. Enhance. Make it so. Yup. Aha! Hank. I've got a feeling I know who our heckler is. Jolly good work, Inspector. Oh, yeah! Look at him. He's doing the running bloke. Yeah, I have a different dance for every move. Right now, I'm surprised and kind of hungry. I've gathered you all here at the scene of the crime so that I can reveal not only who heckled Angela tonight, but who heckled her way back when in kindergarten? Because, you see, the two hecklers in question are, in fact, one in the same. Oops, sorry, I'll put it on vibrate. And these bickies, which I believe you call cookies, will prove it. Wait, who's that? Ooh. Hold it right there! Okie dokie. Aha! I knew it! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your heckler. Santa? Ho oh, oh, ho, guilty as charged. I knew it! I mean, like, I didn't know it, but I, like, knew it. What? Santa, why would you heckle Angela? Have you ever really listened to the lyrics in her Christmas song? You know, maybe out of context, those lyrics could sound a bit anti-reindeer. I'm sorry. Wait, Tom. How did you know it was Santa? Well, think about it. All the doors were locked, which means the heckler had to find another way into the club. Like a chimney. Oh, there's a chimney right there! Right. Stay with me here, buddy. But what about the robot voice? You mean this voice? <laughs> Just a gadget that the elves made for me. Oh, I'm sorry I heckled you, Angela. The important thing here is that we solved the mystery. And now we know for sure that I'd never, ever, ever, ever do anything to hurt Angela's feelings. Hmm. <laughs> ever. Good. Now, do you think you can still play the Christmas <gasps> concert? Uh -huh. Let me tell you about the dopest Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, bro. You gonna tell her how you feel? <laughs> what? I mean, I think she's uh, uh, super swell and uh, an upstanding uh, 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 citizen. Tom, I'm Santa Claus. I know when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake, <laughs> and I know when you're lying. No, I, no, I, uh, no. Oh, hey, Angela, hi. I'm so psyched. I can perform again. And it's all <gasps> thanks to <gasps> you, Tom. <laughs> I, um, got you a little something. <laughs> well, you did? Oh, you didn't have to do that. And I think it really sums up how much you mean to me. Oh, <laughs> gotta go. Oh, just friends forever. Huh. Well, the just part seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Get some of that funky you, y'all! Straight and honor, King Ginger. Straight and honor, Hank. King Hank. Right. How fair are defenses? Strongly. I just rewatched season two of A Game for Kings, and I realized when the dragons from the east do attack, they're going to come from the sky. Great thinking. I was just in the dungeon, and you know what I found? Uh, more prisoners we forgot about? Uh-huh. Most awesome, fellow king. We can use them as dragon bait. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> Hank and Ginger are so cute in that fort. It's always great when they get along, and the fort's definitely bringing them closer. I think this is really constructive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oops. 
Many thanks. I say we've earned a reward, fellow kid. Indeed. Tom! Yeah? Oh, hey, you guys added to that castle you built. That's adorable and awesome. <laughs> Silence, peasant! I command you to fetch us a draft of sweet and bubbly elixir from the larder. You guys know what a larder is? Soda, you fool! Fetch a soda! I am the king of soda! No! Ginger is also the king of soda. Oh, yeah, got you. Um, <clears throat> well, please pardon me, me lords. <clears throat> I'll have your refreshments presently, I will. Ah, oh, man, Hank and Ginger are really committed to that fort. Yes, and for such primitive artisans, I've got to say I'm impressed. It seems like they may have actually done some real research. And besides, if their silly game keeps them from bothering me, then I'm all for it. Plus, you're scared of them. Oh, Tob, the kings of soda require your servitude again. Yes! Bring us soda, peasant! <laughs> all right, gotta run. Duty calls. Coming, me lords! Uh, huh? Huh? Bah, are you kidding me? Hey, Ginger! Oh, by the fires of Poodoo, what have we here? Hank, I'm trying to get to the kitchen. A troll! Looking to plunder our stores, no doubt! State your business, beast! Guys, I'm in the middle of a project. I'm taking a lunch break. But we're in the middle of ruling a kingdom! I'm a king! Yeah, we're kings. I do believe we could grant you passage to the kitchen if you paid us a tribute, you landlubber! Wait, wait, wait. landlubber? Yes? That's a pirate expression. I know. Give us your gold! Ginger, don't be ridiculous. Yeah! Stay as thy hand, King Ginger. We shall settle for cake, foul creature. For I am a cake king. Right? Yeah, Hank's a cake king. This is idiotic. I'm not taking part in your dumb game. Oh, you watch your tongue, vile beast. I'm not a beast. I'm an adult who's trying to take a break from working very hard. Now, if you won't move your stupid gate... Uh, uh, portcullis? I know what it's called! Now out of my way! Soil ah! by small clothes! Ah! King Ginger, ah! the troll is attacking our key! I see it, King Hank! Fire at will! Oof! Ah! What the hell? We're just making it angrier! Pour the oil! Pouring! Olive oil? That's expensive! I've had it with a stupid fork. <laughs> <laughs> Strength and honor! All right, enough's enough. The fort has to come down. Calm down, calm down. I'll go talk to him. Bad idea. Hey, Hank, Ginger, listen, guys. We Fire are in the, the hole! Direct hit! Yay, verily! Uh, whoa! Ben, you were not kidding. I told you, they're relentless. Hmm, they are really into their roles. Ahoy, Captain King Ginger! You need to see this! Why do three peasants seek an audience with King Ginger, boss of everything, and Hank, king of cakes and master of televised lore? Guys, uh, th th this has gone far enough, all right? that The castle needs to come down. Me thinks the King Ginger can decide when their own castle comes down. Wouldn't you agree, King King? Yes, King Ginger, and I choose... Never! You guys, oiling Ben up wasn't cool. Ooh, does anyone else want pasta? Behold, the castle has a... a boat! Yeah! You guys are in the moat, uh -huh. and you're drowning in your dead! Surprise! Yeah! You guys are blocking off the kitchen. We actually need to eat. Be Scabrous upstarts remain determined to overthrow our rule! Run away! This is insane. Ginger and Hank's stupid game has taken over the whole garage! I can't work, and I've completely burned through the energy bars I keep in a drawer as an emergency backup! I'm sick of being treated like a serf in my own house! But what can we do? They won't acknowledge anything that isn't part of their stupid pretend game! So, we'll have to defeat them at their own game. <gasps> you don't mean... Prepare for battle!
charging right at us. Very slowly. Uh, what of us should say halt? Do you want to say it or should I say it? Halt! Why, pray tell, do you approach the fortress with this foreign thingy? And why are you armed? Jolly ceremonial, me lords, I assure you. Jousting, turkey leg, medieval uh, British. Yes, your highnesses, we come to beg thine. Thou or thine? Uh... To beg your forgiveness for our earlier disrespect. And where is the gross and stupid energy bar guzzler troll bed? Alas, he could not be swayed to show you the proper respect, so he shall remain a hostage in my quarters in the land, um, the, the realm of, of the uh, upstairs. A rightful fate for one so disgusting and dishonorable. And what? is in the chest there. A giant cake, King Ginger, as a token of our fealty. Oh, <gasps> Ginger, I'm a cake king. You are King Hank. We shall accept this gift at the gate. It's a portage. <laughs> it's working. But that's far enough. Strength and honor. What devilry be this now, Tom? Now! British! British! Now we're going down! I got you! Got you with a pillow! Nuh-uh! I'm wearing magic armor! Magic armor? Yeah, I remember that trick from when I was a kid. That's tough to beat. Oh, no, you don't! Oh, curse you, troll! You fool! Closing that gate! Portcullis has only bought you time! Seems like you're out of time, Hank. You guys said the rug was a moat, remember? Why did we say the rug was a boat? Glub, glub, glub. Have a nice swim. No, Ben, you've been cut down by a poison shark. No. Breathe, Ben. Stay away from the light. I am slain. Ha, ha, you'll never get <laughs> Oh, man, I'm totally dead. Good shot, Tom. Ex-King <laughs> <laughs> Ginger and ex-King Hank, I strip you both of all ranks and titles and fake royalty and forthwith banish you from this court. <gasps> Did you wait? They've won. I have not left but the stale crumbs of my cakey crowd. And this has gone on long enough. Let's be mature about this. Plus, we have jetpacks. Oh yeah, space! <laughs> Whew. Angela, your strategy worked perfectly. Yes, excellent work. Aw, thanks guys. I just figured the only thing they respected was their game. So if we played along, they'd go with it. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, it was actually pretty fun. Well. I guess it's time to take this thing apart. Yeah, guess so. Unless, uh, what if I go up to the wall to watch for dragons first? Good idea, Queen Angela. I'm headed to the larder to prepare us a victory feast. I'll go tend my wounds and make preparations in case there is another attack. To the castle! Wow, snowed by a blizzard. It's just like the movie, Snow Place Like Home for the Holidays. Ooh, or that other movie, Snow Place Like Home for the Holidays 2, Cold Onto Your Horses. Speaking of frozen treats, gather around, because I'm about to show you something that'll change your life. How many times has this happened to you? You know you want a milkshake, but you can't decide which flavor. Constantly. Never. I avoid dairy products. Ginger. Sorry, Tom. Not sorry. 
there's got to be a better way to pick a milkshake. Right, Tob? Well, now there is. Say hello to the world's greatest milkshake flavor decider, the Shake Out. Wait, what? You want me to shake it? With one shake of the flavor wheel and a quick scan of your entire online history, in seconds, the Shake app will tell you and all your friends your perfect milkshake match. Angela, it says you want a vanilla milkshake. What? No, I don't. Vanilla's like my fourth least favorite milkshake. Ugh. Wrong. I mean, I guess the Shake app knows you better than you know yourself. Why are you even designing apps now? Because I'm dedicated, and you never know when opportunity is going to knock. Huh. Not exactly a knock. Yeah, not to me. That was more like a crash. Oh, now that was a knock. Ah! Whoa. Uh, hello. As you probably know, I'm the CEO of the most powerful tech company in town. Here's my situation. It seems the combination of my experience at the helicopter wheel, or stick, or whatever you call it, along with the weather, has resulted in somewhat of a rough landing explosion. Uh, 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 uh. Aha! I didn't really faint. It was just a test to see if I could trust you. You passed. Uh, out I go. Wow, man who can make all of our dreams come true is right here, dreaming on our couch. I think. Wait, do billionaires dream? I don't know, but they sure do snore. What do we do with them? I could snowmobile him home on the back of my snowmobile. Because I have a snowmobile. No, you're not putting him on your snowmobile. Yeah, you're right. Since I crashed it, it only goes left. Guys, we just need to let him rest. At least that's what it says on my new revolutionary open up and say app app. That's right. Just imagine one device that measures blood pressure, temperature, and whether you've been in a helicopter crash. Whoa, 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 stop that. Okay, now everyone follow me. Look, everybody, I don't want to point fingers at Ben, but Ben, I know what you're doing, all right? Yes, the CEO is very powerful, and yes, he has the ability to change all of our lives, but we're not gonna take advantage of this helpless billionaire by pitching him an app or selling him an idea or asking him to buy us a pair of racing elephants. No, none of that. Tom, huh, that's not smart. I know. Maybe it's not smart to pass up a business opportunity like this. But we're not going to do the smart thing. We're going to do the right thing. We're going to put the health and well-being of our guests ahead of our own selfish business interests. Can we all agree on that? <sighs> uh, yeah. Mm. <sighs> oh, well, what happened? Where am I? <gasps> My snow boots! Where are they? Do you know how much they cost? A lot! They protect my feet from my arch nemesis. The weather. Where, where's Tristan? Now don't worry. The weather can't hurt you anymore. Oh. These walls are like expensive snow boots for your whole body. Oh, there they are. You're among friends now. Great. Can one of you friends call my office and let them know I've been in another helicopter crash? Tell him to send a, I don't know, a helicopter. Call your office? Right away, sir. That sounds like a way to help. And that's what we're here to do. To help. Right? Make sure you hit all the sevens. Got it. Mega huge dynamic, this is Tristan speaking. This could be your big opportunity. Please hold. I'm on hold. Sometimes you gotta do the wrong thing to get the right results. I know I told everyone earlier that we should do the right thing, but it occurred to me that sometimes you need to do the wrong thing to get the right results. I mean, what if that hold music was some kind of sign? This is your sign. 
So, what did Tristan say? Uh, Tristan said that he can't come get you because a volcano uh, backed into his desk. Ah, volcanoes need to learn that driving is not a right. It's a privilege. Ugh, canos. Since you're stuck here, let me ask you something. Are you tired of wasting time and energy wondering what flavor milkshake is right for you? Milkshakes? You are clearly trying to sell him your shake app. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we all agreed not to take advantage of the disoriented billionaire. I don't know what you're talking about. Tom, may I speak with you privately? What in the name of science do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? That <laughs> was pitching, Tom! Okay, fine. But it's only because I was trying to do the right thing. The right thing is telling his assistant to come pick him up! <gasps> You never talked to his assistant, did you? He might not even be that good of an assistant. I mean, what if the CEO was trying to get away from him? What if that's why he crashed the helicopter in the first place? We can't send him out there with some Tristan who wants to hurt him. Wow, I never thought you'd stoop this low. Well, if you're gonna stoop, then I'm gonna stoop. Get out of my way! My door! Stop! Stop! Here, sir. It's a hot tea that will warm you up. Thank you. You're a great nurse, if that's what you are. And an even better singer! Check it! The best idea you've never had is the song that I am singing now. Right. Why are you singing at me? Because I... <laughs> Beat it, Angela! <sighs> oh, thanks for that. Are you guessing you're a, what's the word, child? Of course! Dad? On one hand, my parents are the second richest people in town. On the other hand, the CEO is the richest. Ginger, get down! You're in the way of my sound! Angela, step away from the billionaire! Hey, get your own billionaire! Hey, do not yell at Angela! Ginger, get off him! Hey! That's my alleged son you're yelling at. Your son? Come on, Dad, let's get out of here! Ha <laughs> ha, that's my boy! Possibly. Uh, uh, well, 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 if you leave now, you'll be sorry because you'll miss an opportunity to hear my great idea. Which is nothing compared to my great idea. They open up and say, ah, ah. Which is nothing compared to my boys! <laughs> this meeting's over! Hey! Please come back! And out I go. Uh, knock it off, Ginger. Can't believe our earthquake warning vase landed on his head. I know. Now when am I going to get to pitch him my shake app? It doesn't matter. He's not going to let us pitch him anything now. Yeah, he'll probably just want to leave. That's right. I'm leaving. Just as soon as I find my... Great, there they are. Uh, 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 not so fast. Before you get your boots, I have a question. How many times has this happened to you? You know you want a milkshake, but you can't decide which flavor. Wow. <laughs> Holding a man's boots hostage so you can give him a sales pitch? You are officially worse than the weather. Worse than the weather? That's right. I'm thinking of making you my new arch nemesis. Of course, that would make the weather a regular nemesis. Are you following this, son? Which one of you is my son? Dad? Wow. I don't know what to say. I don't want to be any kind of nemesis. Be neither. What's a nemesis? Ah, it's that. A shadow? What? No, it's us. It's me. Look, we do what we do here to make the world a better place. But today, when this man needed our help, we put our own selfish interests ahead of his well-being. All because his stupid hold music told us to. You took advice from hold music? Uh, I told Tristan to change that song. You are not the first caller to radically misinterpret those lyrics. Please, accept our apology, Mr. CEO. Thank you. Naughty boots. You and your boots are free to go. Right. Now, do you have a helicopter? No, but you can take my snowmobile. Thanks. Here is a dollar. Now, I will face my arch nemesis head on. Have at you, weather. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes when opportunity knocks, it's not really opportunity. It's just a rich guy who's survived a helicopter crash and he's got a lesson about doing the right thing. Hey, Hank, did you ever get the steering fixed on that snowmobile? Nope, sure didn't. Why? 
Yeah, to me that was definitely a crash. You guys, I have done it. I found the piece that the room was missing. Behold. Wow. wow. Nice Feng Shui for once. I know, right? Putting a lamp next to the TV really ties everything together. Hank, we've had our differences. We have? But none of that matters now. What you've done here today, this is something really great. And I want you to know that. Fist bump. <gasps> a fist bump? I don't deserve it. Yes, you do, Hank. And no one can take that away from you. Huh? Hello. The door was closed, so I opened it without knocking and let myself in. <gasps> I present to ye the landlord. Da, 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 da. Do not do that. Whatever thou sayest, my lord. Look, landlord, there's no law against paying rent in free haircut punch cards. They're as good as money at the barber shop. Hey, do not worry. I'm not here to evict you. I'm just, uh, I'm just here to kick you out. Ah, he's just kicking us out. Wait a minute! That's a synonym! You can't hoodwink us, landlord. Listen, I need you guys out, but just for one week while I make few repairs. It turns out there's a mm, minor volcano bubbling underneath the place. Suddenly, city's like, you can let your garage sink into lava again. Again? Everything will be a-okay cool. Hunky dory. Two hamburgers, chef's preference, a cheesy malt shake, and a couple of sleeping bags with a toothbrush. What about a Blue Jack Wi-Fi port? Or an orchid? Wait a minute! You aren't just trying to order lunch! You're trying to order living here! <laughs> what? Yep, we are. We're homeless. Well, technically, I have a home, but I have no place to do my work. Uh -uh, can't help you. But if you decide you want a side salad or a shepherd's pie, then I can help you. Well, wait, but I do want the shepherd's pie. And she's gone. Uh, oh. Hey, guys! Oh, wait, you look sad. Hey, guys, what's wrong? Our garage slash studio got eaten up by a volcano. Oh, no. Guys, that's such a bummer. Side hug? I'm gonna send that side hug back, Angela. It's not gonna help. Uh, uh actually... <laughs> as a garaged person, there's no way you can know the struggle of us, the garageless. Having to get by without walls and a ceiling. It's space for friends to crash for a while. Wait a minute. Those are all things I have. You guys can come stay with me. <laughs> come on. Really? Sounds good. That sounds like an optimal plan. You shall be our new landlord, Milady. Okay, that's weird. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is going to be great. I'm going to be with Angela all day and all night. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna be with Angela all day and all night? This is gonna be terrible! Uh, what if I blow it? What if the guys blow it? Hey! Place looks great. Girl, stop! And it's even nicer when you can see it. I mean, these walls? Oh, sturdy. <laughs> So anyways, uh, make yourselves at home. Feel free to watch TV or sit in a cool chair or look in any of the mirrors. We used to have a mirror back in the garage. It'll be all right, Hank. For the next week, this can be our garage. Whoa, hold on. I am sorry you had to hear that, Angela. We are not going to treat this place like the garage. This is Angela's home, and we are just guests. Ah! And we do not touch any tiny horse statues. This thing probably has a lot of value to a collector of fine art, like Angela. Actually, that was just here when I moved in. See, it's been here since she moved in. And it's fragile. So no tossing it like a ball, or sticking it in your nose, or kicking it to see if it breaks. Be respectful. Okay, that was weird. I'll go get your sleeping bags. Way to go, guys. You made it weird. Angela, wait up. I can help. <laughs> Tom's acting like this because he likes Angela. <laughs> ah, there's no way we're going to make it through a week of this. <laughs> Let's
Let's go, everybody. It's time to dance. Let's go, everybody, and shake your pants. No. Hmm. Shake your butts. Oh, that's crude. Psst, Angela. Ah! Oh, you scare me. What is it, Tom? I just wanted to say, this is going pretty well, right? I mean, we're all having fun. Sure, Tom. We're all having fun. Cool. Yep. Cool. Hmm. Shake your fingers? No, that makes no sense. Oh, Angela! Ah! So I just realized I might have annoyed you by interrupting you while you were writing. It's okay, Tom. It was fine. Okay, cool. So even though I did that, this is still fun. It's not that it was fun until I asked about it, now it's not. Right? Yes, it's fine. Cool. Ugh. Good night, Tom. Okay, all right. Finally. Angela! What, Tom? Just now, when I asked if things were fun, you said things were fine. So is this just a word choice, or are you saying things aren't fun anymore? You know what, Tom? I actually am getting a little annoyed now. I know it. Ah, that's it. Everybody up! Emergency house meeting. I think I handled that pretty well. Hey, guys. I was thinking tonight we could do a... Do you like what I've done with the place? I wanted to make sure that nobody breaks any of your stuff, so I boxed it up. So now, it'll be safe. And what is that? <laughs> oh! huh, so that's where they went. He threatened to kick my computer! I could have escaped, but I wanted to see how this played out. Okay, Tom, it's time to put the box down and take a break. You'll have to pry this out of my... Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> I can fix this. I just need something to glue the pieces together. Ha, ah, of course. Muddy boots. Let the sticky boot mud work its magic. Okay, that's it. Huh? Emergency house meeting. Tom, this is not easy to say to someone I consider such a good friend. But I think I speak for everyone when I say... You have to find somewhere else to stay while your garage is being fixed. Oh, great, Ben. You got us kicked out. No, Tom. Not Ben. Just you. Huh? House vote? <sighs> yes! Affirmative! Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um. Pass. Yes. And I say... Yes. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. Oh. I see. Well, I guess I'll just be going then. I'm sorry I couldn't be the perfect roommate, Angela. So, I heard it might rain later today. Yep. But then again, it might not. Yep. True, true. Might not. Yep, you never know. Huh, it's kind of boring here without Tom acting crazy. Well, yeah, Tom always makes something fun happen. That's what's great about having him around. Hey, you did what you had to do. Tom broke your horse. Oh, that was pretty great. And he stomped mud all over the floor. Those were good times. Oh, man, I miss him. Angela, we have to get Tom back. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Ginger. Come on, huh? everybody. Yeah, let's go get Tom. What? I do my best work when I'm being interrupted by Tom. Whoop. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Tom, come out of there. It's not safe. It's fine. I'll live here for the rest of the week. It, it'll be just like that game. Freeze tag? Nah, uh, I think he means the watch out, the floor is made of lava now game. Oh, right. Sorry, my mind isn't on games right now. Tom, I have something to tell you. Uh, okay, hold on. Careful. Whoa. On your left. Watch out. Oh. I know I am the worst roommate. I deserve to live above a volcano. N no, that's not it. I have to tell you that... <laughs> It was really sweet that you tried so hard to make rooming together fun. It was? I mean, it was. You really cared that I was happy. In a weird way, that kind of makes you the perfect roommate. Well, I, I guess I, I wanted to impress you because, you know, I like... <laughs> oh, hey, Lava Burp. <laughs> Cover your mouth, Lava. Gross. Yeah, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 
Side hug? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I told you, knock off it. And so I shall, your lordship. For now. <laughs> ah, I tell you, you can't be in here till the end of the week. I'm still working on the place. Don't worry, Tom's landlord. For the rest of this week, he's staying with me. Come on, you two. Get out of there. We're coming, Ben. Here we come. That's it, Tom. One hey. more stream on your left. Okay. One more lead. Last one. Now. Ta-da. Yeah, nothing brings people together like lava. Lady and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the greatest video game the world has ever known. Safe Driving 2, no right turn on red. You're all going down. No chance, Tiny Pants. I'm going to use turn signals and hand signals just to be safe. If someone cuts me off in traffic, I am going to stay calm and give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's an emergency. Buckle up and start your engines. The race begins in three, two, one. Huh? No, oh, no, no. no. Huh. Why is it all dark when my eyes aren't closed? All right, nobody panic. Ben, what is going on? Hmm. Judging from the sudden loss of power, I'd say the power went out. Everybody panic! Oh, yeah. Wait! We plugged in our phones and our computers hours ago. We can use those to entertain ourselves until the power comes back on. Uh. <laughs> They're all dead! Yeah. What? Ben, what's the status of my lava lamp? Also dead. Aww. And all because someone thought that their lava lamp was more important! <sighs> it would have been so groovy. <laughs> Can you believe how boring things were after the power went out? Seriously, that was the longest 27 minutes of my life. I actually had a chance to think, and I did not like it. You're all just lucky I was able to keep my cool. Without your precious phones, you were all like, oh no, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Tom, that was you. Yeah, that's literally like all you said until the power came back on. The point is, last night showed that we've become too dependent on technology. Like, when's the last time someone actually checked our mailbox? Oh, I checked it right before my birthday and right after my birthday. Yeah, I don't live here. I get all my mail online. Really? Well, then who is all that for? Okay, no sudden movement. Everybody stand back. I am approaching the mailbox. This is all junk mail. It's not all junk. Here's a letter addressed to Tom and Ben Enterprises from Unpopular Science Magazine. <gasps> Whoa, what is it? That's been the most popular tech magazine since people read magazines. Oh, wow. Let me see. Dear entrepreneur, hmm, we blah, 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 blah. So therefore, Unpopular Science would like to honor your contributions to the tech world by inviting you to visit our headquarters on Floppy Disk Island. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, no. Huh? They only sent one ticket. Whoa. I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but I think huh? you should send some sort of a celebrity to represent you. Huh? Or someone young and cool. No way, I'm the face of the company. Yeah, well, I'm the brains. Oh, I have a face and a brain. So, what are we going to do? What if we all make a bet? I made my bet this morning. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Not a bet, Hank, a bet. Ooh, what kind of bet? Based on how we acted last night during the blackout, it seems safe to say we're all addicted to technology, right? 
Uh-huh. Not me. Ooh, high score. I'm sorry, what? I was texting. So, I propose the following contest. Whoever can go the longest without using any cell phone or computer or any TV of any kind will win the ticket to Floppy Disk Island. Whoop, well, I bid. Me too. Then I'm in too because you have to include me or it's not fair. Prepare to feel the sting of a calculated competitive routing. <laughs> that means I'm in too. All right, cough them up. I know, I know. Come on, all of them. Fine. Is that it? Yes. No. Let the contest begin. Well, one thing's for sure. If I want to win, I need to stay away from this place as much as possible. Yeah, let's get out of here. Too much temptation. Oh, Hank. Huh? Isn't today the season premiere of Crime and Punishment DMV? Oh, yeah, that's right. What? I'm out. <laughs> Hank, just like that, you're out? Yeah. The season finale was a cliffhanger where Hillbilly Jack got busted cutting in line. I think he was framed, but I won't know for sure until I watch it. Ah, uh, poor Hank. Some people just can't live without technology. <sighs> I can't believe it's only been 17 minutes without technology. How would I know? How long has it been? I don't have my smartwatch! I miss music. I miss making it and listening to it and dancing to it like no one's watching. I miss online candy shopping and the free instant delivery. Tom. Tom. Hmm? Yeah? What's going on? How are you holding up? Huh? Oh, the contest. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I can do this. People survive for thousands of years without electronics. How? What do they do? Um, they farm! We can farm! Farm with me, Ginger! Farm with me! Okay! Like this? <laughs> We're doing it! We're farming! Yes! I can hear it going! Now we must dance, young Ginger! Dance so the rain will come and water our crops! <laughs> Angela, whoa. Are you okay? Shh, listen. Ba -ba -ba. Can you hear that? Oh, it's so uh, beautiful. <laughs> huh? Uh, don't you think it's time that you quit the contest? Zip it, Tom. Oh, you made him fly away. Come back, sweet maker of music. Hey, Ginger, it says here the online candy store is having a two-for-one sale. <gasps> Free instant delivery of every candy imaginable. Chocolate Krusties, never-ending Nom Noms, Jelly Jim Jams, Clyde's Original Rock Candies. <gasps> Even gummy goobers? Uh-huh. Extra sour. <laughs> hey, get that back! <laughs> Poor kid doesn't know what to do without technology. <clears throat> uh, me? I'm just enjoying the day. Oh, Angela, have you heard the new number one hit song? I think it's called something like Dance, Dance, Don't Stop Dancing. Ha, huh, nice try, guys. No, I heard it too. Really? Not, not, not that I listen to that type of music, hmm. but just go to any website on the entire internet and it'll probably just start playing. Are you kidding? Dance, dance, dance don't, don't stop dancing. dancing. Dance, dance, huh? don't you dare stop oh. dancing. Don't you stop. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go, um, uh, powder my nose. Be right back! <laughs> and I'm out! <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> yes! Too easy. Looks like it's just you and me now. Partner? Yeah. Partner. <laughs> what is he doing? He's winning this contest, that's what he's doing. Get him, Tom! That's what I'm talking about. Huh? What was that? That was my phone. It must have an update available. And it sends a notification. I don't care. That was my computer. It must also have an update available. <laughs> Good, no big deal. Huh? Wait, what was that? That was the microwave. It has a burrito update for my mouth. Anymore. Must update 
Everything! <gasps> My dear sweet technology! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I'll never leave you again! I promise! <laughs> Congrats, Tom. I guess when it comes to surviving without technology, you are the strongest. Tom? He shoots. It's up. It's good. Woo! I mean, what? Hey, where'd Ben go? Oh, hey, I won. Yippee. Wait a second. Hey, I was listening to that. I mean, hey, what is that? You've been listening to a basketball game this whole time? Hey, what? Uh, yeah, what? You uh, cheated, which means I won. Floppy Disk Island, here I come. But now excuse me while I pack. Let's see. Laptop, check. Tablet, check. Cell phone, oh. check. Oh. Backup cell phone, check. Yes. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs> and cheater. I'm off to celebrate my victory at Floppy Disk Island! Uh, hey, Ben. Later! But the letter says, be sure to bring the following. Candles, a hammock, a wooden club, flint, and steel. Uh-oh. I think Ben forgot some important things. Like what? Unpopular Science Magazine invites you to the No Technology Party. Join us in remembering the past with no electronics. Tom, how could you not mention that? Well, I... I, I kind of skimmed parts of it. Yeah, it's a very long letter. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, hey, Angela. What's going on? Wait a second. <gasps> Phone, uh, not uh, making a sound uh, when I called. Uh, well, I don't know what you're. Hello. Whoops. How are you? Cause yesterday I changed your ringtone to my new song. What's not to love? Yeah, I found that out when my phone rang at the Museum of Silence. Yeah, the tour guide was so bad he almost said something. Well, this isn't a museum, so why don't you turn it back on? Uh, because. Oh, let's see, how can I put this? I knew it! You hate my new song! <laughs> what? I like it! Everybody likes it! I mean, Hank, what do you think of Angela's new song? Huh? Oh, I have to go and uh, watch my carrots grow. I planted carrots in my excuse huh? garden. Okay, Angela, fine. You want to know the truth? The truth is... I loved your song! Really? Oh... Yes! Totally! Huh? And now that I think about it, I'm gonna make sure I hear what's not to love every time I get a call. Wow. And there. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Ah! Did you wash that carrot? No. Did you wash your cereal? Huh? You guys, guess why today is better than yesterday and why tomorrow will be even better than today. Okay, so you know Victoria Payne? Victoria <gasps> Payne. Isn't she <gasps> that really mean music critic from the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down report? Yeah! Remember when she made that hip-hop star, tough guy, no tears, cry? <laughs> and then she gave his crying a thumbs down. Oh, she's so well, tomorrow, she's coming here to interview me <laughs> and review my new song. <coughs> what? Why, why, why would you agree to that? Because if Victoria Payne gives you a thumbs up, it basically means you've made it in the music world. <gasps> Angela, this is a mistake. Victoria Payne doesn't like anyone. Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. I know she can be negative, but guess what? I'm positive. And you know what happens when a negative meets a positive? An angel gets its wings. Close. It turns a thumbs down into a thumbs up. This isn't good. Angela got upset when she thought I didn't want her new song as my ringtone? How is she going to handle a review from Victoria Payne? Huh. Well, if Angela's going to do the interview, all I can do is be there for Huh? Mm. Instant springtime. <laughs> 
Tom, what are you doing? If Victoria's allergic to these flowers, you're guaranteeing a bad review. Tom, relax. You're getting all worried for nothing. I've never had a bad review. Yeah, but look who reviewed you. Happiness Monthly, Journal of Positivity. Don't forget the awesome report. The awesome report. That's me. It says I'm awesome. Oh, and Smile Magazine. Smile Magazine. Victoria Payne doesn't work for Smile Magazine. She makes a living out of huh? ruthlessly crushing singers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is it? <gasps> Break a leg, me. Victoria, welcome. It is an honor to meet you. Well, look at you. You are definitely Angela. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that move? A curtsy. Not a cool move in this situation. Definitely not cool. Is there anything I could get you? Oh, are you cold? I could get you a sweater. Sometimes when I'm cold, I put on a sweater. Ooh, no thanks. Oh, that's cool. I mean, not like cold because it's the right temperature, but that's great. And I'm cold, I put on a sweater? Oh. So, do I talk or? Sorry, it's just that you're so uh, nice. Oh, thanks, Victoria. So are you. How did you come up with your new song, What's Not to Love? Or, I'm sorry, do you still say love? Great question, Victoria. Well, I started thinking about the things I love, and I realized I pretty much love everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I'm not sure I do. Mm. Well, I know what you mean, Angela. Huh? I'm Tom. Hi, great. Tom. Huh? <laughs> so, here are some of your song titles. Look for the rainbow in every rainbow. Happy longer than forever. And now, what's not to love? <laughs> So how would you respond to a person who says your songs are too cheerful? A person said that? Who? Can you tell me their name? A person can say anything on the internet that doesn't mean it's true. Guys, <laughs> you can't let stuff written on the internet bother you, okay? Well, that is just... Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I won't. What's not to love? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Thank that. you. Uh -oh. Thank you. What a performance. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad you liked it. Well, I think I've seen enough to write the article. Oh. It has been really nice meeting all of you. It was nice meeting you, too. Huh. She's not as mean as I thought. Yeah, I kind of like her. I just don't get it. She's not like I expected at all. We were wrong about Victoria Payne. I guess we worried for nothing. Hey everyone, Victoria Payne here. Welcome to the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down Report. Today, we'll be talking about a local singer trying to make a name for herself. This is Angela. She's likable, she's friendly, she has a nice voice, and she has a new song called What's Not To Love. Hmm. What's Not To Love? Well, let me see. Hmm? Hmm. For starters, this song. <gasps> Oh, no. What's Not To Love sounds like it was cranked out by, like, a huh? songwriting machine that doesn't know what ears are. It's sugary sweet sound and fake positive message give me a headache. I have a big message for Angela's friends, and it's, um, don't encourage her. Oh, and Angela, I have a message for you, too. Write better songs. Angela, 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 I want to tell you that if this is all you've got, you gotta never sing again, okay? I give Angela a thumbs down. Pain out. Ben? Is it possible to erase the internet? Well, not without a pretty major solar flare. Then I guess my career is over. <laughs> okay, it's the day after the thumbs down. And I still feel mad. No, I feel super mad. You know what? I just thought of something. I am going to write a mean review of Victoria. Okay, you guys, update. I couldn't write a mean review. I really tried, but I'm like, what's the point? And then I went on the internet and I saw this thing that said you can't fight fire with fire. And I was like, yeah, you can't. That just causes more fire. And Oh, someone should put that on a pillow. Oh, no. Maybe Victoria was right. Yeah, maybe I do give people headaches. I have a headache right now. Oh, that is it. I am never singing again. That's sad. I know. I love singing. But I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm really, really going to miss it. Hey, Angela, huh? do you think mm -hmm. maybe it's time to come out from under that blanket? That's Tom. He doesn't like my music either. Mm, all right, that's enough. Oh, hey, give me back my sadness cave. You're not getting back your sadness cave until you listen to what I have to say. Mm. 
smoothie. <sighs> Thanks. First of all, I like your music. Stop saying that I don't. And second, why do you even care? <laughs> what do you mean, why do I care? Do you like your music? Yes. And do you like your new song? What's not to love? I meant it as an answer to Tom's question, but it's also the title of Angela's song. Yes, I love my song. And doesn't your opinion of the song matter more than my opinion? Or Victoria's? Uh, let's see if I can interpret. Angela thinks her problem is with her music, but the solution to this problem is also her music. So instead of being sad, she should write a song that turns this thumbs down situation into a thumbs up. Maybe you guys are right. Writing music does make me feel better. I emerge from the sadness cave with a smile on my face. All your negativity is gone without a trace. Never sing again. Never sing again. Check your ears right now, Victoria. Never sing it again Pain can't hurt me Pain can't hurt me Pain can't hurt me You see, it's her name You called me sugar sweet You gave me a thumbs down Thumbs down I got You were right! Writing a song made me feel so much better Better. The number of views is going up like crazy! This is your best song ever. Thanks, Tom. On a scale of 1 to 10, you guys are the best! Oh, listen to what people are saying. Angela, you're my hero. Oh, that's sweet. Your song made my day. Well, that comment made my day. Here's another one. Angela, you're horrible. You should probably never open your mouth again. No, no. What? Who said that? What's their screaming? <laughs> Write it down. We're going after them. I call it the hat locator. People lose hats all the time. And if there was an app that would help find those hats by making any hat nearby glow bright red, bam! Problem solved. I don't have time for this. I need your help testing something that's actually useful. My new perfect day virtual reality simulator. Hey, your perfect day thingy has a hat theme too. Great minds think alike, huh? Uh, sure, Tom. Now, look, all you have to do is put this on and after it reads your deepest thoughts and desires through brainwave hacking, voila! It lets you virtually live out your idea of a perfect day. Hey, what do all these tiny little lights do? They mostly just blink and make the helmet look cool. Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Whoa. Huh? Looks like your invention doesn't even work, Ben. Not even a little. Huh, I guess you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what? Let's work on your idea instead. It sounds like there was some solid science there. What's it called again? Uh, the hat locator? Did somebody say hat locator? Wow! You know, I hear a lot of boring stuff around here and I usually ignore it, but a hat locator? Yeah, tell us more about it, Tom. Hats, you say? Oh yes, do tell. Well, if you all insist. <laughs> <clears throat> People lose hats all the time. And if there was an app that would help find those hats by making any hat nearby Ooh. glow bright red, uh -huh. bam! Behold, the hat locator! Yes! Huzzah for the hat locator! Ooh. There's a hat under the car! Wow, it really works! I feel like I'm witnessing the invention of the wheel. Or the toothbrush! Anyway, get ready. It's only a matter of time before word of your amazing invention spreads. Hello? It's the CEO. May I please speak to Tom of Tom and Ben Enterprises? <laughs> Funny that you ask. This is Tom. Ah, good. Rumor has it you've developed some sort of hat locator device. Is this true? It is. This is going to be huge. Every person in the world will want a hat locator for themselves. Needless to say, I want to buy the rights. And no amount of money is too much. 
Uh, I'm sorry, but it's not about money for me. It's about my vision, so I'm gonna have to say no. Okay. Sorry for bothering you, Tom. Have a lovely day, and remember, you're a genius. I know that already. Thanks. Wow, you really handle that well. <laughs> you're cool under pressure. Aha. Uh -huh. Hold that thought. Ha <laughs> ha. I believe I already told you the answer is no. This is Dagmar the Unseen of the planet Imperceptia. May I speak to Tom of the planet Earth in the Milky Way galaxy? This is Tom. Intergalactic rumor has it that you're developing a hat locator. Dagbar, let me stop you right there. I just got off a call about this and I'll tell you what I told the other guy. The hat locator is not for sale. Fine. What a nice guy. Anyway, that's the end of that. Time to go off and live our dreams. Wow. That's odd. I could have sworn I heard a large spaceship landing. Yeah, from the sound of it, I'd say it was a Mach 12 Hyperion mothership. They came from the north. <gasps> I huh? didn't know you were so outdoorsy. Oh, Tom, is there anything you can't do? Yeah, Tom, what can't you do? I bet you can't juggle. Oh yeah, that's Tom. The greatest juggler who ever lived. All right, everyone, remain calm. This is officially a time of crisis, and what we need is a leader. You should be our leader! Thank you, Ginger, but our leader must be democratically elected. It's not just fair, it's how I do things. All in favor of electing Tom to be our bold crisis leader? It's official! Lead us, Tom! I accept this duty. Now, first things first, everyone stay close. Second, do what I do. Whoa! You heard the man? Why are we doing this, Tom? Don't question our leader! No. Something's got me. Something invisible. Get off me now! Everybody, up! Back to the garage! Go! 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 Okay, I think I figured out what's going on. Oh, good. I know I'm usually the genius, but I am completely out of my depth. Tom, tell me you have a plan. Yeah, Tom, you're our only hope. It all makes sense. We got a phone call from an alien, then heard a ship land. That means aliens have invaded, only we can't see them. Ergo, they must be invisible aliens. Whoa, it really does all make sense. So, we need to find a way to see something invisible. But how? You'll figure it out, Tom. If you can come up with something as amazing as the hat locator, you can come up with anything. Angela, that's it! Those aliens may be invisible, but I bet they're wearing clothes. And you know what goes with clothes? Buttons? No! Hats! The reason the alien called was to get the hat locator so that when they invaded, we couldn't use it to see them. And their hats! So we'll just activate the hat locator and we'll instantly be able to see where they are! Just when we think Tom can't wow us again, he redefines the word wow. All right, here we go. It's working! I can see the floating hat aliens! There's one! And there's one! And there's one! You guys are all seeing this too, right? Uh-oh, they're on to us. Don't let them near me, Tom! I don't look good in hats! <laughs> I mean, not those hats. I mean, I might be able to pull it off. Still, save us, Tom! Everyone, get behind me, if you want to live.
They're starting to retreat! That was amazing! All in a day's work, Angela. If it weren't for you, we'd be... Shh! Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Don't you worry. I'll always be around to save you, Angela. Oh, Tom. I have to tell you something. I have something to tell you, too. Something I've been holding in my heart for a long time. Something I've wanted to tell you forever. That. What's going on here? Oh no, it's overheating! Oh, stupid prototype helmet. Now it's over overheating. What's going on? Your perfect day was too perfect. It crashed the system. What were you doing? Wait, none of that was real? The hat locator wasn't gonna make us rich? I didn't save the world from invisible aliens? Angela and I weren't about to... Simulator! This is the least perfect day ever! Well, sorry, Ben. But hey, the device really works. It truly was the most perfect day ever. I wish I could repeat it. Well, good news! I have a recording of it. It's all here. Wanna watch? Uh, no. Yeah, let's watch it! Play no, it, no, 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 it, no. It, yeah, it, let's play see play what it, Tob saw. It. Play. I don't know about that, guys. Come on. Yeah, let's see everything Tom saw. I'll be right back. Hey! Are you crazy? Why'd you do that? <sighs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Fine then. Guess we'll just have to use that backup memory card. Be right back! Oh, come on, Tom! So, do you think it's something he ate, or...? In case you didn't know, I am a singer. It's kind of my thing! So, I decided to teach my friends to write songs of their own. You, uh, knew I was a singer, right? Now remember, students, to let the emotion come from your heart. That's the best place for emotion to come from. I've composed a few verses in tetramic pentameter about the joy of patterns. <laughs> well, if that's the music in your heart, then it's right. Probably. I imagined what it would sound like if the award-winning cop drama, Bongo and McGillicuddy, had a theme song with lyrics. Bongo, Bongo, and McGillicuddy, McGillicuddy, <laughs> Bongo, and McGillicuddy. Two cops on the beat, take it into the street, go it straight to the top, when a beats cop! I like it, Hank. Tom, your paper is blank. Are you writing a song with no lyrics? It's kind of looking like it. I just have no idea what to say. I do I have to make things rhyme? Oh, I do it all the time. See what I did right there? So, yes? Oh, writing a song isn't just about rhyming. It's about finding something important to you and expressing it with your voice. Right. What's something or someone that you think about every day? Yeah. Something or somebody that makes you happy. Uh -huh. You know, just lights up a room. Okay. And you want to say how you feel. Yeah. But you've never been able to figure out how. Until now. I love and Bongo. Bongo. And my gala cut it. Baby, now you're getting it. Ah! I listened to what Angela said, and I wrote a song about something I really care about. And that something is Angela. I think the song is actually pretty good. Only problem is, I'm pretty sure I could never show it to her. Ever. Well, it's catchy. She'd like that. But is it weird? Because she would not like that. But is it more catchy than weird? Hmm. Who are you ah! talking to? Did Ben make uh, an invisibility machine? Uh, if he uh, did, I get to go at it first. Ginger, leave me alone. I'm in the middle of a crisis. Me too! My parents got me the most awesome and coolest present. You want to see what it is? No. A magic kit! But created by mm. famous TV magician Illusion Jack. The guy who says, Illusion. 
Did I just hear the word illusion? Or was that an illusion? I'll tell you what's going on, my show! For my first trick, I need a piece of paper. Ah! What? No, 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 uh, uh, don't use that. <laughs> Why? Is it something embarrassing? No, it's just a list of boring things. You know what, you could use it. I don't even care. Use it for your tricks. It, uh, it's not embarrassing. Look! An ordinary boring piece of paper that doesn't really matter to anyone! Now I will make it... Oh, ah! Disappear! Nice one! So, uh, it's just a neat trick. Um, but, uh, where did it go? Just out of curiosity? Maybe you should try asking your butt! Uh, huh? What? Ah! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Having these song lyrics around is dangerous. I have to destroy them. No one can ever see what I wrote. Hey, Tom, what are you doing? Oh, oh, nothing. What are you doing? That's what we really should be asking here. <laughs> well, Angela's helping me craft the songs I wrote into a musical comedy extravaganza. So far, I've got eight music numbers about eight number numbers. Of course, it really would be mm -hmm. something if I could get it all the way to nine. My big idea is that you add a lot of lasers. Ooh, and a fog machine. I'll go rig up the garage. Tom, I'm sorry I couldn't inspire you to write a song. Oh, you were great. I guess I just don't get music. Oh, well. Well, music is really important to me. If you don't get music, that's sad. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Forget what I just said, because I did write a song. Now, I was trying to get it right before I showed you, but... Who cares about getting it right? <laughs> Maybe read it to yourself. And if you don't like it, just never tell me. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is just a receipt for an Illusion Jack magic kit. What? How is that? <gasps> Ginger! Huh? Whoa. Okay. Five bucks off some magic rings! Yeah, that was good. Ginger, what did you do with my paper? I I can make it worth your while. All right, Hank has a secret stash of candy corn left over from Halloween. It could be yours. Are we talking about the good ones or the ones with the chocolatey bottoms? Sorry, the magician's code says no. Besides, if I want candy, I can just presto digitate it with my sleight of hand. <laughs> well, see you around, Tom. Rats, did you ah! just offer to give away my secret candy corn? Uh, no. I mean, <sighs> yes. Ginger took the lyrics to the song I was writing and won't give them back. You didn't even back them up digitally? I have to get it back. Ginger cannot see what I wrote. Wow, he really got you with that prop swap, didn't he? I know, he took... Wait, what is a prop swap? You know, how he put the fake paper under your butt before the trick even started. What? I was the two-time winner of the teen regional magic meet, but I swore to never talk about that <laughs> part of my life. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I'll talk about it. I was the great Illusion Hank, and I was ready to take over the local TV magic scene. I had the world up my sleeve, until my apprentice Jack stole my act. Wait, you mean Illusion Jack? Of course I mean Illusion Jack, but there's no point dwelling on it. We can't change the past. If that guy stole your act, then you know all of his tricks, so you can teach me all the magic Ginger just learned, and I can magic my song right back to me. I don't know, Tom. My last apprentice became an international superstar and forced me out of the world of magic that I loved so much. Yeah, but Hank, this time it's Tom. You're right. <gasps> Whoa. I'll do it. Yeah. Nope, I stink at magic. I'm never gonna get my song back. Snap out of it, apprentice! There's one more thing you could try. Here, read this. It's the directions that come with the magic kit. In it, you will find the secrets you need. Huh. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. It all makes sense now. Hello, 
Tom. You wanted to meet with me about a certain prop? I swapped. We'll do a trade. You put the paper under one bowl, I put the candy under the other. Then we switch. Ooh, like a magic trick. I like it. Ha! <laughs> 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 Illusion! You didn't tell me you could do magic! That's cheating, Tom! Well, I thought that you said that a magician never reveals his secrets. You're twisting my words around! Oh. What's so special about this note anyway? It must be really embarrassing! <laughs> Bye! Uh, freeze on place though! Hand it over and admit you've been beat by a superior magician. Uh, uh, okay, time out. You never told me you could do real magic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on, Ginger. Of course I can't. But I can do real technology. And technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. You see, at first, I tried to do better magic than you, but then Hank showed me the last piece of advice in the Kit's magic book. And it reads, <clears throat> if I may, all the best magicians have an assistant. Uh -huh. Am I Tom's assistant? <laughs> of course not. But I needed to test the lasers out for my big math musical, so why not? How do you think those lasers look, Angela? Angela? <laughs> Pretty futuristic. Hey, Tom, is that the song you're working on? Let me see. Wait, uh, maybe you shouldn't read that in front of everyone. Why? The best part of doing music is having everyone look at you. <sighs> oh, Tom, this is nice. You wrote a song about your friends. I know it's a little surprising, but I, wait, what? You think it's about my friends? Sure. I like how you say, you're my friend. When we're together, you make me smile. Like friends that are together. I mean, you did rhyme together with together, but it's a good first try. From reading this, I really sense how you and Ben are good buddies. Yeah, sure. I guess that's what the song is about then. This whole thing was because of a song about Ben? Why didn't you tell me that? I would have given it back. But I thought... Well, I tried to. Tom, I am really touched. No one has ever written a song about me. Come here, buddy. Let me apply a friendly hug to you. Aww. Uh, no, that's okay. It's really, it's not necessary. I think it's fine. I don't want this any more <laughs> than you do. But you've earned it, buddy. Uh, Friend hug. Free zone, play zone. When that bar fills to 100, we're going to have so mm. much fun. Mm. You mean we're going to have so much education. This new Sea Captain Simulator is the latest in realistic Sea Captain software. Right, of course. Research. Arg! Timber be shivers! Has G downloaded the boat Ooh. video game yet? Arg! I want to name my Captain Sea Maverick! Ginger, that is a ridiculous name. Plus, already called it. Why is the computer going so No, Ginger! Slow? It should be done! Yeah, did someone put rocks in the internet pipe? It's downloading slowly because this is a very big, very elaborate program. These simulators simulate every aspect of being a real-life sea captain. The currents of the world oceans, the weather patterns of the seven seas, the magnetic pull of... Boring! I want to spin the wheel! Move! No! Download restarted. Progress so far. Zero. Download will complete in many hours. Oh, we were so close. Oh, now it's going to take forever to be finished. Actually, it will take eight hours. Eight hours of us watching the computer making sure nothing messes it up while it's working. Eight hours? Well, good luck with that. I'm actually gonna see a movie with Angela tonight. Like, just me and Angela. I know, it's pretty huge. Major milestone for us. The point is, you'll have to stay here. Tom, I can't stay here. I have a ticket to the 10th annual Thumb Drive meet and greet. USB there or USB square? Ah, huh, well, obviously. <laughs> Clearly, you can't miss this action. Well, maybe no one will touch the computer for eight hours. Oh, 
Download restarted. Again, seriously, what is with you guys? Ginger! What? I was practicing my pirate swing so I could do them when I'm a captain. Don't get mad at me like I did something wrong. I am not missing my date with Angela. But it's gonna be pretty tough to keep that computer from being touched while we're gone. We can handle this in a responsible way. We'll sit Hank and Ginger down and simply explain why they need to avoid the computer. So the point is, for the next eight hours, you and you cannot touch the computer. Are there any questions? Oh, oh, can we touch the back of the computer? Hank, what did I just say? I don't know about all this digital stuff. I'm not a hacker. Guys, if I don't get this program downloaded tonight, we're going to fall hopelessly behind in our work schedule. Sounds like someone wants to save all the high scores for himself. That does sound like bed. Ah! Oh, they're not getting it. Tom, we have to go. The previews are going to start, and I want to know what to look forward to. Okay, follow my lead. We didn't tell you the real reason you can't touch the huh? computer because we wanted to shield you from the truth. But I'm afraid I have to tell you. When we started downloading the Ship Captain Simulator, we discovered something. Oh, neat! Something scary. Oh, no! Have you ever heard the story of Big Beard the Pirate? Is that the guy with the big beard? Yeah! No, I never heard it. He was one of the most feared smugglers of his day. People knew his name on every island from here to the land of, uh, islands. Tom, what are you... One stormy day, Big Beard was cursed by an old sea witch. <laughs> Knowing that his pirate days were over, he buried his treasure where no one would find it. Right here. Wow. Under this very garage. Treasure under the garage? Someone get a shovel! I wouldn't do that if I were you. You see, Big Beard promised that if any other pirate touched his treasure, he would come back and haunt them as a pirate ghost. <laughs> but I'm not really a pirate. So, bros, shovel. Treasure? Let's do this. Ah, but because I hooked up a sea captain's wheel to my computer, he must think that anyone who touches it is a rival pirate. That's right. That's exactly what he thinks. Anyone who touches the computer is soon to be the victim of a spooky haunting. But I, I touched the wheel. And I did too, earlier when you weren't paying attention. <gasps> you did? Well, maybe Big Bear's pirate ghost didn't notice. There's only one thing to do. Destroy that computer! What? No, no. All you have to do is stay away from the computer, guys. Stay away from the computer and the ghost will leave you alone. That's it. How do you know that will be enough? Uh, hey, ghost, if what I said makes sense, give us a sign. <laughs> ah! We won't touch the computer! We Those two are so scared, I almost feel bad for making up the story. Do you want to go to the Thumb Drive Festival or what? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? I don't know. It seems like there must have been an easier way to keep them from touching your computer. Was there, though? Mm, I don't think so. Well, now that I think about it, maybe not. The important thing is, we're all able to go out like we wanted. No harm done. So there's a pirate ghost in the garage, and there's really only one way to deal with a pirate ghost. State-of-the-art ghost hunting technology! I have all the gear we need to find a ghost because I asked my parents for it for my birthday and they just want to give me stuff so I'll be quiet. Get ready to meet your worst nightmare, ghost! That's what Jack Sauna says on Ghost Poachers International. <laughs> Ginger, what does the ghost sonar say? It says there's something this way. It must be Big Beard. Okay, but be on the lookout. Whenever Jack Sauna thinks the ghost is in front of him, something happens right behind. Big Beard, be gone ye from this cursed home. Uh, do we get him? Uh, I don't think so. Huh. 
Well, the pirate ghost got away. Just like a real pirate getting away from the sea police. <laughs> Wow, we made it. Our big night out. <laughs> and for a while there, it looked like it wasn't going to happen. What big night out? We've been to the movies before. Yeah, but never just the two of us. I mean, there's no one else but us, so it's basically like a date. Oops. <sighs> <Huh>? <sighs> Cold in here, huh? <laughs> Popped corn? Nah, I I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Move over, armrest hog. <laughs> no way. My arm was here first. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fine, it's a tie. <sighs> Big night out. Okay, I set up a plate of lemons right under the ghost trap. When the pirate ghost tries to eat them so he doesn't get scurvy, we'll get him! It's a perfect plan. No ghost is gonna outsmart us! <laughs> ah! Beard! We're sorry we touched Ben's computer, but we're not really pirates, okay? You get it, right? Ben, that was the best night out ever. You're telling me. I slept like a baby. What? I thought you were going to the thumb drive meet and greet. Oh, I did. Somebody there was showing off a pillow that plugs into your computer. It reads you your work emails while you lie on it. <sighs> so relaxing. Okay, well, in other news, Angela and I shared an armrest for like 15 minutes. Nice. Yeah, so worth lying to Ginger and Hank about a ghost. Lying to those two was a really good idea, Tom. And the best part is, there aren't going to be any bad consequences. What in the garage is going on in here? It's Big Beard, Tom. He has us on the ropes. We tried to destroy him, but all we did was make him mad. You destroyed my computer! I know, that's what really set him off. It's not our fault. You left us alone with an angry pirate ghost. There is no ghost! Ben, you're like one of the two people who told us about the ghost. It's true, Hank. There's no ghost. Ben and I made up the story so you would stay away from his computer while we were gone. But if there's no ghost, then why did the light bulb pop and the vase break and the kayak fall? Well, I shot the light bulb with a slingshot and Ben nudged over the vase. Right, Ben? Leave me alone. And I knocked the kayak off the wall last week and didn't put it up securely, so it falls off about five times a day now. <gasps> Tom, I am so relieved. It was all a hoax, just like on Ghost Poachers International. Yeah, I'm just glad it wasn't a real ghost. Yeah, because that writing you guys did on the bathroom mirror was so scary. Huh? huh? The writing on the who what? Pleased to haunt you. Uh, I didn't write that. I didn't write that either. Guys. <laughs> the law of the sea shall reign. Oh, man, this is the most exciting game of home improvers ever. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, what? Uh, you should take your turn. Actually, you should have taken your turn 20 minutes ago. Seriously, Hank, either pick a card or drop a nail in the bucket. Uh, yes! I get to put a roof on my gazebo! Now, do I go oxidized copper or straw? Hmm, what will I do? Will you go already? Fire! It's coming! Hey! Watch the gazebo, gazebro! <laughs> Since when do you play tennis? Too much energy, so they signed me up for the eight and under championship. Where's my ball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, not cool. Ginger, you destroyed Tom's above ground pool. Sorry, not sorry. Oh no, looks like I'm out. But tell you what, I'll go play tennis with Ginger so you guys can just finish this game without any more interruptions, okay? No, -uh 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 -uh. I insist. <laughs> Darn it! This game cheats! 
Whoa, take it easy, Ginger. I can't take it easy. I want to win the 800 tournament. Ginger, do you know why I always win at everything I do? Because you cheat? Yes, because I... What? No, no. It's because I always make sure, no matter what, to take a moment to smile and enjoy myself. <laughs> Out of here! <laughs> huh? Oh, wow. Hey, someone want to tell me what's going on here? Uh, I am helping Ginger prep for a tennis tournament. Ha! <laughs> huh. Wrong! What you're doing is called goofing around. Well, we're just having fun. Fun? Youth tennis tournaments aren't about having fun, Tom. I learned that the hard way. Who are you looking at? Shh, flashback. What's a flashback? Shh. Top 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 for the eight and under final, y'all. Angela. Woohoo! Let's hear it for tennis. Versus Tatiana. <sighs> this should be all that and a bag of chips. And no matter what happens, you can't say Angela didn't have fun. Hey everyone, guess what? I thought of a tennis song. Mwah! Over the hey. net, yeah. into the square. Match Tatiana, everyone! But wait! I was still doing my song, you guys! Congratulations, Tatiana! Instead of a trophy, we got you a magical Pegasus pony! <laughs> Fly with me, Tatiana. You shall be our queen. Oh, by the way, he talks! Talking unicorn? <laughs> Tatiana grew up to become queen of the enchanted land of ponies. All because I wasn't focused on winning. Oh, come on. None of that happened. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this? Ooh. Ever since that day I lost, not one thing has gone right for me. <laughs> oh, Ginger. Aloha. Oh, Darren. You're practicing for the eight and unders? <laughs> I don't even know why you bother. Everyone knows I'm going to win. Get out of here, Darren! Oh, I'll go. I'll go back to my castle mansion that has 50 tennis courts. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Ginger, you have got to beat that brat. When I... No, he doesn't. Uh, yes, Darren's obnoxious, but who cares if Ginger beats him? He's playing in an eight and under tennis tournament. All that matters is that he has fun. But no! Fun ever got anyone anywhere! Oh, yeah? Why do you think I always come up with incredible inventions? Why do you think everyone loves me? Why do you think people see me and say, Man, I wish I was that guy? Because I always have fun. F-U-N. Fun. <gasps> Ginger? I am going to coach you. It's gonna be hard, and it's gonna hurt, and you are going to wish you never picked up a tennis racket, but it will all be worth it in the end when you win. Well, I'm also going to coach you, and I'm gonna make sure Angela's issues don't stand in the way of you enjoying yourself. Mm. Does anyone care what I think? No. Nope. One, two, three. Oh, come on! It's been two hours! Just make your move! Hold on, Ben. Don't rush me. I'm still deciding. Should I varnish the deck or repaint the porch? What's the difference between a porch and a deck, anyway? I think a porch is the one that has... Just do something! <laughs> Tom, you know what? You couldn't be more wrong, okay? Yes, I could. If I was you... Where have you guys been? Hank still hasn't taken his turn! Make him take his turn! 
Focus, Hank. Competition is important. You owe it to yourself to do everything possible to win. Hmm. Don't listen to her, buddy. Do whatever you want. Just smile and enjoy the playing of the game. Focus. Enjoy the game. Whatever. Just go already. Oh, so you think Hank should just waltz through the game, never trying, never caring. <laughs> and you think Hank should be so focused on winning at all costs that he can't appreciate a single second of his favorite home renovation themed board game? <sighs> yep. And he's gonna win! Maybe he will, maybe he won't, but while he's playing, he's gonna be having a good time. You know, Ginger, what they're saying could probably apply to your tennis tournament, too. What? You! Take! Your! Turn! Just go! Hold on. This is the last move of the game. Go. The one that's gonna finally ah. end it. And that oh, move yeah. is... This! No, wait. Ah. Fit, no. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yet, yeah, no. I didn't take my hand off the piece. As long as you don't take your hand off it. Oh, that's it! I quit! You can't quit? Wiggity welcome to the U Tennis Final! It's Ginger versus Darren! Aloha! Listen up, listen up, listen up! There are two things that I know for sure. Number one, eight and under tennis is cool. Number two, MCing eight and under tennis tournaments for 12 years isn't depressing at all! Ginger! Now remember, don't worry about the outcome. Just smile and have a good time. Right. What? No. Ignore him, Ginger. No mercy. OK. Hey, Ginger, is Angela really your coach? <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> Oh, everyone knows she lost this tournament when she was a child. If she's your coach, you might as well forfeit. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth, kid. All right, Angela's a great coach. She's sweet, she's talented, she's the single most caring person I've ever met, and she's got amazing eyes. Aww. I, 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 uh, great eye sight. What I'm saying is, uh, Angela only wants what's best for, uh, for Ginger here. Huh? Right? No, Tom. I've been completely selfish. I've been trying to live through Ginger, and that's not fair to him or to me. You know what, Ginger? Have fun. You're a loser. Your coach is a loser, and that guy who's secretly in love with your coach is a loser. What? What the what now? Oh, forget what I told you before. You gotta beat this kid. <laughs> Forty love. <laughs> Game, set, match, Darren! No! Ha, in your face, Ginger. <laughs> I'm Darren. I'm unstoppable. I'm the best at tennis. Hey, buddy. At least you had fun. That did <laughs> not look like it was fun for Ginger. Good game, Darren! <laughs> hey, you know what? You made it to the finals. Yeah, seriously. That is a huge accomplishment. I mean, who cares about some stupid tennis prize? I do. Congratulations, Darren! Instead of a trophy, we got you a ticket to the International Space Station! Sweet! The International Space Station? Are you serious? International Space Station? What's so fun about that? Hey, just for you, we filled the space station with candy, fireworks, and water slides in zero gravity. Oh, that sounds amazing! Look out, Space Station! Here comes Darren! Let's hack him game! Okay, I've made my decision. Yes! And I'm going crowd molding for the win! Ah! Huh. Guess we'll have to start over. What? Angela, you should have seen me at the paper airplane throwing contest. My throw was perfect. My release, just right. Wow, so you won then? Woohoo! Well, I got eighth place. Still top ten, though. Oh, okay. There was a horrible headwind, but I will not bore you with the details. <gasps> is that uh, what I think it is? Falls <laughs> over! Ow, you almost squashed me! Quick, give me the remote! My powers, they're gone. Ah, he's back! That's right, ladies. I'm back. <sighs> Who's back? <gasps> Oh, that's great. Nobody talks! Ah, do a triple spin double bicep flex! <gasps> that triple spin double bicep flex was for you. Thank you. Huh? Uh. 
Max Thunder and his crew have gone way too far this time. This dance park belongs to us. Dance battle! Dance battle! Dance battle! Let's dance battle for this park. <sighs> Tanner Von Quads is back. Get down to the uprising. Coming soon to a theater near you. So sick. Oh, so near you. Finally, finally, finally. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Get Down 2, The Uprising, for like two years. You can tell that the plot is the exact same as the first Get Down movie, right? Uh, not true. In the first one, they were trying to save a dance park, but in this one, they have to let the dance park save them. Totally different. Some guy named Ruby is calling you. Who's Ruby? Ruby's my friend, and she's not a guy. I have friends who are girls, you know. Hello? Hey, it's me, Ruby. I know. Did you see it? The trailer? Yeah, the trailer. I mean, it was amazing. Unbelievable. Isn't Tanner Von Quads totally perfect? Ah, oh, like unbelievably, perfectly perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's stalk him. <gasps> I'm already on it. <sighs> I'm in love. It appears you have an expression of sadness on your face. How am I supposed to compete with Tanner Von Quads? Oh, that? Tom, relax. He's not even real. It's just a movie. Just a movie? Angel, I mean, girls love him. No one calls their friends when I walk into a room. Why don't you try to be the perfect guy? Just like Tanner. Thanks, Ginger. I wish there was a way to do that, but there isn't. Haven't you ever heard of Ideal Guy Headquarters? Ideal Guy Headquarters. It's an exclusive website with all the stuff you need to know to become a perfect guy. Ooh, did you hear that? Maybe there's someone that you ought to impress. All the answers to your problems are right here in my hand. This website could make me the perfect guy? Tom, the only things that are perfect are numbers, and you don't look like a 6, a 28, a 496, or any other perfect number to me. Ben, I don't know what girls are looking for, but I'm pretty sure it's not whatever math thing you just said. Ah! The right sunglasses for any time of day. There are different kinds of glasses for different times of days? I didn't know this. 10 new push-ups you've never seen before. You know, sometimes I feel like they don't want us to know about all the push-ups. How to do everything better and faster. Okay, this is awesome. Pretty soon, Angela is gonna love you even more than she loves that tatter guy. What? Angela? Th that, that is not why I'm gonna read this. Tom, we know that's why you're- uh, no, uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 that's not why. Hey, man. Oh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Welcome to Ideal Guy Headquarters. Click here to order your Perfect Guy Starter Kit. Begin your new life as an irresistible dude. Oh, you're gonna be way cooler than that tatter guy. <laughs> I will be cooler than Tanner. And my starter kit will be here tomorrow. Mm. Ah! I mean, it's here. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Spray. Ah. <coughs> what do you think? Is it working? <coughs> Tom, you put on a scarf, a bracelet, and cologne. How could that possibly change how people react to you? How about now, huh? Whoa. What is that smell? <laughs> it's so handsome. <laughs> hey, cool glasses. <laughs> I know. Well, Angela, you may be interested to know that it just so happens that... <gasps> ah! No way! Ruby just got us <clears throat> tickets to the premiere of Get Down to the Uprising! Ooh la la! Premiere is French for you get to see the movie before anyone else. I know because I used to live in French. You should sit in the front row 
so the movie hits your eyes first. Yes, Tanner Von Quads will be right in front of us on the big screen. Well, right, yeah, but it's not like he'll actually be there. Whereas right now, in front of you, there is a guy who... What? Tanner will be uh. there? And he's signing autographs! Oh, come on. I mean, totally cool. Totally cool. <sighs> the starter kit was a good start, but it's not enough. I'll have to get another kit or do something. Or else you think you'll lose Agile up forever. No, that is not what I said. This is not why I'm doing this. <laughs> Hank, log on to Ideal Guy headquarters. It's time to get perfecter. The perfect guy works out every day. Ed drinks giant protein shakes when he's done. He should never, ever be without his signature shades. A perfect guy is like a shapeshifter. When necessary, he can assume the perfect body. Totally. And of course, every perfect guy has an arsenal of dance moves, ready for use at any moment. So hot. You guys want anything else? Or what? I mean, is there anything else I could get you? I mean, anything else at all? Everything's perfect. Rhonda. <laughs> Gee, Tace. I mean, I don't usually say things like this, but, um, you smell real good. I smell ideal. <laughs> you know what? Desserts on me today. Did you see that? Free dessert! I mean, if this works on Rhonda, this will work on anyone. Definitely. I'll be at that premiere tomorrow, and I'll show Tanner Von Quads that he is no longer the most perfect guy around. I am. I see him! Oh, me too, me too. He is glowing with handsomeness. I think we just made eye contact! Are you guys, like, in love now? Yeah, I think so! Is that... Tom? Do you know that guy? TVQ! What's up, man? You might not know me, but... I know you. Oh, hey, man. Nice shape. TVQ. Stay beautiful. I'll do the same. Hey, man. You've been the most perfect guy around for a long time. But I have news for you. There's a new ladies' man in town. And you are looking at him because he's talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about me. But I'm talking to you. Listen, I'm just doing my thing, man. Oh, yeah? Well, now... I'm doing my thing. Hank, the music. Where's the music? Hank. TVQ 5000? Tanner Von Quads was a robot? Whoa, plot twist. I'm confused and heartbroken. I'm just confused. He's broken. Broken forever. Robos. Hey, that's the guy that broke Tanner Von Quads. Get him! I didn't know. You'll be chased by an angry mob. The perfect guy always uses a helmet. Thanks. You sure were fast, but those girls were faster. Then they caught you and started punching you and kicking you. Anyway, you were there. <laughs> Sounds like you are perfect out there. Well, I'm sorry I ruined your night and broke someone that you loved very much. Tom, I didn't really love Tanner Von Quads. I love the characters he played in his movies. The handsome, chiseled, manly, and... <laughs> 
At least now we know that no real person could actually be as perfect as Tanner Von Quads. I wish I knew that before I bought all these sunglasses. Why don't you donate them to this charity for economically challenged cool guys? Charity is good. And Tom, I do think you're perfect. <sighs> the most perfect friend in the world. <sighs> Side hug, come here, buddy. <clears throat> I need to ask you guys a favor. Yeah, sure, anything, Tom. <laughs> you haven't heard the favor yet. You're right. Forget it. This is Willie. Every year when we were kids, he was my roommate at summer camp. Don't worry, Tom. We'll find him. No, he's not missing. He's just coming to visit. Ah, uh, Tom, he looks like a nerd. He is. Remember that story about the kid who thought he was stuck in quicksand, but it turned out to just be regular sand? Willie. I'm sure he's not that bad. He snores when he's awake. Ugh. It's hard to believe you were friends with such a nerd. What? So what's the big favor you need us to do? Oh, Willie's in town for some event and he asked if he could come by and I'm too busy finishing my secret invention. Oh, <gasps> your secret catapult. Right, my secret catapult. So I just want you all to help me make sure that he feels welcome while he's here. <laughs> My old friend! Willie? Willie's dead, T-Bone. No. Now I'm called Will Z. I don't get it. Last time I saw you, you had your shoelaces tangled in your braces. That was a long time ago, Brother Leahy Who. Now, I've unlocked my inner champion, and I compete in the Extreme Sports Tour Series. <gasps> the Easy Geezy? No way! You know that tour is cool because it has multiple Z's in its name. Can you get us tickets? Here, take some ZIP passes. This is the best day of my life! Uh, Tom, I don't understand. You said Willsey wasn't cool. But with that backwards hat, it's like he doesn't even care if his eyes are properly shielded from the sun. It's so cool. Can you do a 360 Ollie Stalefish over the garage? I don't know. The last time I tried, I wiped out and almost broke a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, uh-huh. Skateboard tricks are cool. But I've got something even cooler. A secret invention. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm not saying that it's a giant catapult that could shoot a giant boulder into the sun, but I'm also not not saying it, if you catch my drift. Whoa, a catapult? Sounds pretty rattle-pult. Well, I hope you're all hungry, because it's almost launch time. Get it? I was making a joke off the words launch and lunch. It's a pun. You know, I'll just get the catapult set up. <clears throat> So, meet me outside in like five? Sounds like a plan, bro. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> wow, okay, this is complicated. Here we go. <laughs> Ow, not Ratapult. <sighs> hey, what is going on? Where is everybody? We're losing daylight here, and the sun is still unattacked. Whoa, chillax, T-Bone. Make like the owner of an above-ground swimming pool and cool off. Yeah, T-Bone, chillax. We're trying to watch Will Z's guest appearance on Tommy Top Rock and the Hip Hop Squad. He plays Tommy Top Rock outstanding. I don't like you, Officer Stickler, but darn it, I love hmm. those kids. I'm gonna put on my safety helmet. Get All right, let's go rest. outside. Tom, we'll be out when this is over. You just went from online to oh. online. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Will Z. His hat, it thrills me. Down the highest hills, he skates on his board. What, what? Angela. Oh, hey, T-Bone. What up? You're supposed to be outside watching my extreme catapult. It's going to be awesome and extreme. Yeah, that's cool, Tom. I'm almost done here. OK, let's see. Ooh. Will Z is awesome and extreme. And he smells like peach ice cream. Smells like peach ice cream? Well, I got the wheels off. Whoa! Ben, don't you want to see my catapult? 
What are you doing to Willie's skateboard? I was looking at Willie, wondering if he could possibly be cooler. At first I thought, no. But then I thought, hoverboard. Hoverboard? I bet you wish you had a hoverboard. Of course I do, everybody does. Tom thought he was cooler than Willie, but Willie's cooler than Tom. <laughs> okay, everyone, enough's enough. It's time to focus. On me. Outside, right now, I've got an extreme catapult and an extreme giant boulder that I'm going to launch into the sun, which is so extreme that even Will Z can't top it. Well, actually, maybe he can. You're a hoverboard! Give it a try! Wow, thanks, Ben. I'm not sure if I can ride this thing, but... This is ridiculous! Will Z isn't as cool as you think he is. He's faking it! He is too as cool as I think he is! Oh yeah? Well guess what Mr. Cool Guy did every single night at camp? Wet the bed! Yeah, what do you think about that? Huh? Let's see a hoverboard out of that one. It was... the soda. Whoa, not cool, Tom. Yeah, not cool at all, bro. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Hey, who wants to see Will Z hoverboard over the roof? A blindfolded? Yeah! Whoa, Whee! yeah! Bring it in, y'all. Roll call. Sangela! Feed dogs! Staggy H is in the house. Don't forget Lil Ginge! Wait, what are you doing? Will Z taught us how to walk. Like, I thought I knew how to walk, but I didn't know how to walk like this. Pretty extreme, huh? Man, ever since Will Z got here, it's like he's the cool one and I'm the slightly less cool but still way cooler than everyone else one. Ah, maybe I've been trying too hard. Or maybe I haven't been trying hard enough. That's it! I'm gonna win the gang back by showing them I'm the most extreme dude ever! And that's how you do a 7200. See you in about a million clicks, YouTube. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, wow. 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 I love you, Will Z! Attention! You're about to witness the most extreme stunt ever attempted by anyone you know, including your new friend, Will Z. Tom, get down from there before that thing launches. I, Talking Tom, am about to launch myself into the sun. Not the moon, not a cloud, but the center of the universe, the sun! Do it, Tom! <laughs> we don't even do that on the series. It's too dangerous. You're just saying that because you don't want me to show everyone I'm cooler than you. Well, guess what? I am. And guess what again? I will. <laughs> cool. What happened? Am I on the sun? No. You had a seriously sketchy wipeout, Brahmin Noodle. I got it all right here, but you're probably not gonna want to see it. It's pretty gross. What were you thinking, Tom? I wasn't thinking. I've been acting like such a jerk. I guess seeing how much my friends looked up to you made me feel, I don't know. Jealous? No, filled with rage. Anyway, I, I feel real awful about telling everyone you did that thing. Wet the bed, Tom. How could I ever be mad at you? You were so cool back at camp that you inspired me to stop drinking soda pick up a skateboard and transform myself into the awesome and modest dude I am now. Wow, really? That's Tom for you. He shaved me to be more cool too. I really value his friendship too. Well, time for me to head over to the Easy Teasy competition. Aw, but you'll come back here after, right? No can do, Stanky H. The Easy Teasy tour waits for no man. So, where off to next? Who knows, B-Dog? Probably some lame city filled with palm trees, screaming fans, and beautiful girls. Was that a boat horn? No, it's just the Easy Teasy Street Yacht. Of course it was. Oh, a street yacht? Whoa, the most extreme form of transportation in history. Yeah, it is. Hot potato. Onion rings. Extra cheese. Butterfly. Razzmatazz. Pork chow. Up the stairs, down the stairs. Later, T-Bone. Thanks for everything. Yeah, don't mention it, you... Oh, 
Well, I guess this whole thing kind of taught me a lesson about being myself. And all it took was a visit from an old friend. And a fairly serious concussion. What are you talking about? Why would you want to be yourself? I want to be Will Z! Hey, me too. Actually, so do I. <laughs> guess we'll just have to start wetting the bed, right? <laughs> Would that work? Hey, we'll just have to try, right? Way ahead of you guys. Oh, oh, you guys were joking? <laughs> yeah, me, me, me too. <laughs> Jokes. That's our top, cool as ever. <laughs> Friday afternoon. Three young friends in the prime of their lives. One clings to the paper pages of the past. One embraces the technology of the future. And the most handsome one of all narrates the groundbreaking series, Talking Tom and Friends. Oh, Hank, enough. What are you doing? I was thinking we could use a narrator to make our lives mm. seem more exciting, especially since it's already Friday and we haven't had any wacky adventures yet. <sighs> yeah, it is weird we don't have any plans for the weekend. No competitions, no deadlines, no last minute problems that need to be solved, nothing. This is the time where somebody usually bursts in with a crisis. Right about? Now! Oh, you guys! You guys! You guys! Is it time for an adventure? Or do you have a crisis? What? Oh, no, no, no. I was just seeing how fast I could run over here. Oh. I'm so bored. What are you guys up to? <sighs> Absolutely nothing. <sighs> I guess nothing exciting is going to happen this week after all. Unless this was all just a setup to an actual crisis that's going to happen right about now. Now. Now? Guys, I have a crisis. Woo! Cue huh? the theme song. Ah! Whoa. I just booked my first show out of town this weekend, but I have a super important package being delivered this weekend. So I need you all to house it for me this weekend. Looks like we found our adventure. I'm sorry it's so last minute, but I just got this call and I have a very important package coming. Tell us more about this very important package and whether or not it contains candy. <gasps> hey! No problem, we're happy to help. I'd do anything for you, Angela. Uh, we'd do anything for you. <laughs> Smooth, real smooth. This is so exciting. A brand new adventure in a brand new setting. Please don't do anything weird at my apartment. And whatever you do, do not open the package. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. So, where's your concert? I mean, maybe if they do comedy shows there too, you could give the manager my card. Ben, the comedian, voted number one comedian in a world. <laughs> Don't you mean number one comedian in the world? No, because that would imply that I mean Earth. Did you hold a vote for best comedian on a planet that wasn't Earth just so you could say that? Mm, maybe yes. What planet? Saturn. And just how many people voted? Just one. Now look, we're getting off topic. We have to hurry up and get to Angela's place. Oh, yeah, he's right. I have to get going. Thanks again, you guys. Oh, and please don't destroy my apartment. Oh, and don't huh? go through my stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and lastly, do not open that package. Okay, bye. So which one of those things you guys want to do first? She may not have said it, but this is a test. She's trusting me to look after her apartment, which is where she lives. So, in a way, Angela is trusting me with her life this weekend. Me, in charge of a life. Later, the cool friends found themselves at Angela's apartment. You're narrating again, Hank. Oh, sorry, said Hank, apologizing. All we're here to do is patiently wait for Angela's package. So, let's lay down a few ground rules, shall we? Number one, don't touch anything. Number two, don't mess mm -hmm. with anything. Number three, don't interrupt yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, we get it! Huh? In the NHL oh, okay. Good idea. We'll just sit here and watch TV. That way nothing gets messed up and no one ruins their shot with Angela. Oh. Boring! Seen it! Hmm? Boring! Seen it! Oh, I haven't seen this one! I have! Oh, it's boring. Well, I give up! Somebody else try! I'm gonna find a snack! It's on, it's on, it's on! The season finale of Turtle Cops! We 
Interrupt the season finale of Turtle Cops, Cops Who Are Turtles, with breaking news. The Banana Berry Bandit has struck again. <gasps> the Banana Berry Bandit? Who's that? If huh? you're wondering out loud, who's that? The Banana Berry Bandit is the most infamous thief that this town has ever seen. Today's victim, the Shop and Sneer, downtown's most exclusive health food store. Once again, the bandit made off with every piece of fruit they had. Hold on, Ginger. The Banana Berry Bandit could be anyone. What? It could be your friend. Or your girlfriend. Or the friend you wish was your girlfriend if you just man up and ask her out already. Uh... Guys, I really think you need to... Ginger, I said hold on. If you see anything, please call the police immediately. The Banana Berry Bandit uh -huh. is planting her seeds of crime. And she won't stop until this town becomes her own personal greenhouse of terror. Now back to the season finale of Turtle Cops. Cops who are turtles. Guys! What is so important that you had to... What? I gasped. Okay, let's not jump to conclusions. For all we know, <laughs> this could just be one big coincidence. You're absolutely right, Tom. I'm sure this isn't what it looks like. Oh, who are we kidding, Ben? Angela's the banana berry bandit, we all know it. Well, at least we're not jumping to conclusions. All we had to do was sit here and wait for a package, but now, <gasps> oh no. Do you realize what this means? If Angela really is a bandit and we're helping her, it means we're guilty too. Ah! Ah! Everyone calm down. Let's just be rational about this. And then Ben said, let's just be rational about this. Hank, what are you doing? I'm working on my confession for when we all get arrested. No one is getting arrested. I can't huh? go to jail. I'm not even old enough to understand the social contract. No one is going to jail. Not you, not you, not you, not me, nobody. Ben's right. Now maybe if we just look around a little bit, we'll find an explanation for all of this and we can clear our names. Let's get to the bottom of this. running from anything. Our Angela is our friend. We cannot just hand her over to the police. Tom, I know I was skeptical before, but look at all this stuff. A kitchen full of fruit, a list of the stores that have been robbed, bizarrely incriminating t-shirts, it's all here! Morocco! Look, even if she is guilty, we have to help her. And how are we supposed to do that? Hmm? Oh, Morocco! Who could that be? All right, open up. I know you're in there. Federal agent! Of the uh, what are we gonna do? Hank gas terrified. Destroy the evidence. We can't let them win. We can't let them win. Did someone say let yourself in? Maybe I should just go. He said too much. Get him! That's a federal offense. Touch of mail. My friends are there for me. Shred faster, look, the sooner we can destroy all the evidence, the sooner we can... Oh, Angela, hi! Uh, uh, what is going on here? Um... Oh. Morocco? What are you doing? Why are you destroying all my stuff? Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are in trouble? Don't listen to him, Angela. He's here to arrest you. He's a federal agent. Of the Postal Service. Arrest me? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? It's okay, Angela. We know what happened. We're just trying to help you. Huh? It's me, Tom, your friend. And I'm the bad cop. Angela, we... I can call you Angela, right? Sure. Angela, we found a lot of incriminating evidence around here. Fruit, t-shirts, a list of stores you robbed. Wait, you went through my things? We investigated your things, Angela. Or should I say, Banana Berry Badgela? We found all your stolen property. I didn't steal anything. All of this stuff is mine. Oh, this is so sad, Tom. She thinks just because she steals something, that makes it hers. That's not how the world works, Angela. Um, you can't just steal whatever you want and get away with it. 
What are you, huh? a bank? Everybody calm down. No one here is a bank. Angela, look, we're just trying to get you out of this, right? Help us help you. I can't believe you'd actually think I was a criminal. You should know me better than that, Tom. You want to know what all this huh? is about, do ya? Huh? Well, I'll show you. I've been designing my own line of custom smoothie makers. This is the prototype. That's why I have so much fruit around here. What about this list? Those are all the places I've been shopping for my ingredients. Well, what about these shirts? Those are the shirts I had made with my slogan on them. See? Steal yourself a sip. Catchy, huh? Well, what about all that on the TV? <laughs> it's just in. The banana berry bandit has been caught. Sources say the suspect is a woman named Arugula, a vegan who lost her marbles due to a protein deficiency. You can huh. now stop accusing your friends, your girlfriends, and the friends you <gasps> wish were your girlfriends. Todd, what? Oh, wow. You guys really screwed this one up. Let me be the first to say that we are very, 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 very sorry. It was Let's start brainstorming what we can do to fix things. Fix things? How are you gonna fix things? You ruined my apartment, you destroyed my stuff, and worst of all, you slowed down the mail. Of the postal service. It'll be fine, Angela. You know how this show works. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a week or so, said Hank, concluding yet another classic episode of Talking Tom and Friends. See you next week. Screwdriver. Hey, Ben, when will the jetpack be done? Hey, Tom, when will the jetpack be done? Hand slap. Ow! It'll be done when it's done. And bothering us isn't going to make it go any faster. Ben, Tom will give me a straight answer on this. Is the jetpack done? It looks done. Are you sure it's not done? No. I mean, yes. <gasps> it's not done. Okay, but since I'm helping, I get to be the first to fly it. Uh, no, you don't. But you promised. No, I didn't. Ah, give me that. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, pull Hey, look at that. Now you're helping. Huh? <laughs> Ginger. Ginger! <laughs> Ow! Oh! was ready, we wouldn't still be working on it, would we? What? Oh, no, I wasn't asking if the jetpack is ready. I was singing the first line of my new song. I'm in a jetpack to love. You guys are working on a jetpack, too? Ha, huh, that's a funny coincidence. Wow, what happened? He happened! I was just trying to help. We haven't finished the jetpack because Ginger keeps getting into everything. Oh, come on. You can't expect Ginger to not get distracted by something as fun as a jetpack. He's just the kid. Yeah, I'm just a kid. Look, Tom and Ben need to work without any more distractions. But do you want to help me write my new jetpack song? Oh, is it about me writing a jetpack? No, it's a metaphor for love. Love? Ugh. What are you doing? Please tell me it's something fun. Shh, Ginger, I'm watching my new favorite show, Kid Ninja. What's it about? Ninjas. I'm listening. Ha <laughs> I brought Thor to take me the arcade and the fireworks stand. Now I'll hop on this stolen motorcycle and drive Not away. Not so fast, Sergio no! Paddington. It's Kid Ninja. Yeah. The main character is Kid Ninja. He's kind of like, I guess you could say, a Kid Ninja. Ha! My ninja skills have defeated you. How do you do it, ninja? Hank, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I want to be a ninja and get whatever I want. Actually, Ginger, there is much more to being a ninja than getting whatever you want. Trust me. Why did you just wink and smile? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. It's like you're trying to say something without really saying it. 
Hank, are you a ninja? Maybe this will answer your question. Becoming a ninja wasn't easy. I had to join the Kid Ninja fan club, download the Kid Ninja training book, and buy this, the official headband. Teach me to be a ninja, come on, please, 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 I'll do whatever it takes. Mmm, very well. I will show you the way of the ninja, if you abide by three rules. One, you must do everything I say. Two, you must only use your ninja powers for good. Now go. Okay, but that was only two rules. And that is your first lesson. I don't get it. I thought being a ninja was all about jumping and doing a cool ninja yell. Don't worry, we'll get there. But first, you must learn to clear your mind so that the ninja stuff can flow in while this flows out. <laughs> What's the big idea? I told you, Fire Ant, to learn the awesome backflips of the ninja, you must have a mind that is clear. So you did that on purpose because you wanted me to not laugh. Ah, you are beginning to understand. <laughs> the ninja must be able to do impossible things with his eyes covered. The ninja must be an expert in all manner of sneakiness. The ninja must have a mind that is free of all... Mm, distractions. A bad thing my butt did. Angela, are you sure you want to do this? Tom, I am writing a song about a jetpack. If I don't have actual jetpack experience, how will I know if my song makes any sense at all? Now let's do this! Counting down in three, two, uh, okay, she's just going. Jetpack, your love makes me fly like a jetpack, baby! Ah! Oh! oh boy, that looks painful. Ah, ah, someone get me down! Ginger, you saved me. But the jetpack is still up there. <laughs> Excellent work, my nimble cricket. Arigato, Sensei! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Why isn't Ginger trying to steal the jetpack and ride it? Because Hank has taught me the way of the ninja. Sha. Uh, wow. Okay, then. Okay, everybody, it's time to finally fly this thing. If this works, we'll be one step closer to putting a jetpack in every home. Think about it. No more traffic jams or elevators or elevator jams. Hey, everybody, it's me, your boy, Talking Tom, welcoming you to the live broadcast of our very first jetpack test flight. Look at you. Before your training, you'd be trying to steal that thing. Now you possess true ninja cool. Yes, teacher, my ninja is strong. Hey, Ben, why don't you tell our viewers at home the maxular velocity of this baby, huh? Approximately 150 miles per hour. What? That's right. Uh, that is, unless you're about the size of our pal Ginger over there, in which case you could probably kick it up to about an even 200. <gasps> Remember, young one, ninja cool. Yes, being a ninja is about more than getting what I want. <gasps> oh, one more thing. Racing stripe. <laughs> cool fins. Racing stripe. So sweet. Now, normally, I'd be the first person to ride the pack, but I'd like to make an exception. Mm -hmm. There's someone here who deserves this ride more than I do. Mm -hmm. Someone who's proven that they're worthy of this great honor. Yes! I'm gonna get to ride the jetpack after all. This is the best, most awesome day ever! Uh, I mean, I will flow wherever the river of life takes me. Okay, now this person really, really wants to go up in this thing. I'm talking about the one, the only, Angela, who bravely helped us do a test run earlier. So I guess this will be your second flight in the jetpack. I mean, if you think about it. That's right, Tom. <laughs> it will be. 
Ginger, be calm. Remember your training. Remember this. Ninja rule! You guys never let me do anything. Well, fine. If you're not going to let me ride the jetpack, I'll use my ninja powers to take it. Ginger, no. There is still time to do the right thing. Why should I? Everyone treats me like I'm a little kid. Well, I am. I'm Kid Ninja, the Ninja Kid. Listen to me, Doug Beetle. I cannot let you use your ninja powers for jetpack taking. <laughs> so, it has come to this. That's right. The teacher has become the student. Yes. I hate when that happens. Huh? Where's that music coming from? Oh, it's my new ninja ringtone. Oh, hold, if you can, hold on one sec. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm about to have a big ninja battle with Hank. Yes. Okay. I'll be home for dinner. I love you too. We know it works. But why are you filming me? Film the jetpack! Well, I guess we should have known that creating Ginger the Ninja was a bad idea. Oh well, in the words of Kid Ninja's karate teacher, when you have a lot of power, responsibility is also a thing that you have to think about sometimes once in a while. It's so true. But where did Ginger go? Should we be worried about him? Uh-oh. Ninja roll? Sayonara! He's <gasps> here! Free milkshake day. <laughs> it's free milkshake day! Huh? Everyone's going, right? Yeah. Put me down for one medium vanilla. No, wait, mint! No, wait, I'm getting them all! Ginger, free milkshake day isn't just about gorging yourself on free milkshakes. It's about friends celebrating the magical day each year when the diner cleans their freezers and gives away the ice cream they were going to dump in the garbage. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's just go! Ginger, free milkshake day doesn't start for about... Four hours, ten minutes, and two seconds. What? Well, until then, let's take out our curly straws and raise them in celebration. All for milkshakes and, and milkshake straws! <laughs> Ugh, my straw stinks. Didn't you clean it last year? Wait, you could clean a curly straw? <laughs> ah. I noticed your door was uh, owned by me, so I opened it and uh, came in. Ahem. Presenting the landlord! <laughs> and then I just scrap out your filthy wall, add the dramatic filter, and now a caption. Hashtag fixed it! Hashtag handyman saves the day! Hashtag muscle Monday! You just posed <laughs> in front of the sink holding a wrench. You didn't even fix anything. I know, right? But my thousands of Fastapic friends will think I did. Ha <laughs> ha! Ding 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 ding! I love that sound! It's like a tiny little high five. Only in a heart shape with a ding sound. Ooh, I found the landlord's Fastapic page! Uh, 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 uh. He only has 750 friends? <laughs> Loser. Hank, it says 750K. 
K. K means a thousand. Oh, 1,750 friends? Get better. No, 750K is 750,000 friends. Oh, okay, now that makes more sense. Check this out. Not only is he a handyman, a yoga expert, and a very snappy dresser, he also hmm. plays the banjo. He may be the coolest Ugh. person I've ever met. Cool. You think he's cool? <laughs> you want to see cool? Watch this. <laughs> yeah, very interesting, Tom. <sighs> Hank, admit it. I'm cooler than the big shot landlord, right? Tom, you better keep it down. Do you want to end up like this piece of wood? <laughs> you know why I don't have as many fast to pick friends as the landlord? Because I don't have a fast to pick account. But that's about to change. Cheese. Milkshake day. Limit one per customer. Some flavors may be spoiled. Not responsible for explosive diarrhea, parasites, or brain freeze. Yum. <gasps> oh, uh, not yet. Huh? Free milkshake day does not start until Tom gives his traditional opening speech. One little. Step. <coughs> no. What if Tom never shows up? Tom has never missed a free milkshake day in his entire <laughs> life. Then where is he? Huh. Uh, it seems he's on a snorkeling trip. <gasps> oh no, I didn't know Tom was on Fastapick. This is bad. Fastapick is dangerous. Like the treacherous sea. Hank, Tom is not at the sea. He's at home taking fake pictures. Wow, he already has 900k friends. Uh, what comes after 900k? A million. Correct. Although a simpler way to express one million is one times ten to the power of six. Ben, stop. Don't you guys get it? If Tom gets a million fast to pick friends, we may never see him again. I heard from a kid at school that it takes over your brain and it sucks it into the app. That is just a playground rumor. Oh, no. It is way more than a rumor. I gotta go. Hey, where are you going? Oh, so close. So close. Ginger. <gasps> Over here, in the Paleolithic era. Listen to me, Tom. You have to delete the Fastapic app now. Where are my floating hearts? Come on, where are my floating hearts? Refresh, refresh, refresh. Oh, okay, there they are. Ah, ah sweet sound. Tom, you are letting Fastapic take over your life. Oh, Angela, huh? I have a great idea for a shot. Do you have a kimono and a flamethrower? Well, yeah, it depends what color. Wait, no, no, never mind. Listen, Fastapic friends aren't real. Your real friends are waiting for you at the diner. You know who else is waiting for me? Cheese. My one millionth Fastapic friend. Tom, don't post that selfie. Hashtag doing it. No! <laughs> Welcome to Fastapic, Tom. What? What is this place? It's anything you want it to be. Uh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. wow. Oh, so many floating parts. <gasps> it's beautiful. Hashtag amazing. Uh, I can't reactivate my Fastapic account, but I have to. I, I don't know what else to do. Okay, here goes. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there, Tom. Hashtag real friends forever. Hey, Tom. Angela, wait, are you real? Hashtag confused. Uh, nothing here is real. That's why I'm taking you home. Well, look huh? who's back. Angela, let's celebrate with this sweet memory for Top Back Tuesday. <laughs> what? No. But look at all the faves. Your friends love it. Tom, you're my only friend here. Wow. Thanks, Angela. Hashtag thanks, Jilla. No, but uh, you... Ooh, hashtag hang on a second. Now we are fast to pick friends, too. Hashtag BFF. No, Tom, we were already friends. Real friends. Don't you know the difference? Sure I do. Oh, hey, look, there's my friend, Kayak Man 72 What? You don't know anything about that guy. 
<sighs> we have got to get you out of here. Why would I want to leave this place? Hashtag new home. Hashtag home is where the hearts are. Because it's keeping you away from Ben and Hank and Ginger and from me. Me, me, I mean milkshakes. Hashtag oh no. I forgot about free milkshake day. If we leave now, we can still make it. Don't <laughs> leave, Tom. You can have a hashtag milkshake right here. Oh, great idea. Right, okay. Go ahead. Taste this hashtag milkshake. It doesn't taste like anything. It's not a milkshake. Your real milkshake is waiting for you at the diner with your real friends. But if you're faster, Pix, it's really like how you look drinking that milkshake. And that's what's important, right, Tom? Well, with the milkshake, it kind of matters how it tastes. So, you know what? I, I'm just gonna go. How do we get out of here anyway? <laughs> Head out? Didn't you read the terms and conditions? It says once you have one million friends, you belong to Festipic forever! <laughs> Angela, what do we do? We have to drop below a million! Well, time to lose some friends. Hashtag how? We're gonna have to post some bad selfies, Tom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's not working! We're too likable! Um, be disgusting! Oh, complain a lot! Uh, hashtag, uh, oh no, clogged toilet! Hashtag, bring a plunger! Hashtag, brown water! Hashtag, go overflow! Hashtag, gross! Ew, hashtag too far! Tag, Angela, and post! <laughs> Angela, it worked! You saved me! Angela? Angela, wake up! Oh, no. Uh, milkshakes! <laughs> Come on! Ginger, not yet. Test hold step. Yes, I am so sorry I'm late. Ah, finally! Just do the opening speech so we can drink our milkshakes. You waited. Yes, and I regret it because now our milkshakes are warm, melted, and disgusting. Sounds good. Tom, just give the opening speech. Where do I start? There's so much I want to say. Oh, I can't take this. Just say anything and make it short. My friends, as we plunge our ceremonial bendy straws into our free milkshakes. All right, we're closing. Everyone out. Uh, well, 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 wait, can I finish my speech? No. Now get going, all of yous. No, but you can't. But you wasn't. We only... Uh, a milkshake day! <laughs> Is that the ice cream truck? Another Tom saves the day moment. Hashtag ice cream hero. Oh, undo, 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 undo! Guys, I'd say our first annual indoor fun day was a big success. It sure was. I'm glad the landlord sprayed all those chemicals on the lawn so we could go outside. Well, look at this. Angela even set up an arts and crafts table. I made friendship bracelets. See, the different threads represent, um, different colors of friendship. Angela, I don't ever exaggerate, but these are Mind-blowing. Oh, well, do you want one? Do I? Ha! I mean, uh, uh, you know, if, if you happen to have a, a next one, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Awesome! There. Now we have matching friendship bracelets so everyone will know we're friends. But remember, you can't remove it. You have to let the bracelet fall off on its own. What happens if I take it off? I think technically that means we wouldn't be friends anymore. Anyways, I've got to get home. Hey, do you think the lawn is safe yet? Hmm, maybe if you hold your breath? <gasps> okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> stop breathing, stop breathing! I'll never take you off. <laughs> oh, Ginger! Man, you weren't even trying to dodge me. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you missed me! 
Ginger, Whoa. slow down or I won't be able to catch you. That's the point. I'm the most excellent player of every indoor game there is. From indoor tag to indoor cat. <laughs> tag, you're it. No fair. I was giving a speech that doesn't count. Indoor Fun Day will now conclude with a traditional game of hide and seek. Though it's not exactly a tradition since it's the first indoor fun day, but I'll allow it. Gotta start somewhere, right? You guys are going down. Now, I've developed a completely fair method to decide who's it. All we need is a spoon, fishing line, a number of hooks. Last one to touch his nose is it! Yeah. Oh. Last one what? Tom's it! Everybody scatter! Hold on, I wasn't ready. Oh, all right. See ya! We'd want to be ya! Get <laughs> <laughs> out of here! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Albuquerque. Hmm. Ben, always hiding by your work. Ah, oh. huh, all right. If I was Hank, where would I be? Well, these cushions look suspicious. Hank, I'm on to you. Hmm. So no one's decided to hide in the most obvious places. Well, I like a challenge. All right, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh-oh. This is not good. Uh, guys, time out real quick, okay? I, I need some help here. Hey! I'm stuck! Oh, come on, Tom. I'm not gonna fall for the oldest trick in the book. I know this seems like the oldest trick in the book. But my arm is actually stuck in the couch. Do you really need help? Or when you said this wasn't a trick, was that a trick? No, it's not a trick. Okay, but what about a double trick? And it's not a double trick that I said it wasn't a trick. All right, I'm coming out to help, but this doesn't count as you finding me. Uh-oh. Did you say, uh-oh? I'm stuck in the bathroom. Just like the last time I was stuck in the bathroom. Remember that? Hey, can you come in and get me? No, Hank. I'm stuck too, remember? Ben! 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 Where are you? Ben! Ha, no. This is not perfect. Ben! Fine. Whoa. Hey, that was you. Good hiding. Yes. Fortunately, you rarely give things a closer look. Well, maybe not so fortunately because me and Hank are both stuck. Hank, where were you even planning on hiding in there? Not sure, but hide and seek makes me nervous. And when I'm nervous, I have to go. <sighs> this is really jammed. I don't know how you pull the doorknob off so easily. It's like I suddenly had super strength. Oh, stand back. I'm going to try something. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Some internal piece must have worn down. No worry, I'll just get a spare doorknob from Spare Doorknob Storage. Let's see, the polished elegance, hmm, the emerald turner. Oh, oh, there we go, a good old bathroom spare. Wait, don't let that door close. Uh-oh. Tom, why isn't there a handle on the inside of the storage room? I took it off. And why did you take it off? Because I trapped that thing in there that one time. What thing? Don't worry, it probably went away. Uh, but yeah, you can't open the storage from the inside. Why didn't you tell me that before I got locked inside here? Okay, well, nobody panic. Ginger's still hiding somewhere around here. He can help us. Ginger? Ginger? Ginger! 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 Sounds like Tom found everyone else, but they still can't find me. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So Ginger's not answering and struggling. <clears throat> Just gets the friendship bracelet more stuck. Maybe Hank is having more luck than I am. Tom, my head is stuck in the sink. <laughs> I mean, maybe Ben is having more luck than I am. I call this new invention the emergency door opener 5,000. Wait, 9,000, no, that's too much. 5,000 is better. Anyway, my troubles are about to be... <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh. You don't need to eat that pizza. You don't need to eat that pizza. <laughs> eat that pizza. 
pizza. Eat that pizza, eat that pizza, 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 eat that pizza! Whoa! Uh, Tom, what are you doing? Uh, just, uh, 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 cleaning the table. I mean, it sure was messy. <laughs> Tables. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get me started on that. Man, Angela, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. You went home a while ago, so how are you back here? Oh, <gasps> Angela, you're floating. <laughs> yeah, do you like it? Oh, the chemicals on the lawn turned you into a ghost. Or a superhero. Wait, are you a ghost or a superhero? Oh, neither, actually. I'm a hallucination. Your brain created me to deal with the loneliness of being stuck. So, you're not the real Angela? If I were the real Angela, would I say this? My favorite things in the world are Tom, 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 singing and dancing, and Tom. In that order. Wow. You are a really cool hallucination. So, you're really stuck, huh? What? It's a friendship bracelet. All right, it's caught on a spring. And I don't know what to do, because on one hand, I don't want to be stuck here forever, but if I cut it, that means we aren't friends anymore. But how good a friend are you if you can't even answer my calls? Or help Ben and Hank? Not a very good friend. A friendship bracelet is just a bunch of string. If it keeps you from helping friends who need you, then you should cut it. Uh, wait, how do you know I'm making the right decision, huh? I mean, you're just a hallucination. I know, but I'm your hallucination. Oh, Hallucinangela, come back. His name is Ginger. Like an invisible ninja. Okay, my brain made up that hallucination, and my brain has never led me astray before. Right brain? Right. Left brain? Wrong. Or maybe I don't need to rush things. Maybe if I just wait long enough, the friendship bracelet will just come off on its own. Huh? Tom, help! My head is caught in the sink! I can't turn the water off! Oh, Hank! Why did you even turn the water on? I was thirsty! Sorry, the sink is filling faster than I can drink the water! Tom, get me out of here so we can get Hank out of there! All right, guys, hang in there! I'm on my way. <sighs> Carry the ten to the twelfth power, and this proves that this is 100% Tom's fault. What did you just say? Never mind. Take this and go free Hank. Yeah, right. I'm here, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Ooh. What were you thinking? Can I explain later? This water is going right through me. Uh, you're welcome. <sighs> Tom, why didn't you answer your phone? I called, I texted, I even sent you an email. Hmm? Okay, that explains it. You took off my friendship bracelet. Angela, I had to. We were playing hide and seek and the bracelet uh, it, it got uh, stuck on a spring in the couch. Then Hank got trapped in the bathroom. And I got trapped in the storage room. Don't worry, Tom. I knew something like this might happen, so I made an extra. Well, that's great. That's really... Oh, pink. Helping friends is way more important than a bunch of string. You made the right decision, Tom. I am not sure about that. What? Uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, hey, whatever happened to Ginger? Hmm. Huh? I guess the real problem with hide and seek is when you're as good at it as I am, the game can get pretty boring. <laughs> I'll give him another hour. Or two. Uh, uh, can we get this done quickly? It's songs and lasers uh -huh. night at the roller skate pit. Oh, let's dump everything in a garbage bag and throw it outside. We'll be done in five minutes. It's not like we're using this junk anyway. I mean, what's even in here? Receipts and sandwich wrappers. Actually, it's all stuff from when we first started working together. Ha ha ha! Look at how ridiculous we look. And by we, I mean you, because I look totally cool in this picture. We were just two guys with a dream, a garage, and a mouse. Did we even have a business plan? Whoa! <coughs> 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 Can you believe we used to work on such primitive machines? Hmm. Look how many centimeters thick this is. Look, modern smartphone, it's your ancestor. I feel bad for it too. <laughs> Didn't you write your first program on this thing? Yeah, 
I never could get it to work, though. I wasn't such an experienced hmm. programmer back in those days. Oh, come on. I bet you could fix it now. Huh. Let's see if this works. Huh? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me blow on it. Oh, yeah, that always works. Huh? He shoots. It's and I immediately found the problem. Someone stuffed a marshmallow into the back of the huh? tablet. Oh, wow, yeah. From our college prank marshmallow war, remember? I mean, I wonder who did that. Ah, this is why I don't let you touch my things anymore. Yeah. <sighs> Exit sleep mode. Huh, maybe my programming wasn't the problem after all. Uh, initiating search for da 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 daddy. Nah, the voice on this program must still have a glitch. It just mispronounced the word Ben as daddy. <laughs> My daddy is Ben. Uh, -huh. uh, Ben, what was this program supposed to do? I don't even remember. I think I just made it because I was bored. My daddy made me. My daddy is Ben. Hmm. Ben is my dad, dad, daddy. What? Daddy Ben made me, me, me. me. Huh? I love you, daddy, daddy, daddy. Uh -huh. Huh? Daddy. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't set out to make a computer that feels love. Personally, I find the idea of love complicated and icky. <laughs> the only explanation is that the program I wrote has accidentally developed the personality of a small child. I guess I don't really have to explain that. It's just basic computer science, right? See it. See it. Don't want to see it. Ooh, a four-hour background image of a fish tag. I've been meaning to check this out. Ah! Guys, we're infested with robot rats. Do we have any virtual cheese? This isn't a robot rat. It's a computer that Ben brought to life, obviously. <laughs> How cute. Oh, he's got daddy's eyes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Boomerang was getting in the way while I was cleaning, so I gave it wheels to move around and entertain itself. Boomerang? Oh, hi. Hi. Boomerang. It likes to be called Boomerang. I don't know, Ben. Computer kids are a big responsibility. From what I've seen on TV, you have to talk to your kids almost every day and warn them about stranger danger. Well, I think of every program that I write as my offspring. Boomerang is no different. Oh, Daddy, I'm stuck. Uh -huh. It's dusty and dark under you. Ah! Help, Daddy. Help, Daddy. Uh -huh. I'll sing you a lullaby. The modem noise always calms him down. Um. So, like I was saying, this isn't gonna be a big deal at all. <laughs> Cut it out, Boomerang! <laughs> you can't get me, Ginger! Everybody knock it off! Boomerang, slow down! Ginger, stop riling up the toddler tablet! You ah! can't shoot me because I have a force field that shoots back lasers! So when you shot me, you actually hit yourself! No fair! No huh? fair! Force fields are cheating! Oh, man! This room looks worse than before. We're never gonna make it to Songs and Lasers Night at the Roller Skate Pit at this rate. I am so disappointed. Uh, yeah, there's been an unexpected development. Boomerang's computer brain is growing quickly. Now he's already about Ginger's age. Well, if you don't think you can go to Songs and Lasers Night, I understand. I mean, you kind of have a kid now. I can go with Hank. Yes! Of course I want to go. It's a night with both songs and lasers. Never mind. We'll just quickly clean up the garage and be ready to go. Oh, 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 I didn't think that would actually oh, work. Ginger! Uh -huh. Let's throw things at him while he can't move. Uh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go out tonight. Don't give up just yet. I'm going to make a call to someone who might just give us some help. She's an expert. Guys, get a clue. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I know how to babysit. Anyway, I charge by the hour. Oh, and I'll keep them away from the TV, and you just tell me when it's bedtime is. Oh, you are a lifesaver, Angela. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I was starting to think we wouldn't make it to the coolest laser and music and roller skate theme night in town. Oh, it's fine. And also fine that you weren't going to invite me to that fun thing. <laughs> so, can I meet the little dude? Yeah, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> Boomerang! <gasps> Boomerang! Oh, his name is Boomerang. Hey, 
Hey, little guy. So? We're gonna have so much fun while Ben and Tom go out, okay? Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, why is this old lady talking to me like I'm some kind of kid? I'm not a kid, okay? I'm like four hours old. Hey, Boomerang, did you forget we were just about to start playing King Pirate Robot? Uh, pirates are so done. <gasps> you take that back! I can't be around you anymore, Boomerang! You've changed! Whatever. Hmm. His programming must have upgraded again. He now has the personality of a surly preteen. Oh, boy, man, I hope he doesn't fry his circuits with all these upgrades. He'll be fine. Now let's get out of here before Angela changes her mind. <sighs> You know, I don't really need a babysitter. Why don't you just let me come with you? I don't know, Boomerang. I kind of need a break, okay? Come on. I've never been to a party. I'd be great at a party. Check my mood. <laughs> Look, I'm not taking you because you're just a program that I wrote. And I need time to myself, okay? Well, if you don't want me around, then I'll just go. Just go. Just go. Wait, Boomerang, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <sighs> you have to pull it to open it. I hate everyone and nobody understands me. I want to listen to my music. Teen stuff. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 Tom, uh, it looks like I won't be going to the roller skate pit after all. Boomerang, you're right. I can't just ignore you. What do you say we go out and get a milkshake? Just the two of us. Well... I don't have a mouth or any way to consume food, but sure, whatever. <laughs> so then I rewrote all your code, and that's how you're born. Gross. I did not need to hear that. It's perfectly natural. Ew, Dad. Hey, do you think that air conditioning unit is looking at me? Uh, air conditioning? Well, I'm not sure how I'd be able to tell that. Um, hmm, maybe? Uh, it doesn't matter. Someone with that many amps wouldn't have any use for a guy like me anyway. Hey, never say that about yourself. You are a great application, sweet boomerang, and I am proud of you. Really? Uh, oh. Oh, wow, Ben! You really missed out, man. I mean, the roller skate pit was a life-changing experience. I mean, I don't think I'm ever gonna look at inline footwear the same way again. I mean, oh, well, you guys made up. You know what? We have. This day hasn't gone the way I planned it, but maybe that's okay, because I've got Boomerang now. And I've got you, Pop. Update available. Young adult mode. Oh, error. Not enough memory. Error. 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 Circuit overload. Shutting down. Boomerang. Shutting down. Boomerang. Shutting down. Boomerang! Did I break another computer thing? I didn't mean to. I didn't even bring a marshmallow this time. No! Boomerang's clunky old computer body can't contain his rapidly expanding mind. Oh, why is old technology such junk? Didn't old time people know that they should just make good things? Boomerang. Wait, if it's the old technology that's junk, maybe you could put Boomerang in your new phone. But that would connect Boomerang to the internet. Once he's there, he'll be out in the harsh world. I won't be able to protect him. Goodbye, what? Dad. Boomerang. You protected him for a quarter of a day, Ben. It's time to let him go into that harsh world on his own. Ah! Why does everyone say being a parent is super easy? Pretty sure no one's ever said that. Well, that makes sense then. Because it's not easy at all. Huh? There you go, little guy. Whoa. The internet. Boomerang, promise me you'll stay out of trouble. Use numbers and letters in your passwords, avoid spam emails, and... Don't touch pop-up ads. Uh, yeah, I know, Dad. I'm not running on basic, duh. That's my boomerang. Email home, okay? Okay, sure. You got it, Dad. Gotta go. They grow up so fast. Yeah, but hey, he's moved on to something really great. I mean, who knows what kind of amazing, brilliant, mind-blowing stuff that kid is up to right now. Woo! Party! You know what, thank you so much for helping me with this commercial audition. You're welcome. Now, let's try this. You're on a deserted island, and a pirate is selling you hand cream. And even though you're lost at sea and the pirate is made of cardboard, you still can't believe what a great deal you're getting. And go. Wow, 
Wow, that is a great deal. No, go bigger. Make it like this is the greatest deal you've ever seen. Wow, that is a great deal. S stop, bigger. Bigger? You're here, take it all the way up to here. Huh? Wow, that is a great deal. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> bigger. <laughs> okay, you think you're such a big actor? Let's see you try it. Okay, watch. <sighs> Wow! That is a great deal! 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 Mm. Woo! I got a deal. It's a great, great deal. It's a great, great deal. Woo! I got a great deal, y'all! Hey! <gasps> who's being so loud out here? Uh, that was me. Sorry. You should be sorry. Sorry you didn't come in here sooner because you are amazing. You just got the job. You are going to be the face of Awesome Tech's gigantic new commercial campaign. What? Are you ready to be seen in every home in the, wait for it, world? It's only everything I've ever wanted in my whole life. Yes, I are. Am. Louder. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, everybody else, you can go home because we <gasps> yes. found our star. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, but I'm here to audition for a different commercial. I said go home! Oh, come on! Awesome Tech makes the list of most awesome tech companies every year. I mean, this could really put Tom and Bed Enterprises on the map. Ooh, do you think you get to beat Clicky, Awesome Tech's awesome mascot? Clicky scares me. He doesn't have any eyes. Clicky doesn't need eyes to see you, Ginger. Ha, ha, ha. I am so ready to be a famous commercial star. Tom, I don't want to sound jealous, but you don't just show up to one acting job and become a big success. Angela's right. I should prepare. Oh, okay. Someone give me an emotion, and I will perform that emotion to you. Okay. Um, jealousy! Weird choice, but okay. <sighs> you did what? I saw jelly. Show me whimsical. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> whimsical. Ooh, ooh, um, you're tired because you've been walking too much today. <sighs> Too easy. Give me a hard one. I wasn't finished. You've been walking all day because you're an old king heading back to your lands after a giant battle. Old king. And you're secretly a robot and you want to take over the world with your robot children. Robot children. Three layers of acting? That's pushing the limits. Also, you have to fart. Uh, Top, no! Four layers is too much acting for anyone. Hank, don't worry. I am a pro. You have to All right, who popped the balloon? That wasn't a balloon. It was my face muscle. I think my face is stuck like this. Do I look bad? Uh, no, I hardly even noticed it. Tom, quit sneering. She's trying to be nice. I'm not sneering. It's my face. It's, it's stuck. It's pretty bad, Tom. Just go lie down. It'll probably go back to normal after a good night's rest. Woo woo, Tom. Betty's just tried to be helpful. Hey, Hank, remember when my face was stuck? Yeah, it's still stuck. Oh, right. <sighs> So it's not better, but you're not gonna let this get you down. You're tough. You've got charisma. In fact, you're going to invite your friends to a confident company dinner tonight because you're still ready to face the day. I, for one, applaud you, Tom. There's nothing wrong with looking weird. If it wasn't for us weird lookers, we wouldn't have computers and we'd have to go outside to have fun. Exactly. This is gonna be fine. All right, gang. What you gonna have? Hey, sweetheart, what's the juice of the day? Oh, it's a monster! Oh, hey, no, come back! Oh, no. There's a simple explanation! Ah! Oh, 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 what is wrong with you? Oh, oh I'm not a monster! Don't look at me! Oh, get a picture, Harley. Oh, I'm not a monster! 
Don't look at me! Well, old Frozen Face won't eat these pancakes. Tom, come out. You have to go to your commercial acting job that I didn't get. No, leave me alone. My face scares people. You're overreacting. <laughs> I just saw it on the news that there's a monster at the diner. Look, it's Tom. Hello, new wallpaper. I'm never coming out of here ever again. Tom, the commercial people are calling. You're late for the shoot. Tell them there's no one here by that name. Tell them there never really was a Tom. No, Tom, you're not giving up just because people run away screaming when they see your face. You worked too hard. I mean, you acted really big to get this chance, and now you're going to take that commercial. Oh, oops. <laughs> I talked too long, now the phone stopped ringing. But I'm calling them back. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Director, your star is here. Hmm. Whoa, 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 what's this? He's a bag man now? It's his process. Oh, his process. I totally get it. No problem. Make yourself at home. What's a process? It's a thing that actors say when they want people to let them be weird. Oh, well, there's going to be a whole lot more process when I take off this bag. Hey, we're going to get your confidence back. Now repeat after me. I can do it. I'm the biggest actor in the world. Go me! Right. I'm gonna go uh, check out the uh, food in my trailer. Uh, I'll be right back. Ben, look, you gotta help. Angela doesn't really have a plan. It's just feel-good inspirational stuff. Well, don't worry. I've come to the rescue with science. Specifically, I've been working on a robotic face mask for an occasion just like this one. I'll control the mask from here via the internet. If my puppeteering skills are up to the task, and they are, no one will ever know the mask isn't your real face. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Raise of the eyebrow and give him the old bad boy wink. Wink. So what this is going to be is you're holding the phone and you say, finally, my life has meaning. You try it. Finally, my life has meaning. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, but you're too happy. You want to be happy, but also relieved. Uh, sure. <laughs> finally, my life has meaning. Uh. Yeah, good. Oh, but also try to do it like you're nervous about the future. And this will make total sense when you see the rest of the commercial. You are secretly a dinosaur. And action! Okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> ah, the face hydraulics can't act as hard! Perform. Finally! Perform. My life has meaning! And give us a wink! No, 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 no. Keep filming. This is art! Look at this monster, and then get the new awesome tech phone, because it's monster proof. Guitar Roof! Awesome! I know a monster now, and he's also my neighbor. Hey, look on the bright side. At least you were on TV. You were on TV? Will you sign my remote? Ugh, this is a disaster. I was supposed to be a star. Well, maybe next time you won't decide to show off with a level four acting move. Hey, look on the bright side. Your face is back to normal. Yeah, I guess that's something. Hello? Who? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm right here with the guy whose face looks like a monster. You've got an opportunity for him that could make him a huge movie star? What are you, crazy? Say yes. Sign him up. 
Oh, when I have some good news, his face is back to normal. Hello? Hello? Huh, call dropped. <laughs> Happens a lot in Hollywood. I'm sure they'll call back. Oh, it is hot. Thanks for helping me record the song, Ben. Whew. Sure, let's do it quickly. If it gets any hotter in here, it'll fry my computer processor. Gah! Oh, why do hot things happen to good people? Hey, 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 we can handle a little heat wave. Imagine we're on vacation, relaxing in a sauna. Ooh, a sauna. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Ah! Uh, guys, why don't we just turn on the air conditioner? Oh, no! The landlord said we're not allowed to touch his new thermostat, and he said it with a finger waggle. I'll just turn it down a little. The landlord won't even know. <laughs> Someone touched thermostat. I find out who. Have mercy, my lord. The maiden didn't know it is forbidden to touch the royal thermostat. I knew in my brain power you were not to be trusted. So I bought the high security thermostat, yes. It requires a code, a secret code. And that code can only be entered in the computer cloud. A secret computer cloud. Do you all understand? No uh, problem, yes, sir, Your Lord. Mm -hmm. sir, yeah, okay, you got it. Uh, okay, I go to mountains uh, for a day to, uh, how you say, chill. Stay cool, everybody. But thermostat, you not touch. Stay cool? Stay cool? I don't even remember what cool feels like. I can't think. It's too hot. <sighs> How's it going, Ben? Any luck? <laughs> Does bad luck count? No. Hey, guys. I was going to take a dip in my swimming pool, and I want to stop by and say, you can't come, because my parents said no one could visit until it's five. Why are you telling us this? I figured you'd want to know that I'm comfortable. Bye! Ow! I wish I uh, lived with Ginger. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, maybe we don't have a pool like Ginger, but we can find ways to cool down. How? Uh, we could go outside. Yeah, a, a nice breeze is like free air conditioning. Come on! See? Isn't it nice out here? What? Um, I think I'm just gonna go home. Oh, no, don't leave, I'll miss you. I mean, uh, well maybe Hank has, has found a way to keep cool. <laughs> Hank, how are you holding up? All right, then tell me this. If you saw every episode of Rod Spiman Undercover Agent, then why did the agency try to make him cut his ponytail? I mean, don't they know he doesn't play by their rules? Hmm, true, Hank. But in the season finale, he did visit an enemy barbershop, right? But he only got his mustache trimmed. What did he charge, Hank? What did the barber charge? I... I... I can't remember. Oh, good. I was worried the heat was getting to him. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Ben's computer is fried, Hank has gone crazy, and worst of all, Angela is considering going home. I mean, I know the landlord told us not to touch the thermostat, but... Oh, the, the tripod is melting! Okay, that's it. Somebody has got to stand up to the landlord. You know the answer. You saw the episode, Hank. Okay, okay, give me a hint. Did the enemy barber charge Spyman more or less than the lady at the secret agent spa? More, Hank. Okay, okay. She charged him eight bucks for a buzz cut. Twelve if she used scissors. Comrades, we have suffered enough under the landlord's sweltering tyranny. We must join together and claim our rights to basic coolness. Yes, Tom, I am with you. Let's claim our coolness rights. But the code to the thermostat is in the cloud, remember? Oh, right. The secret cloud. Well, I guess Ben is just not good enough uh, with computers to get in there. Not good enough with computers? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. No. I'll find a way to hack into the cloud somehow. Behold, there is something huh? on my head, but it is not a hat. That's it! With my virtual reality device, I can enter the cloud and reprogram the thermostat to inside! We're all with you, Ben. Wow. So 
Finally! A world that makes sense. Now, where is that thermostat? What's Ben doing? I don't know. I'm at the top of the stairs! I see it! I see the thermostat! Oh, no. You got this, Ben. You got this! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Ben, ben, what? Ben, Even ben, a virtual ben. thermostat needs a code? Oh. Hmm. How about his address? No. What about his birthday? Which is, uh... No. His mother's maiden name? <laughs> ah! That's everything I know about him! What's the password? <gasps> 1495. What? That's what secret agent Rod Spyman paid the enemy barber. 1495. One, four, nine, five. Hank, buddy, maybe you should go lie down, okay? No, thanks. I'm going to go lie down. Well, it's worth a try. One, four, nine, five. What? Yes. Oh. Oh, thank Yahoo! goodness. Cool yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so nice. I could stand here for the rest of my life. <sighs> ben, you did it. You defeated the landlord and won us our rights to basic coolness. Ben, you're our hero. Oh, please. Hero is such a strong word. And appropriate. <laughs> oh, is that <sighs> conditioned air? Yes! Feel it! Breathe it! Hank, you won't believe this, but Ben turned on the AC using the code that you gave him. What code? What code? 1495. Somehow you knew the secret code. I did? Yes. How did you know the code anyway? Oh, yeah, I remember. The watermelon gave me a clue, and I figured it out. I wonder how the watermelon do I do. That's weird. <laughs> Who cares? It's not hot anymore. Let's hear it for Ben. Yeah! Uh, hey, Ben, uh, it's starting to get a little too cool in here. To you, maybe, but it's the optimal temperature for my electronics. Hmm. Can you make it just a little warmer? No, I saved us from the heat. So now I am in charge of the thermostat. Do you all understand? Okay, was just a suggestion. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be too hot. Don't you forget it. Thank you, oh brave one. Ben, you have to stop this. All right, you c c c crank the temperature to l l l low. Yeah, it's c c c c c freezing in here. One more comment and you will be banished to the heat. You can't talk to her like that. That's it. I I'm going to make it warmer in here. Ah, ah, ah. That's what you'll get when you oppose the ruler of the thermostat. Okay, Angela, now let's record that song. Angela, ah, go ahead. Angela? Hey, guys! My lifeguard says it's okay for you to swim in my pool now. <laughs> Why is everyone frozen? Because they are touching thermostat when I am specifically telling them no touching of thermostat. Oh, I get it. You're acting like the landlord. No! I'm not! The landlord took away everyone's right to basic coolness. And you took away everyone's right to basic warmness. Oh, no. What have I become? A tyrant! I don't want to be a tyrant! Oh, why not? Because I want to be a friend. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I could handle the power of the thermostat, but I could not! I became a thermomonster. monster. It's all good, Ben. It wasn't you. It wasn't? No, it was the thermostat. I and mean, when it all comes down to it, the real villain ah, is... The landlord! <gasps> Welcome back, your lordship. This... Ha <laughs> ha, just be cool, guy. No one touched thermostat, right? <laughs> Did you? 
Who? Us? No. I mean, what? Do you think we would hacked into the cloud and reprogram the thermostat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's silly. Wait, wait. Did you do that or not? I do not know. What's that, Ginger? You want us to go swimming in your pool right now? All right. Uh, I didn't say that. Pool party at Ginger's house. I never said Ooh. that I said that. Pool party, yeah. No one gets to touch <laughs> the pool noodles except me. Tis hath been a pleasure, my lord. Of course, they no mess with the thermostat. How could they guess? I mean, it's not like watermelon. Saw me type in and told everyone. <laughs> Good one, landlord. <laughs> you mean 1495? <laughs> let me at it! Let me at it! Whoa, 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 Ginger, stop! We're grown-ups. We don't hit pinatas with sticks. We set them to explode with a timer. Explode? Oh, that's way cooler. That's right. And this guy is now set to shower us with candy at 6 p.m., the exact time we officially founded Tom and Ben Enterprises. And Ben should be here with the candy right about now. Tom, the bathroom is disgusting! Ugh. Why didn't you clean it? Let's focus on what's important here, okay? Did you or did you not get the candy for the piñata? No, I did not! Really? What are you doing that's more important than getting candy? Yeah, Ben, what? Well, let's see. I was dusting the ceiling fan, mopping the floor. Don't look at me like that! Now please clean the bathroom! Relax. So the bathroom's not clean. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Guess who's back, baby? That's right, it's me, Jeremy the Jerem! <laughs> ah. Parties are no fun if the surroundings aren't tidy. Hey, everyone! Ah, Jeremy! <laughs> Surprised to see your old pal. Well, yeah. Previously on Talking Tom and Friends, I always wanted to say that. The first time Jeremy showed up, we all thought he was friendly, but Ben didn't trust him. Turned out Ben was right. Pretty soon, Jeremy got everyone sick. That's what germs do. Luckily, Ben flushed him down the toilet and Jeremy was gone for good. Until just now, when he came back. And I updated you on who Jeremy is. And now back to talking Hank and friends. Oops, talking Tom and friends. Do you see what you've done, Tom? You see what happens when you don't clean the bathroom like you're supposed to? All right, Jeremy, you're going back to where you belong. No. The sewer. Wait, wait, I'm a change, Jeremy. While I was down in the sewer, I had a lot of time to work on myself. I even meditate now. You can't fool me. Germs like you don't change. Oh, but I have changed. I know it's gonna take time for you to see it, Ben. Maybe we'll even work on some projects together. Real soon. Ah! <laughs> so disgusting! Ew, ew, ew! Uh, vitamin C, vitamin C! Yes, lemons! Oh, God. Uh, oh, God, I can already feel it. Burning! My eyes! I can't believe I was tricked by a single-celled organism. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to best pay you back. And I came up with a perfect plan. A plan that you're gonna help me carry out, friendo. Ha, that's never gonna happen. <coughs> oh, no. Get out of here, Jeremy. Tonight is our anniversary party. And you're not invited. Fine, I'll go. I was planning to leave anyway. What's that, Tommy? You ain't had nothing to eat in a real long time? Could one of you kindly point me in the direction of a hot meal? Preferably in a well-populated restaurant? Lucky you! The diner is just around the corner. Hank! Hank! What? Say, thanks, pal. See you later, incubator. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Here, have some of my aunt's famous soup. Oh, your aunt, the chili pepper farmer? No, thank you. Oh, no, you guys. My grandmother was the chili pepper farmer. This is my aunt's soup recipe. It cures everything. Ah, I am so sick of 
need to kill! <sighs> At least I have a super soft triple layer tissues with a calming lavender scent. Ben, I admire you. You always find something positive in a bad situation. Positive? <clears throat> this is all your fault. I'm only sick because you didn't clean the bathroom. I didn't clean the bathroom? You didn't get the pinata candy. We're even, so let's stop playing the blame game. No. You're right, Tom. Now I have something I need to say to you. Come closer. What is it, pal? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do that for? I don't know. That's something. Something Jeremy would do. Yeah, you know, that is exactly what Jeremy would do. Oh, that's exactly what Jeremy would do. I didn't want to, but it, it was like I had no control over myself. Tom, get some rope. We have to tie bed to that couch. You tie him to the couch. He just sneezed on me, on purpose. I'm not going near him. There's a reason he did that. Jeremy did just get Ben sick. He reprogrammed Ben to spread his germs. This is exactly what happened in my favorite pandemic thriller, Outbreak Biohazard, code deadly. First, people get sick. Then, the change begins. They lose control of their own minds and bodies. All right, who steal my tube sock? Just the left one, the right one's right here. <laughs> Once the germs take hold, the people are consumed with the overwhelming drive to infect everyone they see. Until there's no one healthy left. Hey, get away. That sounds horrible. We have to make sure that nothing like that no. ever happens. No. Not on our watch. Right, so basically, it's super important that we keep an eye on Ben and never let him out of our sight, not even for a second. We won't let that happen. I'll go get the rope, and you help the landlord with whatever he was... <gasps> uh, Hank, what was the next thing that happened in that movie? You don't even want to know. We just saw him drop that like two seconds ago. Uh, uh, question, why didn't I get sick when Ben sneezed on me? We must be immune. Maybe when Jeremy got us sick last time, it gave our bodies the power to fight off his germs. If that's true, then we are the only ones who can save Ben and the entire town from infection. Let's go. Super soft triple layer made with more than 50% recycled materials tissues. <sniffs> Lavender scented. Bed's been here. Ew! Hank, put that huh? down. And there's more. They're leading to the diner. <sniffs> oh, Rhonda, can I get a chocolate shake while we fight the zombies? Ah, ah, Yeah, even Rhonda's not that rude. <gasps> She must be a zombie. Uh-oh, we're surrounded, just like an outbreak biohazard. If you knew this would happen, why didn't you warn us? Well, no one was warned in the movie. <gasps> There's Ben. Hank, fill us in. What's our next move? Now, a worried planet waits for a ragtag group of friends to find a cure. My aunt's troop. Well, in the movie, the cure involved looking into microscopes and putting liquids in test tubes in a high-tech laboratory. About a 20-second montage. This kitchen is all we got. Angela? I'm on it. OK, I'll go distract Ben. <laughs> Chump, you better hit the road. This party's invitation only. Your party's over, Jeremy. I'm taking Ben home for our party. The Tom and Ben's anniversary party with a pinata. Sorry, pal. Ben belongs to me now. Tell him, Ben. Uh, Jeremy and Ben Enterprises. I can't believe this. If only someone had cleaned the bathroom. Uh... Tom! I ain't so different. We both need a guy like Ben to get what we want in this world. There's a big difference. I don't need to control Ben's mind to keep him working with me. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll never know, because I'm moving into your place, and you're moving into mine. Hey, partner, what do you say we flush him into the sewer? Flush sewer. 
Ding dong. What? No, Ben, it's me, Tom. Ah! Oh, gross! Knock it off! Ah! Ah! Angela, now! Keep your germs! Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. Woohoo! What does happen? Angela happened. Actually, my aunt's soup recipe happened. It really does cure everything. It's all coming back to me. Jeremy turned me into a zombie. And I rescued you. Because you didn't clean the bathroom. And I rescued you. This was all your fault! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, you're right. I admit it. But now I'm ready to clean this place up. What do you say, partner? Uh-huh. E easy now. I was just having a little fun as well. Being a little dream, having a little fun. Oh, now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Hold still, you jerk. Look who's all cleaned up. No, it isn't fair. It isn't fair. Now that's how you get rid of germs. Too many zombies. I can't hold them off much longer. But how can we cure everybody? I know just the thing. Happy anniversary, Ben. Happy anniversary, Tom. Hey there, athletic sporting contest fans. How many times have you missed the big game because of a tortilla chip injury? Too many times to remember. Put away your safety goggles because chips with sharp corners are now a thing of the past. Thanks to the Tor Trimmer. It smells like burnt plastic. Ah, the smell of snack safety. Try harder. Come. No. I guess I need to recalibrate the hypotenuse finder. Hey, guys! Thanks, Angela. You saved our... <gasps> what? What's wrong? Tom, look away. You don't want to see this. What? I don't see what the... Ow! Oh, my eyes! Is that a piranha shirt? Tell me that's not a piranha... Ah, oh, it's a piranha shirt! Huh? Oh, this? <laughs> What's the big deal? The piranhas are just a basketball team. <gasps> Seeing you in that shirt cuts. It cuts like a corny tortilla chip to the gums. Ugh, ben, help me out here. The piranhas are in the championship game against our favorite team, the barracudas. Well, see, there you go. Piranhas, barracudas. You can see why I got confused. They're like practically the same thing. <gasps> the same? Barracudas are honest, saltwater ambush predators. And piranhas? They're nothing but freshwater cheaters who play dirty and hunt their prey in schools. Oh, okay, I get it. To prove I'm a Barracudas fan like you guys, I will never wear this disgusting cheating team shirt again. <laughs> well, thank you for understanding, Angela. Yes, it's for the best. <laughs> Basketball game? Why do they have two teams named after fish anyways? Barracudas are honest saltwater ambush predators and piranhas are... Oh no! Is that... Victoria Payne? I give Angela a thumbs down. 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 Hello, Victoria. Angela? Why, I haven't seen you since you totally tore me apart in that <clears throat> song. Pain can't hurt me! You see? It's her name. Well, if it seemed too mean, just remember, you started it. Did it seem too mean? When you sang, pain can't hurt me, it was like you were calling me a pain. Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry. The thing is, I was just so mad when I wrote it. <laughs> oh my god, I was just kidding, of course. That's the first song of yours I actually like liked. Really? Well, um, what did you like about it? Oh, well, it was real. You know, it showed that under all the rainbows and sunshine, there's some grit. I have grit! Yay! Wait, you like the piranhas? Oh, this is just a shirt. Eyes up here. 
that I wear because I love the piranhas. Chomp and stomp, right? Chomp and stomp. Yeah. Wow, you know, you may not be a total waste of time. Hey, how about we forget about the past and start over? Okay, Victoria. Ah, I just hope there's room for us in the diner. The diner? Maybe I was too harsh on Angela for wearing the enemy shirt. It was an innocent mistake. It's not like she's a Piranhas fan. But to make sure it doesn't happen again, I'm giving her this to wear while we watch the game. What's that in the water, y'all? Piranhas! And who we gonna feed on tomorrow? Piranhas! Wow, Piranhas fans really know how to have fun. Hey, yeah, we do. Hey, I just thought of a great story for the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down report. Angela and Victoria. Two powerful women in the local music scene. Ooh, I like that part. Ooh, I better take this, BRB. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, it's local pop star Angela. Make some noise, Piranhas fans. Let's show her some love. Woo! Woo! Oh, thanks. <laughs> now tell us why you love the Piranhas. Go. Oh, um, because they're the best at running and bouncing the ball really fast. Oh, oh, and they hunt their prey in schools. <laughs> Unlike those barracudas who are nothing but a bunch of saltwater ambush predator cheaters. Am I right? <laughs> You are not going to believe this. That was the owner of the Piranhas on the phone. I told him what a huge Piranhas fan you are, and I, of course, said that if he knows anything about good music, he should hire Angela, obviously. And? And you got the job! You are the Piranhas halftime entertainment at tomorrow's championship game. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Here, you can have this. It will look great on stage with your Piranhas shirt. I love it! Ah, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to tell Tom and... Oh! Oh, sports! Uh, Ben, can you please hurry up with that so we can make breakfast? I just need to adjust the angle reader from obtuse to acute. There's nothing cute about missing breakfast, Ben. My stomach is eating itself. There, that should do it. Let's give it a try. What's wrong with you? You should be trimming tortillas. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys, I have donuts. Did you see donuts? No sharp edges. You saved our lives. Easy, guys. Save some for the game. You know, Tom, you and the guys don't have to worry about those dangerous snacks anymore because you'll be watching the game live and in person. Boom. Huh? You got his tickets? Yes, I did. Angela! 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 <laughs> How did you get these? The game's been sold out for weeks. It's actually a funny story. Remember Victoria Payne? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it turns out she uh, knows someone who uh, knows someone, uh, and uh, uh, they asked me to perform in halftime. Crazy, right? Uh, you're the halftime entertainment? Yes. I get to sing in the middle of the game while the players drink water and get yelled at. Wow. This is huge. The whole town will be watching the game. After today, everyone will know your name. Uh, I'm really glad you guys understand what a great career opportunity this is for me. Because, um, well, the thing is, I was hired by the two ah! 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 Right, you're so dangerous! Ah! Here, I was gonna give this to you later, but oh, but it looks like I better give it to you now. Oh, uh... You can wear it tonight so everyone knows you're rooting for the good guys. Good guys? <laughs> oh, come on! I mean, can't we just focus on what a great career opportunity ah! this is for me? I mean, it's just a stupid basketball game. Not to us, Angela. <laughs> Not to us. <sighs> huh? You're a traitor, Angela. No, Tommy. Yes, Angela. You betrayed us. What? Traitor. No. Traitor. 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 Uh, traitor. 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 Traitor! 
Well, well, well. Victoria Payne is a Piranhas fan. Doesn't surprise me. Ooh, quick question. Which hurts more, getting chomped or getting stomped? We'll see who chomped and stomped who when the game's over. And Piranhas don't have feet, Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to tonight's halftime performer, Angela! No one wins and no one loses. <sighs> I sure hope you like it. Hit it! Everyone in the house who doesn't care who wins tonight, put your hands up like this. Come on! Woohoo! Made it myself. What is she doing? Let's all hope it's a tie, yeah, tie. Let's hope no one wins and no one loses. So everyone can go. Angela, what were you thinking? Uh, Durdoy, what the heck? Uh, I just wanted people to get along instead of fighting over who's gonna win the stupid game. But now that I think about it, I really didn't realize how much people hate a tie game. Or a song about a tie game. Big mistake. Yeah, that song was not good. And by not good, he means terrible. I agree. The worst. Yeah, okay, yeah, got it. Thanks. But wait a second. Look at all you right now. I see Piranhas fans and Barracudas fans, and you're all putting aside your differences and agreeing on something. And it's all thanks to my song. Ha, I call that progress. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Victoria, just how bad is this for my career? Give it to me straight. Mm, maybe don't watch this week's thumbs up, thumbs down report. Oh. I'm gonna paint giant flames on my rocket because one time I had shoes with flames on them and I was the best runner at school that day. Yeah, decorative flames are cool, I guess. But the real secret to winning is fins. Plenty of extra fins. Fins? Are you sure? Pretty sure. At least that's what I always notice whenever I look at my first place rocket or my other first place rocket, or my dad's first place rocket, or my grandfather's first place rocket. Wow! Hank, can you help me win the wooden rocket blast off? Well, yes, Ginger, I suppose I could help you win, but remember, winning the blast off takes teamwork, expensive power tools, and total focus if you wanna... <gasps> what is that? If you can eat it all, it's free. If you can't, it's 500 bucks. Uh-huh, I heard free Sunday. I'll take it. Are you sure? Rhonda, please. I've never had trouble finishing a dessert in my life. It's your stomach ache. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We got a challenger here for the all or nothing. <laughs> Challenge? Yeah, right. This'll be easy peasy, icy creamsy. Whoa! What kind of ice cream is this? It's made from a special super condensed milk. <laughs> That's rich. All right, I'm full. Thank you for dining with us today. Your total will be, uh, 500 bucks. Is it 500? Uh, here's the thing. I don't have that much money with me or in the bag. Then here's the thing. You are the new dishwasher. Take your sponge, <laughs> name it, love it, and learn how to use it. Wait, did I just get a job? I don't want a job. How did I get a job? The last dishwasher quit, and this is way easier than hiring a replacement. But what about building my rocket? We'll start as soon as I get home from my job which I'm just starting, which I'm not sure how I got. Oh, that's sweet. Now get to work! Wow, Ginger, that's a really <laughs> cool design. Um, but isn't that too many fins? Or maybe it's not enough fins. I don't know. When's Hank getting home? That's weird. He should have been home by now. <laughs> huh. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
With Hank on and his spot available, it's actually possible to select a TV program. Hmm. I can't even remember the last time I actually held the remote control. Well, turn it on. Bongo and McGillicuddy, I'm not watching this stupid show. Come on, Ben, give it a chance. It's funny. Oh, sure, why not? It'll be interesting to study the lowbrow comedy that amuses Hank. Okay, McGillicuddy, today's the day we finally arrest those no-good banana thieves. <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> eat the evidence. <laughs> um, oh, Cuddy. <laughs> An orangutan working on a banana crime. The comedy possibilities are infinite. That practically writes itself. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Hank! Finally! Look at my design! Yeah, that's great. Hank! Look! Look! Hank, you're not looking! Hank! Hank, have you been washing dishes this whole time? Yeah, look! My fingers are all pruty. I'm exhausted. Huh. Oh, okay, good enough. Get up! We have to make my rock! Oh, we will. Just give me one second to... Hank! <sighs> wake up! <sighs> Hank! <sighs> oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 Rhonda, I think I'll head home early today, okay? Oh, no, you won't. Oh, I have to. I promised Ginger I'd help him build a rocket. The dishwasher can't leave until all the dishes are washed. But I did wash all the... Back to work. Oh. Why am I upset? Because a giant rubber mallet is not authorized police equipment. Oh, yeah. Cuddy, you are a piece of wood. <laughs> Bongo. Tom, I'm laughing because their working relationship is like a comedic exaggeration of ours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm totally Cuddy, and you're totally Bongo. <laughs> totally! Okay, I admit it. I had the wrong idea about this show. It's fun, relatable, quality entertainment. <laughs> Hey, Hank, have you seen this episode of Bongo and Magella Cuddy with a giant rubber mallet? <sighs> Can I have one minute to myself before you bombard me with a million questions? Is that so much to ask? Oh, yeah, uh, whatever you want, Hank. Hmm? <gasps> oh, look at this place. What did you guys even do all day? You know, this and that. <sighs> Watch some TV, took a nap. Watch some more TV. <laughs> Took a longer nap. Well, it must be nice. I wash dishes all day, and now I come home and I get to wash more dishes. It's like three dishes. I'll do it. No, you'll do it wrong, and then I'll need to fix it. Just forget it. <laughs> all right. Hey! <gasps> the wooden rocket blast off is tomorrow. We have to make a rocket now. <sighs> Rockets don't get the dishes clean, Ginger. All you ever do is wash dishes. That's it. Go to your room. You've got it too easy. That's your problem. I don't even live here. Uh, no back talk. Oh, okay, let's go, Ginger. Hank's had a very, very long day. Look at what you're doing to this house. Huh? You're not the man I decided to occasionally hang out with. Oh. I've never seen Hank so grumpy. If you say so, Tom. <laughs> hmm. Hank, we need to talk. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm going to have to reschedge. I have these quarterly dish soap reports to fill out by tomorrow. No, we need to talk now. <sighs> oh, here we go. Since you took this job, it's like you don't have any time to spend with the people you care about, like us. Listen, I am under enough pressure at work without you two piling on. Hank, there's always going to be dishes that need cleaning, but there's never going to be another chance to help Ginger win the wooden rocket blast off. <sighs> Maybe you're right. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, it's work. I gotta take this. Yep, go for Hank. Well, the dishes aren't gonna dry themselves. You know what? Get the towels on the phone and tell them it is my way or the highway. <sighs>
What are we gonna do? This job is really bad for Hank. Yeah, and it's upset the delicate balance of our workplace. So, how can we get him to remember what's really important? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Blast off. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, huh? I think you missed a spot. Uh, hey, Tom, let me get you a bed. You table for one? No, we're just gonna get a quick bite, then give Ginger's rocket a test launch. You know, before we go to the big blast off. The rocket's built, huh? Yeah. Come on, I'll show it to you. Hey, Ginger, you built a rocket all by yourself? Let's see it. <gasps> she helped me. What do you think? It's not a, it's more of a, it's not that it's, it's just a, a how do I say this? What? Spit it out. Well, first of all, it's very pink. Pink is the slowest color in the rainbow. Everybody knows that. And, and look at the base. What about it? Is there some kind of fin shortage that I'm not aware of? Oh, it needs fins? Well, yes, it needs fins. Can you fix it, Hank? Well, I don't know, but we have to try something. Hank! Get over here! This totally solidified oatmeal is not going to scrape itself from this bowl. Oh, I'm sorry, Ginger. If I don't clean that oatmeal, I'll have to soak it overnight. This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy where Bongo got a second job selling pretzels at the mall. Then when McGillicuddy needed help preparing for the dune buggy race, Bongo realized it doesn't matter how many mall pretzels you sell if you don't have time to race a dune buggy with your best friend. <gasps> what am I doing here? You're taking these dishes to the kitchen. Rhonda, there are some things in life that are more important than clean dishes. Yeah, almost everything is more important than clean dishes. Now hurry up and clean these dishes. Sorry, Rhonda. Ginger and I are going to the wooden rocket blast off. What are you saying? I'm saying I quit. <laughs> we have some unfinished business. Meaning it needs way more fins. <laughs> it's coming. Okay. <laughs> Here's my apron and my sponge. Never liked you anyway. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go! Let's focus on winning the blast off. Mm, this looks interesting. No more distractions. <gasps> what is that? Reason number 11 that you aren't allowed to touch my stuff while I'm gone, some of it is extremely dangerous. Oh, Ben, just stop, okay? No one is gonna mess with your nerd equipment. And by the way, trying to scare us with talk of danger wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, danger is my middle name. It is? No, it's Hank. Wait, mm. your name is Hank Hank? Yeah, except in France where it's uh, honk honk. Reason number 12, you aren't allowed to touch my stuff while I'm gone. A little thing called respect. Mm. Well, uh, I have to go. I have that thing at the place. Huh? Gotta run. Oh, whoa! Can't believe I almost forgot about that thing at the place. I can't think of a fake excuse, so I'm just gonna go over there. Dun, 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 dun. Ben, buddy, just go, all right? I've got everything under control. But you guys stopped me right before reason 13. That seems like it might be a bad omen. Oh, come on. Just trust me, now go. No, 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 hold on a second. Go, 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 go. <laughs> He really thinks we'd mess with his stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Really? <laughs> huh? What? Uh, hey! <laughs> huh? Oh no! I'm close to touching something! And if I do, who knows what terrible thing might happen? Uh oh.
Well, you'll just have to tell the record company hey. that I will only do the world tour if I start in Antarctica. My penguin fan base is very important to me. Don't worry, Tom. Ben? Nobody touched your nerdy science things while you were gone. Uh, my science things? Hey, come chill with me, amigo. Angela. A new episode of McGillicuddy and Bongo is starting. McGillicuddy and Bongo? Don't you mean <laughs> Bongo and McGillicuddy? Oh, a camera, great. It seems I've been transported through a wormhole to a parallel universe. This looks like my normal residence, but everything is reversed. The strangeness is alarming, so I will approach the problem rationally and remain calm. I am freaking out! Ha! Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm stuck in some sort of bizarre world! You people are my friends, but you're, you're not my friends! Aw, oh, buddy, relax. I'm still Angela, TV-loving couch potato. And I'm still Honk Honk, the world's next biggest pop star. And I'm still Ben, cool front man of Ben and Tom Enterprises. Cool? <gasps> then that means I'm... You're Tom, the nerd. And... No. Hey, <laughs> Tom fainted again. <laughs> Minute. You're saying... Yes. And if you're here, then our Tom is... Yes. And the opposite of no is... Yes. Mm. How do we know you're not the real Tom? The glasses. Oh. This could be some kind of April Fool's Day prank. Aha, but it's not even April. Yeah, then we'd never expect it, okay? I'm on to you. I happen to be an expert on comedy, so I'd come up with something very funny if that was my goal. Example, why did the keynote speaker at the science conference cross the road? Why? To get to the other slide. <laughs> slide. Hey, who's stealing my jokes? So you're saying, in your universe, you're the cool one? Exactly. La, 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 la. Whatever, man. I don't see it. Oh. Hmm. But who cares? Welcome to our universe, Whoa. cool Tom. Yeah, thanks. Dude, this calls for a celebration. Cool. Is everything okay, Chumps? <laughs> uh, Ginger, is that you? This is new Tom. He's like a cool Tom from a parallel universe. Oh, welcome! Had I known we had a special guest, I'd have cooked a special dinner. I say we order milkshakes. No, let's order pizza. No way, milkshakes. Guys, 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 there's no need to fight. We can just order both. Wait, what? Both? Yeah, we'll just order pizza and milkshakes. But no! Whoa! Looks like we got a problem solver in the house. This is gonna be amazing. I'll go pick everything up. My treat. No, no, I insist. Yeah! yeah. Cool. Hey, Ginger, you wanna grab some candy while you're out too, huh? Well, I don't eat candy, but I'll gladly get some for you. This is so weird. Ah. Sure is great to have you here, but yeah. are you sure your friends won't miss you back in your universe? Are you kidding? It sounds like your nerd Tom is like our nerd Ben, so I'm sure they're having a great time together. I'm in charge of the rescue mission! I am trying to help. Okay, here's the plan. We all have to do our parts perfectly if we want this rescue mission to work. Otherwise, we may never get our Tom back and we'll be stuck with this monster! Who are you calling a monster? I'll have you know, in my universe, I am a well-respected man of science. Maybe your universe is dumb! Don't you dare talk about my universe like that! Enough! Let's just hurry up and rescue Tom so you two will never have to see each other again! Fine with me. Fine with me, too. Oh, I just hope we're not too late. Yeah, if things are bad here, it must be terrible over there for Tom. Best day ever! Hey, Tom, I think I speak for everyone when I say you're the coolest guy we've ever met in any universe. Oh, man. He's right, Tom. Things have been way more fun with you here. We haven't gotten any work done, but spending quality time with your friends is also important. Hey, you guys, McKillicuddy and Bongo is starting. Oh. 
Okay. TV. Would you care for a fresh picked carrot? I'll skip the carrots, but you know what I would like to eat? So, like, you're me? I don't want to hear it! I saw what you were doing! We're gonna get you out of here! I don't want to go! I don't want to go! I don't want to go! This is for your own good! Uh, what's going on, new town? Yep. Oh, no! I have to stay here if this Angela likes me! Angela, hey! Ginger! Uh, get back no. to the wormhole now! This is for your own good! Can't make me! Ginger, that candy wasn't meant to be. Oh, how could you? Didn't you see me and the other Angela? Listen, I saw you and that fake Angela, and I don't like what I saw. Uh, wait a minute. Why do you care so much about me and that other Angela? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Who said I cared? Not me. It seems like you care a little. I, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Gotta go, bye. I want to talk about it. Ah, everything's back to normal. You guys, I'm ready for the big rescue mission. Well, I see you forgot about me. So typical of you, Ben. You see, this is why I should have been in charge of this project. Okay, that's it. Oh. Time to close this thing for good. <gasps> must have forgotten that I, Love Nar the Warrior Dwarf, possess Kazdorian huh? Diamond Armor! <laughs> Is anyone else completely lost? Let me check the Basements and Banshees official guide. As your foolish attack fails, I use my agility points to skip your turn. Agility points? What are those? Hey, give me the book, quick! My victory is assured. No, it isn't! Says here, I can cast Rebuking Light to thwart your attack. Mm, do you mean this <gasps> Rebuking Light? <gasps> Wait, what just happened? I don't know. Uh, uh, ben wins? How could I lose? <gasps> You'll pay for this, Ginger! Uh, it wasn't me. It was Scrimshaw. If I had a dollar for every time Ginger ruined something, I'd have... Well, let's see. If we let X equal the number of things ruined per week. Hi, and we can have... I help you? Oh, yes. I just... Anybody in there? Yes! 
Ah, <laughs> sorry. I was wondering if you could help me fix my broken heart. <laughs> Phone! Oh, of course I can. That's my job. I am a grape geek. My name is Xenon. Like the element! What a grape name! Grape name? Oh, sorry. Just because we're in the grape store. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good! You're funny. <laughs> would you say I'm very funny? Oh, I would! I would say that. Calm down. No need to go bananas! <laughs> Ah, uh, you come to work thinking it's going to be just another day, then all of a sudden you're at a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of this make sense to you? Nope, I thought we were just looking at the pictures. Ah, I'm in love! Hey, that's great. I hope it's not you-know-who again. <laughs> no, not the moon again. It's a girl. By girl, do you mean planet Venus? <laughs> <laughs> no, a real person. Look, 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 look. Her name's Sinan, and she works at the grape store. Whoa, she gave you her number? Then it sounds like this girl wants you to ask her out. Out? Out where? On a date. With whom? With you. <gasps> oh, no! What should I do? Should I call? Should I do it in person? Should I develop an app to do it? Easy, Harry Styles. Let's just run through some scenarios and see what you've got. <laughs> All right, Ben, just pretend you're asking Zeno. Xenon. Oh, sorry, uh, out on a date. Now, just do your thing and we'll give you notes. Just do my thing, got it. <clears throat> Hi, Xenon, would you like to go out with me sometime? And we're gonna stop you right there. Why? What did I do wrong? You can't just walk right up and ask her out. You're being too bold. Yeah. Oh. What? No, don't listen to him, Ben. Uh, You're not being bold enough. Just listen to your heart and tell her how you feel. Uh -huh. He can't just tell her how he feels. Then she'd know exactly how he feels. Uh -huh. feel? Are you kidding me? He has to. Oh, really? How do you expect anything to ever happen if he doesn't romance her? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the rush? Huh? I don't see why he can't just... Play it cool. Uh, okay. Start out as friends, and maybe make a move in a few years or so. You're hopeless, Tom. Huh? Xenon has probably been waiting on Ben uh. to make a move forever. She has. Uh -huh. Well, maybe he's afraid to risk their friendship, uh -huh. and he just needs some sort of sign from her. Uh, hello? She's been giving him nothing but signs. He needs to take it slow. He needs to be romantic. Slow. Be romantic. Slow. Romantic. Slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it. Oh, we're here. There she is. Hey, hi. Oh, dear. Well, every time. I, I just need to find my glasses now. I can't. Ah. Here we are. Xenon! It's good to see you! Ben! Cherry, nice of you to stop by. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious! You're so wonderfully clever and, and, and smart, and but also clever. And you're hilarious! Did I say that? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, sup, dude! Uh, not much, D dude. No! Huh? Bigger! Bolder! <clears throat> People of the Grape Store! Your attention, please! I'd like to make a grand gesture of a romance. Oh, no. Ben, why are you acting so weird? See? Should've listened to me. See? Should've listened to me. And who are they? They're instructing me on romance and playing it cool and... I've, I've never met them in my life. I gotta go! Okay, bye! Keep it down! Oh. oh, Ben, wait! Yeah, Ben, wait up! <laughs> So my phone does this weird thing where I don't get any text messages from Angela. Is that like a technical thing uh, or? Have you tried turning it off and then turning it on again? Ah. Ben, I'm sorry we gave you such bad advice. <sighs> It'll be okay. We just need to practice some more and then you can show her the real Ben. Ben, from now on, I will only respond to Glavnar the warrior dwarf. Cold and heartless. Ben, I... Glavnar! Right, of course, Glavnar. Listen, what do you say we get some ice cream to cheer you up? I know not of this ice cream you speak of, peasant. Besides, warrior dwarves are lactose intolerant. But... Mm, what? <sighs> Betrayed and embarrassed, Glavnar wanders the dark forest of dim shadows, destined to live alone. <gasps> Ma, I got a delivery. <laughs> Hey, what's that? 
Oh, wow, look! Special delivery for Glavnar the Warrior Dwarf. Mm -hmm. Glavnar isn't home. <sighs> oh. Brave Glavnar, you are invited to a Basements and Banshees secret tournament for the best players in the universe. <laughs> Tomorrow night. Well, Password <laughs> is Hey, if you're not going, can I fill in for you? I'd make a great Glavnar. Never! I'm not letting some amateur play Glavnar and ruin my reputation. So you'll go? 65 interest, 45 certainty. I have to roll for it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Too easy. Half word. <clears throat> Hop the goblin! Welcome to the quest, Glavnar, warrior dwarf. Meet your opponents. I am Clink, the Jade Bandit. And I am Artemis, the Woodland Archer. I am Mortimer, the Wizard King! <laughs> there is one challenger who has yet to arrive. Their identity, a mystery. Hello? Sorry I'm late. I put the password in my pants and then I washed them and now the password is all smudged. It looks like hamburgers though. Is it hamburgers? I really hope it's hamburgers. Eh, close enough. Xenon, what are you doing here? Xenon? Who's Xenon? I am Gorp, the Ogre Queen! Oh, Gorp. Let the quest begin! Oh. Mortimer, with this banishing rod, I cast ye out to the stony mountains of hardened rock. I am felled. And down goes the Wizard King! <laughs> Not so fast, Clink. You've been captured by the King's Guard. Enjoy the inside of your prison cell. No! This cannot be! Clink the Jade Bandit, you are defeated. Looks like it's just the three of us now. Make that two. I cast the expunge card on you, sleeping Artemis. And now he never even existed. Get him out, get him out. <laughs> Good one, Glav. <laughs> oh, well played, Glavnar. Glavnar. Uh, uh, not so fast. Prepare to be crushed into dust, for I wield the Warhammer of Peace! <laughs> I dodge your blow and freeze you with encasement ice. I hope you're not too chilly, my ogre queen. Oh, a move most smooth. Or it would be if I wasn't protected by the flaming knight of the glacier realm. Listen, Gladnar, Gorp, it's pretty late. What do you say we pause the game and you two can pick it up another time? Hmm. Gorp, would you agree to a truce until, say, Friday night? No, I'd like that, Glavnar. <laughs> <laughs> so it is desired, so it shall be written. Yeah, let's write it down. What should we say, eight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, it's a date then. Let's all get out of here. Yes! Oh, we pulled it off! Yeah. And it's all because Ben followed my advice and played it cool. Wait, wait, wait. What game did you see? Because every move Ben made was totally a romantic expression of his what? feelings. Tom and Angela stopped huh? talking about stupid dating stuff and took Ginger to the diner for a milkshake. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that, Ginger. Oh, okay. Well, with no milkshake, Ginger decided to announce... Tom's feelings for the <gasps> girl he secretly likes. <laughs> oh, so, uh, second huh? thought milkshakes are on me. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, who is ready to try the greatest sandwich the world has ever known? The Hank Special. I Oh, me too. I'm starving. No, I'm starving more. Now for the finishing touch, my secret ingredient. I don't want to reveal what it is, so please close your eyes. <sighs> Has anybody seen the vinegar? Is vinegar your secret ingredient? <laughs> nice try, Angela. Ooh, you guys, you guys. Huh? <sighs> this CEO is having a birthday party, and we're invited. <laughs> Wait, how did we get an invite? Well, let's just say that someone hacked into the guest list and added our names. Ahem! Fine. Ginger hacked the guest list, but I asked him to. It was so easy. 
Oh, you guys are gonna get into so much trouble. Not when we show up to his party with our newest invention, the Tompoline. This supercharged trampoline will revolutionize the world of spring and fabric-based propulsion. Huh? Guess who has two thumbs and is performing at the CEO's birthday party? Is it Angela? Yeah, is it Angela? No, it's me! They booked me to do stand-up! Stand-up comedy? No thanks, I'm gonna go lie down. How many astronomers does it take to screw in a light bulb? None! They prefer to work in the dark. <laughs> ah, enough! We have got to stop Ben. If the CEO hears one of his terrible jokes, he's gonna think we're the lamest, most uninspired company ever. Which means there's no way we'll be millionaires by the date I predicted on my calendar. I'm sorry, but your stand-up is just not as good as uh, it could be. That's an understatement. I'm all for constructive criticism. That's how we artists improve. Well, there's something... Uh, maybe it's your delivery, or your jokes, or the fact that you're not funny. So, you're saying it's my delivery, then? Or maybe, you know, the other two things I mentioned. Hmm. So all I have to do is find some way to improve my delivery. Oh, no. Was that his robot building face? Friends, prepare to witness history. To improve my comedy delivery, I created the world's first fully robotic Fully hilarious ventriloquist dummy! <laughs> Rise, Galileo! Rise! Oh, yeah, I named him Galileo. Hello, I am Galileo. Enthusiasm on, calculating comedy, loading jokes. It's a lie! A lie! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this reminds me of that movie about the bad scientist who created a monster. You mean Frankenstein? No, that's not it. Hank, you're thinking of Frankenstein. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nope, that's vinegar. Whatever, Stein. Nice to be here. Say, why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? I don't know, Galileo. Why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? Because he was looking for a big reaction. <laughs> Thank you. Is Galileo even less funny than Ben? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretending I can't hear. Did I just make a joke about chemistry? Yikes! That is lame! <laughs> Almost as lame as that lab coat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, yeah! Huh? The only thing more drab and boring than that lab coat is the guy wearing it. Hey, yo! He got you, Ben! Did somebody just say something? <laughs> because all I heard was. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the vinegar from Hank's sandwich had the perfect acidity to turn Galileo into a delightful wisecracker. For the first time ever, I'm actually confident that Ben will get laughs on stage. I'm sure there's been other times. Nope. Uh... A little more vinegar. Make sure his tongue is sharp for tomorrow. A little extra comedy never hurt anybody. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Guarded. You look thirsty. Oh, let me water your flowers. <laughs> Come on, my girl, cutty, back to headquarters. <laughs>
And then he laid in a tree and ate eucalyptus for 20 whole minutes. It was awesome. And they actually <laughs> showed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lady was stuck. The koala is all about marsupial very I chew! Oh, I'm sorry. I just happen to be allergic to boring stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yo, Galileo. Remember to save some zings for the big show today, hmm? Don't worry. I'll be ready. <laughs> Me too. I even wrote a new song. Um, hey, Mr. CEO, give us a little dough. Be a pal. Don't be mean. Please buy a top of leaves. Ow! Last time I heard a noise that shrill, my dentist was giving me a root canal. <laughs> 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 Uh, whoa, hey, Galileo, that is a little harsh. Did I strike a nerve? Yes, you struck a nerve. Ow, 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 ow. What's with Galileo? These aren't even jokes, they're just straight up insults. I don't know, I think he's funnier than ever. Eddie, he's funnier than ever. Hey, no splash, Tiny. Nobody cares if a dumb face thinks. <laughs> hey! Chillax, Brobot. Ginger's just a kid. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Too much? Ben, you gotta do something. If he insults the CEO like this, we're gonna be in serious trouble. <laughs> Something's gone haywire. I'm gonna shut Galileo down so I can check his circuits. Watch it, pal. No one's shutting anyone down. Hate to break it to you, talking Tom. Or should I say, never stop talking Tom. But I am gonna insult the CEO. And I'm gonna make sure he knows I was proudly built by Tom and Ben Enterprises. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. <laughs> Stop, no! Check, one, two, okay, I see three checks. Just a reminder, charity donations made in my name do not count as birthday presents. Bow, wow, wow! Hey, looks like it's time for the comedian. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I was distracted by that filthy half-dead caterpillar stapled to your lip. <laughs> that? Well, I, I had soup earlier and uh, there was no napkin. <laughs> works for you, or they just want to sell you their lame inventions. <laughs> Where'd you get the outfit from? Make me look bad. Dot suit. And the company you founded? Guess what? It's terrible. The only worst company is the one run by <laughs> those guys. Don't listen to him, Mr. CEO. They're the ones who built me. God, I'm done. Ah. Hey, what? Hey, 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 get off of me! What's the big idea? I had to. What was that? Uh, sir, I just created Galileo to help me with my comedy delivery. I'm very sorry if he offended you. Oh, I'm not offended. <laughs> what, really? Do you know what it's like being the most powerful CEO in town? Heck yeah! Of course you don't. Everyone's always telling you what you want to hear. No one ever gives it to you straight. This robotic dummy was finally giving me some honest feedback as part of his comedy act, but you destroyed him! Wow, I don't know what to say. Well, you better think of something, because I paid for a comedy show. So why did the <sighs> teacher send the periodic table to Boo! The no science jokes. Come on, be funny like your insult comedy dummy. <laughs> All right. Does he know it's my birthday? Hey, CEO, I heard you're so mean that your goldfish evolved legs and ran away. Uh, <laughs> goldfish? She... She's... She's passed away. How could you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, I had no idea. And you ruined my birthday. Security! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Everybody run! <laughs> and see. Go. Don't limit yourself to bananas. <laughs> Wait, no. No! Uh -oh. <laughs> I 
I'm sure you're all wondering why we're all gathered here today. No, I'm not. No, me either. I didn't even know we were gathered. Well, rather than shout across the room, I'll come closer and tell you about my most revolutionary invention yet. The first ever teleportation device. <laughs> How'd you do that? Who are you and what have you done with the bed that was right over there? Hold your questions. I seem to have forgotten an object at my previous location. <laughs> Forgot an object? Retrieve. Oh, ben, do you realize what this means? Yeah. Ben will never have to walk across this room again. Can I try it? Well, of course you can. I'm a pioneer of science. Yeah, we're pioneers of... <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> <gasps> ben, they're not coming back. Are they coming back? They're supposed to come back. I don't know. I've never tried it with two people. Oh, that could be them. <laughs> Tom, that was stupid and dangerous. Yeah, what were you thinking? Why do I sound like this? <gasps> Why do I sound like Tom? This is very strange. Hello? Hello, my name is Angela. Hey, what? Angela no, sounds just like Tom. What is happening? <gasps> Which means... Huh? Come on, Tom. Say something. Say something. Hi. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Ben, what's going on? Why do I sound like this? Your voice instructions must have somehow gotten crossed. You two got voice swapped. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I want my voice back. I got it. We can just go back through the teleporter the opposite way we came. Yes, let's try that. Hmm, interesting. According to my calculations, that might leave you even more mixed up. Oh. <gasps> Is this permanent? Definitely not. After a few days, your cells will regenerate and your voices should return to normal, annoying voices. A few days? Can't you find a way to fix this sooner? Strictly impossible. Unless I... No, let me try something. Wow, you really do have a lovely voice. Do you want me to sing to you? La, 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 la. Uh, Are you gonna say something? I would, but every time I open my mouth, I hear your voice. Wow, Tom sounds really mad at Tom. That's Angela's phone. Uh-oh, it's her mom. Rocket bike! We put a rocket on a bike! Rocket bike! Our bossy grown-ups always telling you what to do. Yeah! Be the boss of your own life now! Tom? Tom? Hey, Tom. It's me, Angela. You're so smart and funny and handsome. I really wish you were my boyfriend. I really wish you were my boyfriend. Yeah, that's a keeper. Tom? You in there? Uh, just a minute! Uh, Angela left her phone here. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? It's your mother. I mean, it's her mother. Yeah, and? If a kid doesn't answer when their mom calls, the mom will worry. Yeah, you're right. I better take this. Hi, Mom! It's me, Angela! Uh, your daughter! Rocket bike! Order your rocket bike today. Must have permission from a grown-up to order a rocket bike. Rocket bike! Rocket bike! I'm calling to order a rocket bike! Oh, unfortunately, you must be at least 18 to order your rocket bike. Huh, you don't know how old I am! I can tell by your voice, you're just a little kid, little kid, little kid! Mm -hmm. oh. Come on, Ben, think. Oh. Think, think, think. I know, I'm thinking, obviously, I'm thinking, but think smart. Hmm. If I can refocus the plasma injector, no, oh, no, that would disrupt the cell reassembly nodes. Uh huh. Oh. Wow, that was sure a long and detailed story. <gasps> uh, um, hey, mom, quick question: Have I ever talked to you about a guy named Tom? You know the really cool, handsome, charming guy. <laughs> ah, Lance. Who's Lance? Hey, mister, you watch where you're going! 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't wake your baby. Oh. One chance, Lance. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Angela. Lance. Oh, baby, you sound upset. You're mad because I still haven't invited you here. <gasps> I know, I know, I promised, but until now, I wasn't sure you had enough experience to work in my club. But if you're this confident of your talent, I will put you on stage tonight. Oh, you're a music promoter? Yes. I heard a yes. <gasps> tonight? And remember, they don't call me one chance Lance for nothing. Uh, uh... <laughs> but seriously, you got one shot at this. Don't mess it up. Uh, wait. Lance, huh? <laughs> Great news! Lance thinks you're ready to work at his club tonight. Well, I can't sing with this stupid voice. Then I'll cancel. No! No! If you cancel on Lance, he never lets you work for him again. That's why they call him one chance. Yes, Lance, I get it. What do you want me to do? <sighs> you're gonna sing my songs. Ah! <gasps> Where are the teleportation discs? Hello, mailman. Do you have a rocket bike for me? No, that's okay. I'll just borrow your grown-up voice and I'll get my home. Aha! Right on time, as usual. Oh. Oh. Rocket bike. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? No mail for this address today. Sorry, kid. My grass is bright green. I've got nothing to fear. I'm full of soap and screams. <laughs> it's hopes and dreams, not soap and screams. Come on. Maybe we should just cancel. No, we can't. I'm not going to mess up my one and only opportunity to perform at this club just because just you... Just sing together. You can't tell whose voice is whose when you're singing at the same time. Uh... <laughs> Crave it for cucumber soaked in brine. It is pickle time. Ginger grown up Bington here. Please send me your 
fastest rocket bike right away. I'll bet one tortellini and one teaspoon to start. Mm-mm. I think Tom's kettle is too spicy for me. I am out. Ooh, Tom's on a roll. I bout to. Oh, are you playing noodle spoons? I wanna play! I wanna play! Sorry, Ginger, you're too young for this game. <gasps> ben raises it two spoons? You have two burnt noodles showing, Tom. To win, you need at least a wild fettuccine in your kettle. The odds of that are 300 to one. <laughs> I'm not playing the odds. I'm playing you. <gasps> Looks like Ben's going all in too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do it! Ben folds! Noodle spoons going to Tom. Uh, mm, mm, uh. <laughs> mm, show me what you had, Tom. I have to know. Eh, you were right. I was bluffing. Ah! <gasps> I knew it! I didn't know it. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All hail the lord of the land! The land! Silence! I warned you once about being loud. Nothing. I warned you twice. Still nothing. Do you know what happens now? A uh, third time's the charm, right? You're all evicted! Ah! Ah! I beg of thee, do not cast us from your lads, your landlordship. We were playing noodle spoons and we got carried away. We're sorry. Mmm, noodle spoons. What a novel game. I've never heard of it. Never played noodle spoons? Oh, man, sit down. It looks fun. Is it fun? You gotta let me show you how fun this is. Okay, boil me in. Well, the landlord's triple linguine beats Tom's huh? pair of ramen noodles. Ha <laughs> ha, you won. Again. God, can't believe it. This is a fun game. Teaching me this fun game. How about we say you no longer evicted? Yeah! Ha -ha! Everyone friends again. Thank thee, your landlordship. Look at all these noodles and these spoons. Too bad we weren't playing for something more valuable, eh? We could do that. If you want. Oh? No, I don't. What do you suggest? How about this? If I win this next game, we get... free rent for one month. Huh? Okay. And if I win, I get to be CEO of your company. For a month. <gasps> what? All I heard was okay. Let's do this. Oh, goodness. Molly me. I should have quit when I had the chance. I never even heard of this. Gentlemen, your final noodle. Okay, Tom, show us your noodles. Mm. Whoa, pretty impressive. Tom has a full pot. <laughs> Linguine yeah. high and macaroni on the shelf. Gonna be tough to beat that. All the same color, all the same size. No one wants that, right? What? No, you have a spinach noodle <gasps> flush! Spinach flush? You win! I win this game? No! Ah, that means I am your CEO for a month! Oh. <laughs> Whip them uh. and read it! No, 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 this is not happening. We're playing again. Don't do this, Tom. Ben's right. You should quit. You're not on a roll anymore. It's up to the players to decide if they want to quit, and I don't. One more game. Sure, this is fun, yeah. But I picked the bet. If you win, everything is back to normal. But if I win, I get to be the CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprises forever. What? <gasps> yeah, whatever, it's a deal. It's a deal, Tom, what are you thinking? Silence! Hmm. A lasagna straight. See, Ben, I told you I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the landlord also has a lasagna straight. But wait, it's gluten free. The landlord wins. Oh, come on. Oh, oh and you know what that means. Landlord is now your new boss. New boss, new boss, 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 boss. <laughs> Company meeting outside, five minutes. Do not be late. Bad. talk about beginner's luck. Beginner? Yeah, right. 
<laughs> I am no beginner. No, sir, dippy dandy. I wrote the book on how to be a noodle spoon hustler. Sued to be a major motion picture. Hey, can I borrow that? <laughs> <sighs> the landlord wrote the book on noodle spoons. I wonder why he never said anything. Because he was hustling you. So obvious. <laughs> These are for cleaning, Mr. Genius. Because we're a cleaning company now. <laughs> Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't actually work for the company, so <laughs> uh, good luck with um, everything. Bye! Law dart! Duck and cover! Ah! I found my dad's old law dart! Oh. Come on down so we can play with them! Cool! I'll be right down! Sorry, Ginger. We can't play lawn darts until we finish all our cleaning assignments. <laughs> nope. What took so long? We need a break. Ah, uh, yeah? You know what I need? I need workers who don't complain uh. about a little hard work. <gasps> what have you done with my computer? Oh, I remove all this uh, useless clutter. Useless clutter? I see it! It's in there! Get me back my computer now! You will get one hour of computer time. Maybe. <laughs> What do you want? I want my friends back, which means you have to quit as CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprises now! Oh, I see. Tell you what, landlord has better idea. <laughs> <laughs> what the hey? You don't know me that well, so I'll just tell you. When I'm bored, I get into mischief. And as long as you're CEO, I'm going to be very bored. Okay, small annoying one, let's work something out. I will give you a chance to take my place as CEO if you can win it from me. Fine. How about a game of Flappy Tom? What, you think I was born in this morning? Come on now. You are Flappy Tom expert. Pick another game. All right. What about noodle spoons? Noodle spoons? Let's boil the kettle. What is going on here? Noodle spoons. One game only. If the landlord wins, Ginger can never step foot in this building again. But if Ginger wins, then... Then I am the new CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprises. Yeah, that. Ginger as CEO? That would be even worse. No matter who wins, we lose. Ginger, what are you thinking? Even Tom couldn't beat the landlord at Noodle Spoons. Don't worry, Hank. I never enter a Noodle Spoons battle unless I know the outcome. Oh, a line from my book. <laughs> so you know how to read, eh? Huh? Time to say goodbye to this garage forever. <laughs> Okay, 
Here is the key to my protection cage. If you thought that landlord was tough, wait until you see me. <laughs> oh, no. Now what? <laughs> okay, for my first order, I command you to make everything back to how it was before the landlord hustled Tom. Uh, huh? But you weren't our boss back then. Wait, are you giving us our company back? Yep, I missed you guys. <laughs> 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 Fun. It's one of the most important things in life. No, it isn't. And some of us have been working way too much lately. He's talking about you, Ben. <sighs> Which is why we're going to make Ben's mandatory day off the funnest day ever. <laughs> 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 Lots of fun having fun. <sighs> I can hear you. Tom, funnest is not a word. And your mandatory day off sounds anything but fun. You'll change your mind when we get to the fun museum. Look, it says right here, it's fun for everyone. Nothing is fun for everyone. Ben, fun is fun. Don't overthink it. <laughs> the fun bus is here. Woo! <laughs> hey, where's Ginger? Hey guys, bad news. I can't go to the fun museum. No! Hey, how come? My mom is making me clean my rooms today. Aw, oh, chin up, young man. We'll bring you back a super deer. I'll just stay home and work. Not a chance, Ben. Oh, don't touch me! This mandatory day off is supposed to be fun. They're right, Ben. Go, please. And have some extra fun for me. Oh, poor Ginger. Huh? I can't believe I just said that. Okay, come on, everyone, all aboard the fun bus. Yeah! Fun bus, fun bus, fun bus! Bye, everyone! Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> I know I will. I hope they have one of those fight simulators that makes you super dizzy. I hope they have a photo booth where you get to put on those old time Wild West costumes. Pew pew! I call train robber. I call lonely prospector who loves to dance but has a mule who never lets him lead. Um, yes, I will dress as a saloon owner who invents the first robotic bartender. Um. Okay, that's uh, not oh, bad. Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> All right. Hello, and welcome to the Fun Museum, the museum of fun. Hey, you look really familiar. Yeah, where have we met? <clears throat> if you have not, now, when the doors <laughs> open, you will safely <laughs> enter exhibit <laughs> number one, the uh, oh. right water rafting experience. <laughs> no, 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 no water. I will wait for you in the fun box. Uh -uh. <laughs> no way, Ben. You're having fun whether you like it or not. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some people say that whitewater rafting is the most exciting of all the water sports. But the key to maximizing your rafting fun is preparation. Preparation? Here is recommended supply list for whitewater rafting experience that is fun. Interesting. One, a life vest. Mm -hmm. Two, a whistle. Correct. Three, footwear. I've read instruction manuals that are more fun than this guy. Well, at least it can only get better. Now, are you ready to learn how fast this raft can go? Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Let us assume our water velocity measuring instrument traveled 10 meters in 32 seconds. To find the time it took to travel one meter, we just divide the distance the measuring instrument traveled 10 meters in 32 seconds. By the time, it's 0.3125 meters per second. Woo! Nailed it! Correct! <laughs> and for this, now, you are designated king of fun. Hey, look, I'm the king of fun! Say cheese! Pictures are forbidden. Sorry. I try. Someone always says, Ginger, that's not a toy. That doesn't even make sense. See this cable? Now it's an electric snake. See this stapler? Now it's a dragon that spits metal at deadly cable snakes. Ben's death chair is now a trampoline. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Ooh. Do not touch Ginger.
teacher. I don't take orders from a box. <laughs> wow, those pie charts in the circus room were mind-blowing. And the Hall of Puzzles? Wow! Did you guys know there were that many ways to win a Sudoku? Nope, and I still don't. You were right, Tom. A trip to the Fun Museum is just what I needed. What? This place isn't fun at all. Sure it is. It says right on the tickets, it's fun for everyone. <clears throat> By now, you are asking, what is origin of fun? Uh, no. Well, the first <laughs> recorded of fun. instance of fun occurred during the reign of King Ramses VIII in the year 1129 before <laughs> Common Era. Ancient fun. The best. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. Uh, no way. Uh, are you crazy? Uh, uh, oh, oh. You must complete a tour to exit. Yeah. <laughs> a toy, which I will prove, right? So boring. I'm so bored. B -b 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 boring If fun gets out of control, you may find yourself laughing. Ah, 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 ah. But what is laughter? And is it safe? Hmm, good question. <laughs> laughter involves the forceful exhalation of breath. At times, the breathing muscles can work so hard that laughing can make your heart beat as well as exercise. Hey, Tom, catch! So boring. Ah! Oh, Angela! My help! My help! Unauthorized fun in the laughter room. <clears throat> Your unauthorized play is in violation of fun museum rules. Stop it, Tom. You're breaking the fun museum rules. Give me that unpredictably bad <laughs> educational heart. Give it before. I Ow! want to get kicked out. Commencing removal protocol. Oh, finally. Charles! <laughs> It wasn't a ride. It was punishment for breaking museum rules. Why are you so angry? I mean, no one was having fun until I got us kicked out. Tom, you obviously don't even know what fun is. <gasps> what? Uh, oh, hey, you guys were there. I mean, that place was forcing its boring idea of fun on us. Yeah, just like you did to Ben. But... Mm. I'm sorry, what? You told Ben that fun is the most important thing in life. So you forced him to go to the fun museum. But since it wasn't fun for you, you thought it wasn't fun for anyone. I, uh, I, I did, didn't I? She's right, Tob. But hey, it wasn't a total loss. Plus, we got us a soup fun deer. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What's all that noise in there? All right, fun's over. Show yourself so I can evict you for this noise violation. Oh, <laughs> so you want to play the hide and the seek, eh? <laughs> Found you! Aha! Ah. Not, not there. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I will turn this place upside right, outside down, and inside up if I have to. But I will find you! Oh, yes! I will find you! <gasps> Someone's in there! Oh, no! Oh, no. Uh oh! Oh! Huh? Aha! There you are! <laughs> hey! My sonic surfboard! Oh! Uh, oh, I, I hear noise, you know? So I come to investigate and then. Maybe evict you, I don't know, but I could not find you, so, you know. Nice try, but no one was here. We were at the fun museum. No, but I heard, uh, I know I hear a noise say. Oh, please, at least try to come up with a better lie than that. It's true, it's true, I, I was say. Uh... Hey, 
Fun idea I'm having. Let's forget our problems with a game of hide and seek, okay? <laughs> I seek first. What? But you just destroyed our place. Ten, nine, better go hide. Huh? Eight, seven, huh? Six, hide, 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 hide. Five. Yeah. Out of my way. No, guys, he's trying to make us leave. Someone will be easy to find. Five. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at him, running, <laughs> laughing, so cheerful. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they do know Three, how to have fun. Two, one, zero. Ready or not, here comes landlord. Or maybe a spontaneous game of hide and seek really is the one thing that's fun for everyone. <laughs> oh, you are to eat. What is this junk? This junk is the most mind-blowingly cool idea I've ever come up with. And the most mind-blowingly cool machine I've ever made. Wow! And you made it look just like that junky VHS player we found in the alley behind the abandoned video store. What are the odds? Well, it is. But thanks to my intricate modifications, it's now a high-tech gadget that allows you to rewind the very fabric of time and travel back to the past. It's called... The Time Rewinder. Can it still play old videotapes? Well, of course it can. Duh. Mind blown. Ooh, let's try it. I want to go back in time and meet Cleopatra. I would love to borrow one of her snake armbands. Well, there's not enough room on this tape to record that much history. But I do have the last few years of our lives on here. Ahem. <clears throat> Allow me to demonstrate. Stop! Oh! Whatever you do, do not press the rewind button. Who are you? I'm you, from the future. A mistake you made on the tape loading roller caused severe problems in the future. Wrong! All wrong! I'm you, from the future's future, and I've come to fix your boneheaded mistake. You're all wrong! Am I the only future Ben who understands quantum mechanics? Out of the way, dummies! General Ben is here. Okay, this is just confusing now. Ben. Uh, uh, ben Prime. <laughs> uh, can I have a word with you? <clears throat> Don't press that button! Come on! I'm sorry. I've changed my mind. This thing should not exist. But I've come up with an idea. We have to go back in time to before I came up with this idea and make sure that I never come up with this idea. I don't know, Tom. With all the adjustments these bends made, the rewinder might be too dangerous now. No, no, and no! You've all made a mess of things! I think that's a chance we'll have to take. Out of the way, step back. What? Wait! Uh... Oh! What? Hold! Oh. Hi! <coughs> I am from the futurist future of all. Hmm? You're late. <laughs> we interrupt with breaking news. The Banana Berry Bandit has struck again. <gasps> Hold on, Ginger. The Banana Berry Bandit could be anyone. It could be your friend. Or your girlfriend. Guys, seriously! What is so important that you had to... What? Oh, no. Do you realize what this means? Wow, it worked. Of course it worked. Give me that. Where are we? This isn't the garage. <gasps> We're in Angela's apartment. Let's not jump to conclusions. For all we know, <laughs> this could just be one big coincidence. You're absolutely right, Tom. I'm sure this isn't what it looks like. Who are we kidding, Ben? Angela's a banana berry bandit, we all know it. So where are you guys gonna go when we run from the law? No one's running from anything. Our Angela is our friend. We cannot just hand her over to the police. No, 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 no. This isn't far back enough, Ben. I thought about the time rewinder way before this, uh, um, uh, misunderstanding. I know, I know, but look, we can't make it that far back in one rewind. Now stay low so we don't see us while this thing cools down. How could we ever think that Angela was a thief? Look, even if she is guilty, we have to help her. And how are we supposed to do that? Ah, who could that be? Federal agent! Uh... What are we gonna do, Hank Gas? Terrified? Destroy the evidence! Hey, you wanna know what? This is really awkward, so I'm just gonna, you know, I mean, as long as we're here. <laughs> don't disturb anything. We don't know what effect it'll have on our future. It'll only take a second. No, Tom! Did someone say, let yourself in? <laughs> Maybe I should just go. He's saying too much! 
That's a mail. Hey, everyone! I've come from the future to save us from another. <laughs> hey, everybody! Don't listen to this time. Everything's fine and normal and in the present. Uh. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Tom, you can't do stuff like that. Even embarrassing events from the past may be crucial to preserving the timeline we live in. Yeah. Okay. I get that now. Ginger, what does the ghost sodar say? It says there's something this way. It must be Big Beard. Okay, but be on the lookout. Whenever Jack Sauna thinks the ghost is in front of him, something happens right behind him. Ah! Ah! Quick, over here! Ah! Big Beard, be gone ye from this cursed home! Ah! Now, just a few more rewinds, and we'll be able to make sure you never even thought of this thing. Hey, Ben, <laughs> remember that time we told Hank and Ginger a ghost story so they'd be too scared to touch your computer while we were gone? <laughs> yeah, that's happening right now. Yeah, sure, I remember, but we scared them so much they ended up destroying my computer. <gasps> my computer! It's not ruined yet! I can save it! Ben, no! Don't do it! Oops. Let's do this. No ghost is gonna ah. outsmart us! Ah! Big Beard! We're sorry we touched Ben's computer, but we're not really pirates, okay? You get it, right? Ah. No! Ah. 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 The pirates! You aim high, I'll aim low. I'm aiming everywhere! You're doing exactly what you told me not to do. This is different. We can save an innocent computer. Ah. Ah. What was that? Okay, that's enough. Something weird is happening, Ben. I think we're messing with the past too much. Please to haunt you. <laughs> ben, wh yeah. why would you do that? Those two deserve to be really scared for what they did to my computer. Ben, from now on, we don't do anything that could change our timeline. Got it? Yes, definitely. From now on. <laughs> Just messed up, just messed up. Oh, I remember this. It's when they built that fort. Oh, yeah, but this wasn't the fun part. Uh, let's keep it going. No, wait. This is the part where they... Pour the oil! Pouring! Olive oil! I've had it with a stupid fort. <laughs> <laughs> um, stupid. <laughs> okay. Someone give me an emotion, and I will perform that emotion to you. Jealousy! The whimsical! You're tired because you've been walking today! Now, why would you stop there? Um, oh, no! Four layers is too much acting for anyone! Acting? <sighs> <laughs> okay, now we're even. <laughs> so I said, uranium, more like my anium, huh? Am I right? <laughs> if I wasn't me, I'd be my biggest fan. Yeah, we gotta go. Hold on, one more joke. <laughs> Bromine. <laughs> right, bro? Mean. Cadmium. <laughs> I just met him. <laughs> wow, even once a second time. I'm hilarious. I really am. Ben, we have to rewind faster. Try the double speed rewind. No way, Tom. This is 80s technology. No one's tested the double speed rewind in 30 years. Let's just try it. <laughs> You'll thank me for this. Oh, this ah. is crazy, Tom. Relax. It's working fine. If the tape guides snap, we could completely warp our timeline. Trust me, everything was better in the 80s. Whoa. Uh, why are we going forward? Oh. Uh oh. The time rewinder ate the tape. What just happened? Well, time froze because the machine ate the tape, which triggered a flux quantum pause, and now there's most likely a rip in the space-time continuum, obviously. Uh, quick question. Uh, what happens if we can't fix the tape? Good question. We're stuck here forever! What? No, we we can't be. I, if we're stuck in time forever, I'll never spend time with Angela again. Forgive me for not worrying about your little heartbreak. I'm too busy being stuck in the worst moment of my life! Right. 
So we both have a great incentive to think of a way out of this. <gasps> what did we do when we were kids and this happened to our tapes? Huh? Mm -hmm. <sighs> there, good as new. Ready? <gasps> mm -hmm. oh! 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 The smell! Oh, oh, no. Rewind! Rewind! Ben, this is it. When the earthquake vase falls off the shelf and hits me on the head, that's when I think of the idea for the time rewinder. Well, we're here to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh no, the vase, it's about to fall. Ben, hit double rewind. But it'll eat the tape for sure. It'll also stop time. No, Tom, it's too dangerous. What if we can't fix it? There he is! Just do it! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Tom, what are you doing? And that should do it. Oh! Ah! Woohoo! We did it, Ben. And now everything's back to how it should be. Um. I don't think this is how it should be. Uh-oh. Is that my vase? Uh. Oh. For my surprise? Uh, for my surprise what? Uh, nothing. N nothing at all. <laughs> <gasps> ben! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Angela, what are you doing here already? We're not ready to start your surprise. I, I mean birthday pop ball. You mean my surprise birthday party? Oh, I blew it. Why can't I keep a secret? <sighs> Well, at least I didn't say anything about the chocolate raspberry cake. Chocolate raspberry cake? It's my favorite! <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, hey, where are Tom and the guys anyway? Shouldn't they be here by now? Tom wanted to get you a special new cake at that new bakery across town, The Baked Dessert. They're probably on their way. Huh? How in the world did we end up in The Baked Desert? Yeah, that's weird. Um, unrelated question, how many S's are in the word dessert? Oh, great. Now we're gonna miss Angela's party because Tom can't spell? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. We can still make it to the party if we hurry. I'll just reprogram the GPSS to get us to the diner. You know, diner only has one N, right? Nah, I better look that up. No! Save your energy, Tom. In the desert, no one can hear you scream. That's space, Hank. In space. No one can hear you scream. Yeah, well, that's because there's a lot of space in the desert. Okay, okay, let's not panic. Now, my scout boy survival training will get us out of here. Any good scout boy knows moss always grows on the south side of a tree. So all we have to do is find a tree. Which might be harder than I thought. <gasps> Hold on for a second. I found something! No, Ginger, wasting time at some roadside tourist trap is not gonna get us any closer to Angela. Well, I don't know if this is helpful, but I found a side with an arrow on it pointing to where the town is. Good job, Hank. See, now we'll just follow this arrow and we'll be at Angela's party in no time. Come on. Ginger, let's go. No, quit it. 
So. So. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Write any new songs? Nah, I've been feeling kind of blue lately. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Forget those guys. Let's get this party started. Ooh, why don't we order some ice cream? No, thanks. I don't like to eat ice cream on an empty stomach. Rasta! Yeah, what do you want? One scoop of strawberry ice cream, please. Strawberry? That's my favorite! Mine too. Make it a double. You got it. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, now I understand why cowboys wear such big hats. Oh. Huh? Oh, you did it, Tom! You saved us! What do you mean, guys? Oh, ah, the Cactus Network. Howdy, Hank. Hello there, Mr. Guarded. Well, I guess we should just oh. leave him here, right, guys? Don't chinch her. We're not leaving Hank. Hank! Come on, Hank! But we're not home! Huh? That's not the garage, Dad. it's just a huh? mirage! Now let's get back on this trail, we're probably almost there! Come on! <laughs> Angela? <laughs> This can't be. We just walked in a big circle? Well, Tom, that could only mean one thing. We get to see the world's biggest candy bar! We don't have time for that. Give it up, Tom. We're never going to make it back to town. It's time to start our new lives here in the desert. Just you, me, Hank, and the world's biggest candy bar. He's got a point, Tom. Besides, what else are we going to do? Fine. Maybe someone there can give us directions to the diner. <laughs> Another bowl, please. Yeah. Honey, I think you've had enough. Uh, you listen here, Rhonda. It's my birthday, and I'll have as much ice cream as I want. Duh. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Huh. Oh, that's not so big. See, Ginger? This place is not just a tourist trap. Oh, no, no. It's a closed and abandoned tourist trap. It says here that the whole town shut down when a bigger candy bar was discovered by villagers in the local mountains. This pamphlet is full of fun facts. Did you know they got the candy bar here by putting wheels on the bottom? Too bad the way here is all uphill. Wait a minute! If the way here is uphill? And there are wheels on the candy bar? I think I have an idea. <laughs> okay, everyone. When I count to three, let's all jump on. One, two, you're counting too fast. Three! Hey, wait! Ginger, give me your hand! Yeah. Tom forgot my birthday. I, I mean, we talked about it yesterday, but I guess sometimes birthdays are hard to remember, right? Angela. Uh, huh? Angela. Uh-huh. Uh. Tom definitely did not forget your birthday. Oh, well, is he invisible? Because I don't see him anywhere. Angela, listen to me. I'll be the first to admit that Tom has his flaws, but he always comes through at the end. Well, yeah, except it's always by doing something crazy and dangerous. That is not true. This is crazy and dangerous. Yeah. 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 Hmm. You know, Hank and Ginger are missing too, but it seems like you mostly care that Tom isn't here. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. Can I tell you a secret? No, don't tell me! I can't stand the pressure that comes with keeping secrets! 
Right. <laughs> You're so right. I kind of like Tom. <laughs> I can't believe I said it out loud. Angela, I can't believe it. This is great news. When Tom gets here, let me talk to him what? and tell him. No! He... Don't you dare say anything. But not a word. It could ruin our friendship. But, but why did you tell me? I don't know. I guess I couldn't stand the pressure of being the only one who knew. So you told me? I just told you I can't keep a secret. I can't handle it. Ah! something about Angela. No, he doesn't. No, you don't, right, Ben? You just wanted more ice cream, right? Here, eat it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm passing out. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, I guess Ben can't hold his ice cream, right? Yeah, I guess not. What was he going to say? Oh, nothing. He was just joking. <laughs> well, happy birthday. I hope you saved room for dessert. Dessert? <laughs> that sounds, uh... Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh. Ben! <laughs> birthday pop! Oh. You mean my surprise birthday party? Ah, oh, I blew it! Why can't I keep a secret? Maybe Tom forgot my birthday. Oh. I guess sometimes birthdays are hard to remember, right? Can I tell you a secret? No, don't tell me! I kinda like Tom! <gasps> hey, guys! <laughs> Thanks again for the surprise party yesterday. <laughs> You guys are the best. <laughs> um, um, can someone fill me in on what's so funny? <laughs> oh, Angela, you really don't know why we're laughing. No, I don't know why you're laughing. Hey, Hank, give her a hint. Top, top, I love you so much. <laughs> ben, how could you tell them? I told you I can't keep a secret. Dear Angela. Is what Ben said true? Do you like me? <laughs> um, yeah. I guess now you know. So? I think you should leave. What? Move to another city or something. But wait! Well, we can't hang out as a group anymore. What? Yes, we can. You guys, nothing has to change. It already has changed. It feels so weird. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Ginger's right. I mean, having you around now would take away from our focus on work. No. Uh, wait, you guys. Yeah. Tom has to focus. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, forget I said anything, okay? Too late, Angela. Good morning. <laughs> that dream must have been a warning. I have to make sure Ben keeps that secret. Okay, Angela, you can do this. Just act like nothing happened. <laughs> Hi, guys. Just popped in to say hello. <laughs> no reason, nothing special. Guys? Hello? Okay, uh, no need to panic. There could be lots of reasons why no one's here. Maybe they're all at the park. Yeah, great day for the park. Ah! Ben! Angela, are you 
you alone. What are you doing in here? I'm hiding from Tom so I don't tell him your stupid secret. Oh, thank goodness. The important thing is you didn't tell him my stupid secret. Not yet, but I'm tired of living like this. So if you don't tell him today, I will. No, but uh, you... Wait, are you kidding me? Can you imagine how bad things could get around here if Tom finds out? You know who should wear more hats? Hats. Why shouldn't a hat wear a hat? Well, now it can. Thanks to the revolutionary hat on a hat. That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. <gasps> Nobody talks to my man like that. All of his ideas are brilliant. Thanks, Angela. Oh, I love my sensitive <laughs> genius. Uh, hmm. Hey, Tom, can you come here? In a minute. I'm a little busy right now. You said that three hours and 35 minutes ago. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey, sunshine. I was just thinking about you. Can you come over after work? I'll come over right now. That's why, no matter what, you must keep the secret from Tom. Yeah, but how? I don't know. You're the smartest person I know. Think of something. You think because I'm a, well, brilliant inventor that I can just build a machine to solve every problem? I'm sorry to tell you there's no device that can reach into someone's brain and erase a memory. But could you build one? You mean a device that can reach into my brain and erase a memory? <laughs> Eureka! Angela, you're right. I am the smartest guy you know. I am so mad at Ben right now. I've called him like a hundred times. He's probably at some nerd event looking at some geeky electrons that can't answer his phone, which is stressing me out because today we got a call from the CEO. Yeah, he called us saying he wants to have a meeting with Tom and Ben Enterprises. And since there's no Ben, I have to go with Hank. Hi, I have here all the smartest stuff that Ben has ever said. I am ready to impress. Great, what do you got? For example, Hank, a computer is not a bath toy. Hank. You cannot smell a Wi-Fi signal. Knock people, you just barge into the bathroom. A computer is not a bath toy. How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, I'll probably do most of the talking. Welcome to the creepy conspiracies in our true channel. Today's top story, brain suckers. Are they in your neighborhood? Are they in your very house? Right now, an intergalactic force of brain suckers is roaming your streets. Their aim, to find local geniuses and suck out their brains to steal their knowledge. I advise you to protect your brain knowledge with the only known defense against their technology. A sturdy hat made of a thin metallic foil. No way! I don't believe it! Still don't believe me? Look it up for yourself. Oh, it's on the internet! That means it's true! I better warn everyone! I just hope it's not too late! Why do we have to take all this junk to my place? Because if anyone finds out that I'm making a device that can suck secrets out of my brain, they'll obviously want to know what secret I'm trying to suck out of my brain. The brain suckers already got to Ben and Angela? Can I help you? Uh, I hope. <laughs> Your office called, so here we are. Name? I'm Tom. Uh-huh. From Tom and Ben Enterprises. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. CEO, they're here. Excellent. <laughs> all right, this meeting's over. Everybody out, all of you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, haircut. You too, pinstripes, get moving. <laughs> All right, bring them right in. Cancel the rest of my meetings today. Follow me, please. You are 
one handsome looking guy. You are one handsome looking guy. <laughs> hey, my dear friends. Hello, sir. Which one of you is Tom and which one is Ben? I'm Tom. And I am Ben today. Oh, how can I forget you guys? After all the useless apps you pitched me. <laughs> He's got a good point. Well, I wouldn't call him useless. How about like this? Hey, something's wrong! <laughs> You! <laughs> that is there. What's been doing? The thermostat! <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's, yeah, that. That is how you would define useless, yeah. Why didn't you ever tell me about the Talking Tom app? Talking Tom app. Because that app is mostly just me repeating what you say. Exactly! That's why I love it! That's why I love it! <laughs> yeah! Check out what happens when I fire him. Talking Tom, you're fired! You're fired! <laughs> this thing is a blast! I've played this thing so much, I've missed breakfast, lunch, and the secret meal rich people eat that we don't tell anyone about. You eat brunch? How'd you know about brunch? I mean, uh, <laughs> let's talk business. You want us to make a talking CEO app? No, smart guy. I just want to help your company grow. And? That's it. I don't want anything in return. Well, I like to hang out with smart people, so I want us to be friends. Will you be my friend? I don't know what to say. Great. That means yes. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do for you is introduce you tonight at the Tech Stars Conference. Oh, did we just get invited to the most important tech conference in the world? Oh, not just invited, you're going to be the featured speakers. Well, all I can say is, thank you, Mr. CEO. Hey, call me Carl. Uh, thank you, Carl. Uh, thank you so much, Carl. <gasps> oh, you poor guy. Sorry for keeping you waiting like that. Gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, my Tom really needs to use the putty. And when you're done, we're going to play more games. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Woo Woohoo! We are gonna be tech tycoons! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. What is that? Ah. The sun? Ben? Is that you? I'll ask the questions! Previously on Talking Tom and Friends, Oh, okay. Can I tell you a secret? No, don't tell me. I can't stand the pressure that comes with keeping secrets. Right. <laughs> You're so right. I kind of like Tom. <gasps> I have to tell you something about Angela. No, he doesn't. I have to make sure Ben keeps that secret. There's no device that can reach into someone's brain and erase a memory. Could you build one? Hmm. Why didn't you ever tell me about the Talking Tom app? Because that app is mostly just me repeating what you say. That's why I love it! That's why I love it! Thank you, Mr. CEO. Hey, call me Carl! Now an intergalactic force of brain suckers is roaming your streets. <gasps> it's on the internet! That means it must be true! I better warn everyone! Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, whoa! Oh. whoa. Ah. What is ah. that? The sun? Ben? Is that you? I'll ask some questions, brain sucker! What have you done with Tom's brain? Nice hat, Ginger. I bet it really keeps your thoughts fresh longer. Whatever. Have you seen Ben? Because we need to partay to the max. Party? You guys are clear. The brain suckers haven't figured out how we party yet. What brain suckers? The intergalactic ones. Oh, knock it off, Ginger. There are no such things as brain suckers. Oh, yes, there is. And I have some bad news. They already got to Ben and Angela, but they'll never get me. Where are Ben and Angela, anyway? Mm, I can't tell you. It's too dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Give them back! First, tell me where they are. They're in Angela's! Now give it! Knock yourself out, Ginger. <laughs> oh, I'm not taking that one. Um... Hey, Ben? Uh, can you give me an update on that mind eraser thingy? I'm almost 
finished. First Ben and now Angela's not picking up? Hank, I want you to go over to Angela's and tell Ben to get over here. And tell him that we're gonna party like the tech tycoons that we are. Solution to our secret, the mind eraser. Oh, I thought it'd be more, um, impressive. You'll be impressed when you see it erase yesterday's memories, but first, put on these protector shades. Okay, I'm ready. Hit me. Oh, the things we do to pretend like we're not in love. Well, I mean, not love, but you know, whatever. Here you go. Love! When you see it erase, you <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I tell you a secret? No, don't tell me. I can't stand the pressure. <laughs> You're so right. I kind of like Tom. Did it work? Did what work? Hey, why aren't we at your surprise party? Ah! I mean, at your surprise birthday party. Um. Yes! Ben, it totally worked. You're a genius. Yeah. Uh... Hey, uh... Could somebody tell me why I'm here? Oh, Hank, uh, w uh, you came over to test out how comfortable my couch is. Sure, that makes sense. Let's see. Nice spring power. Cushions are suitably cushiony. Oh, Angela gets the worldwide soap opera network. Oh, really? I do. Haha. <laughs> it's like I would never watch them. <laughs> Previously on Hospital de Pasión. Dr. Rosa and Dr. Manzana entered the tango contest, or did they? I don't know, but I'm not leaving until I find out. Well, I can't remember anything important I have to do today. <laughs> this is silly. Move over! <sighs> Why hasn't Hank come back with Ben? This conference starts in an hour. Oh, I think we both know why. Hank, where's Ben? Ben's right here. Well, get him over here so we can practice our speech for the Techstars conference. Yeah, right. Like you're going to that thing? Carl invited us? Huh. The CEO, you were there. Oh, I get it. You're pranking me. <laughs> Good one, Tom. What? No. Ugh. Hank, it's back on. Hey, I gotta go, Tom. We're binge watching Hospital de Passion. What? Who's that? Oh, just Tom goofing around. No, don't hang up. Ah! What is wrong? It's like he's acting uh, like... Like he doesn't have his brains! Pass me the tinfoil. No, Dr. Rosa! It's haunted! <laughs> Queso, Louis Kelly at the queso. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come in, Braids of Stone. What's your position? Over. Copy that. I'm at the east end of the rendezvous point. Over. Copy that. I'm at the west end. Do you have eyes on me? Copy that. I'm on your six. Let's go teach these brain suckers some earth manners. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't just walk through the front door. They'll totally expect that. We have to launch a sneak attack through the window. There's Ben and Angela. Huh, it almost looks like they're, they're... dancing. Uh, there. Got it. And there. Got it. You missed the spot right there. <sighs> so this is why they've been acting so strange? Ugh. The only way this could get more disgusting is if they kissed. Oh. Okay, I've seen enough.
conference. You know that thing you wouldn't shut up about. You can't pass up such a great opportunity. You're right. This is a great opportunity. Yeah. To tell everyone about my dishonest partner Ben and how he destroyed our company. And Hank, how could he be okay with? No, no, no! You totally missed my point. Doesn't matter. Wait, don't go. <sighs> Welcome to the Tech Stars Conference. It's a great honor to tell you about our star speakers, Tom and Ben. Two young visionaries working in a local garage with little money and a lot of creativity, they revolutionized the tech industry and spread their vision of fun across the globe. Stand back! Uh, hey, Ginger, where's Tom? Uh, I can't tell you. Give that back! Give it! Give it! Tom went to the Tech Stars Conference. Now give it! The Tech Stars Conference? I tried to reach you all day, but you and Angela were too busy. We saw you dancing and kissing. <gasps> uh oh. Tom and Ben of Tom and Ben Enterprises. <laughs> Mr. CEO, Carl, thank you for inviting us here and telling the world our story. Next slide, please. My partner, Ben, is a dishonest girlfriend stealer. Next slide. And since my company is now a painful reminder that you can't trust anyone, not even your closest friends. Next slide. I don't want any part of Tom and Ben Enterprises. Wait a minute, that's Ben? So to all of you in the audience, congratulations. It's your lucky day. I'm giving away my company. Our inventions, our ideas, our apps, everything. Use it, sell it, I don't even care. Just take it. Wait, seriously? Tom, stop! What are you doing? Oh, look, everybody, it's Ben. I wish I could give him away. Ow! Huh? Ow! Quit it! Get off me! Ah! Tom, Ben and I are not together. Can you even believe these liars? It's uh. true, Tom. We saw it wrong. It was just a snack spill, Tom. A snack spill! What, what about not answering my calls? I mean, it sure seemed like you were trying to keep a secret from me. Well, actually, we were, but now I think I have to tell Too you. Too late. Don't care. Not listening. The secret is... I don't even want to... I like you, Tom. <sighs> a lot. What? Why is this so hard to say? I don't know. But now that you said it, Angela, I like you too. A lot. Really? Yes. But wait, why would you ever want to keep such good news a secret? It's crazy. Because I was afraid it would make things weird and would distract you from your work and hurt your company. Oh, I don't know. Sorry to ruin this touching moment, but we don't have a company anymore because Tom just gave it away! Oops. Maybe I can get it back. Okay, you guys, keep your eyes closed until I say it's safe to open them. So I'll take the Talking Tom app, and Greg, you can take the milkshake thing, and, and Jerry, you take a hike. Hey, my microphone. Hey, Tech Tycoons, look up here. Okay, you can open your eyes. Congratulations. You're the new, uh, old, new owners of Tom and Ben Enterprises. What, you did it? Thanks to my brilliant invention, one I don't even remember making, everything is back to normal. Well, maybe not everything. <laughs> oh, man, I can't watch this. Ah. Huh? Hey, guys, look what I found. What does this do? Wait, no! Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Because I am definitely ready. What am I ready for? I'll tell you what I'm ready for. I'm ready for you TV producers to give me my own show. Uh, Ginger, pay attention. Sorry, Tom, not sorry. Okay, here it is. The Talking Tom reality TV show audition video. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh, producers, please, please, please give me a reality show. No, I don't need to do that. 
Why? Because I know when you see my friends and my cool life, you're gonna be like, oh, Tom, please, 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 let us give you a reality show. Uh, hey, uh, probably being paranoid, but just wanted to make sure that you knew I was kidding when I was acting like you were gonna be begging me to do a reality show, okay? Okay. And cut! Thanks, Ginger. Tom! Hey, Angela! I got here as quickly as I could. Your message said it was urgent. Is everything okay? Yes! I'm finally filming my reality show audition tape. Oh, not really interested. Uh, now, Angela, I need you to check the acoustics for our new reality TV confession booth. Tom, it's a bathroom. Well, yeah, people sound great in the bathroom. That's why they sing in the shower. There's no shower in here. There's just a toilet. Shower, toilet, use your imagination. What? Use my imagination? Are you kidding me right now? That's our Angela. She's not only my good friend, but she is also kind of a pop star. You might even know some of her songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, baby. Why don't you sing one of your songs? I love Tom, but my manager thought it might hurt my career to sing one of my real songs on his crazy audition tape. As you can see, this is no ordinary neighborhood garage. It's what we call the studio. studio. And it's where I produce games and songs and apps with my best friend and business partner, Ben. Hey, Ben. Ah! Tom. Ah! Please tell me that camera isn't recording. Are you kidding me? That was reality TV gold. Ben here is the owner of all this high-tech, expensive equipment. Correct, Tom. So don't you dare touch it. Ben's mom will let him keep the stuff at his house because of a few too many, shall we say, <clears throat> power surges caused a few too many, shall we say, the house fires. Not really my fault. Our electricity grid badly needs an upgrade. So, Ben, can you tell us what kind of mind-blowing, life-changing, high-tech invention you're working on? I can, but I don't see the reason why I would. Oh, come on, Ben. Tell us what it does. Well, if you must know, this is a squirting flower joke app. Ooh, what's that button? No, 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 don't, don't push it! Hmm, it doesn't even work. Well, it should. <laughs> now that is the funniest thing I have ever seen you do. What do you mean? I'm often very funny. Uh, not really. Uh, I am so. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm hmm. You, reality show producers, you should know the following. Yes, I'm a tech genius, but I also possess a well-rounded personality. For example, I can be whimsical. I'm often spontaneous. I'm organized. In a fun way. And most of all, I am humorous. You're humorous? What? You don't think I'm funny? You know what? Forget I said anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not leaving until I have shown everyone that I am more than just the brains of this operation. Please don't. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, viewer. Prepare to laugh at the following stand-up comedy humor presentation. <laughs> Joke number one. So yesterday I flew in from the West Coast, and boy, are my arms tired. So you see, Tom, the word flu has two different meanings, so... Ben, if a joke is funny, you don't need to explain why it's funny. Stop it, Tom. You're embarrassing yourself. I have studied a lot more comedy than you have. Good day. Oh, of course. The best comedy comes from a spreadsheet. What are those two bickering about? Do they think that's going to impress the producers? And why am I talking to you instead of talking directly to them? Take over. Oh, um, uh, uh, hi, I'm Tom's roommate, Hank. Um, well, I've seen every sitcom made from 1986 to 1994. And in France, I, I, I'm called Honk. Damn, Honk! Ginger! Oh, Ginger! Ginger, it's your turn to talk. 
Hey, that's my phone! <laughs> I told you, if you don't behave, I'm gonna send you home. I'm sorry, Hank. Give me another chance. I'll be good. Ginger and boy. Well, okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Ginger, and I'm seven years old. And when I grow up, I want to be just like my role model, Hank. Aw, uh, I'm the only one who disciplines the kid. That's why he looks up to me. Hey, give me that! <laughs> Ginger! Have a seat on the couch and tell the producers about yourself. Tom, you start. I'm what people call a visionary. Some days I'll wake up and think, let's see, today I'm going to design a hot air balloon that can land on a passing asteroid. Except a hot air balloon can't fly in space. That's a minor detail. Comments like that prove that you're just not a visionary. And you're not a scientist. You two are a great team. Tell us about some of the apps you've created. Oh, tell her about the Ray Ray. Oh, uh, why did you bring that up? The Ray Ray was an app that used bursts of microwaves to locate people nearby named Ray. Wow, nobody needs that. Well, maybe we should talk about Cook My Salmon, the app that makes your phone so hot it can cook salmon. Which totally worked, it just drained your battery. And set your pants on fire. Really, guys? So, tell us how you first met. Well, it was like a million years ago. No, it was 8.3 years ago. Cool. 8.3? You're talking nonsense. Nonsense? You're the king of nonsense. I am literally a hologram of positivity. <laughs> now, the vibe I'm going for here is everyone's got their own whatchamacallit. So, Tom. Is there anything about Ben that gets on your nerves? Huh. Don't touch that. <laughs> Don't touch my computer screen. <laughs> now you're touching me! <laughs> now who wouldn't want to watch that on TV? <laughs> That's it. I'm never going to work with you again. <laughs> hey, Tom. How's it going? Not so good. I don't think my video is good enough to convince the TV producers to give me a reality show. Then just turn it into a very special Christmas audition video. Would that work? You know that show, The Hermit Housewives of the Arid Islands? Sure, everyone does. They were almost canceled. And then they turned every episode into a very special Christmas special. Would that work for us? Don't ask me. Ask this guy. Somebody called Santa? Ho, ho, ho! Where did he come from? Okay, Ginger, cue the snow and action. This season, children all over the world are going to be asking me for the same thing. Santa, they're saying. All I want is to see a reality show starring Talking Tom and his friends. Hey, what is this? It's a public service announcement for children who want me to get my own reality show. Kids watch enough TV. No, my show will be good. It'll be like a Christmas miracle. But I'm not sure if the TV producers will like it. Oh, what do you need a TV producer for? To make all my dreams come true? Ho, ho, ho! Good one, Tom. You don't need some outdated, washed-up TV producer to make your own reality TV show. I don't? No. All you need is a video camera, a computer, and a bunch of crazy goofball friends. <laughs> Which you definitely have. I do? Ho, ho, ho! Yes, you do! So just make the show yourself. I can do that! Thanks, Santa! This may be the best Christmas ever! ever. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Hey, Jingle bell, come sing with us! Anybody seen Angela? What? Until that awful singing stops, I'm staying right in here with you, confession camera. You're welcome. Santa! Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Santa, wait! You forgot my Christmas list! Ho oh, oh. ho! Email me! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>